But enough of this palaver. Let's get the show on the road. Good morning. Welcome to the Opie and Anthony Show. Hi. Man, what's going to happen today? That's the beauty of this radio show. What is going to happen today? Yesterday, we're minding our own business, doing our radio show, getting some lofts out there, some information. Doing a little news. Yeah. Doing a little human interest. We have Sam giving E-Rock a hickey. Who saw that coming? And then out of nowhere, we get a communique that... Sir Paul McCartney will be on the Opie and Anthony show. Yeah. I woke up yesterday I was great. not knowing that I would end uh, the radio show talking to a Beatle. No, nah, that was uh, that was a thrill. Yeah. One of those lifetime moments where you're just like, wow, I uh, never thought I'd, I'd talk to a, a Beatle. A lot of my email, too, is like, why didn't you warn us? We didn't even know. No. We don't know what's going to happen today. We have some ideas, but it, it could all change in a moment. Oh. A moment's notice. But that was really, really cool. Yeah. Absolutely. We've talked about uh, who would make you nervous over the years. Yep. Wow. <laughs> the nerves. That's a biggie. Flowing through the body yesterday. Unprecedented. <laughs> and now we're just back to this. Me, you, and Jimmy. Hi, Yuck. Jimmy. Yeah. Yesterday, hanging with a Beatle for a little while, and now it's just back to this. We got to get Sam in here. Sam. He's in a bit of trouble with that hickey thing from yesterday. Sam's always getting in trouble um, with our program. Yeah. Because uh, Sam, Sam's been... Uh, uh, boy, if you listen to early Sam on this program, he didn't do anything. Dude. He towed it around the video camera and giggled as everybody else... Uh, Went to the gallows. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but now, Sam is really getting involved in some of these more provocative uh, little things we get into. On well, we found we found something that he truly enjoys. Yes. Uh, gay stuff. <laughs> men. <laughs> Other you're, men. You're, uh, you're confusing me, because I look at you, I'm like, is he doing it for the radio, or, yes, I'm doing or is there something going on in his head, and he's... He found an outlet for it. And how about, <laughs> since that's the case, you let your chick go for, like, a a, a straight guy. Because she's very cute and everything, and I think a straight guy would enjoy that instead of you just keeping her around as a beard. No. And wasting uh, her, her attractiveness <laughs> on setting, someone that doesn't appreciate it. You, a gay man. You're setting this up all wrong. Uh, uh, I'm what? not gay. Well, why don't you right. tell people what you've done in the last two days? Okay, well... Wow. Without editorializing, just just tell the people. Just the facts. Just the facts, my friend. Okay, yesterday, I gave E-Rock a hickey. Okay. And then the day before that, I motorboated his chest, his breasts. His man boobs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I right. also slapped him in his chest. Right. right. And, and and belly. And belly, yeah, yeah. Slapped him in his belly. All right, well, you rest our case. Thanks, well, no. All right, anyway, 877 What? <clears throat> It's not that I'm not doing it for pleasure. Mm -hmm. I just didn't like the reputation I was building for myself as somebody who said no. So I started saying yes to things, but now I'm getting in trouble with my uh, girlfriend and family. Oh, and family. Yeah. yeah you know well, what? There was a point where uh, I think it was Jimmy started yelling and screaming at everybody around here. Like, but someone's got to start doing something. <laughs> and Sam took that to heart. Yeah. But... I, Sam picked up the balls and ran with it. <laughs> <laughs> but it was also yesterday. Bob Kelly was slapping me in the face and, and you know talking to me like I was his prison prag. Right. And <laughs> prison prag. Mm -hmm. My girlfriend doesn't like that at all either. So wow. she heard that, but didn't hear the XM stuff. So I figured I just wouldn't say anything and kind of move on. Which is very smart if you do the type of radio show we do. Right. When they ask questions, like, ah, come on. It's my job. It, yeah, it was for the radio. Will you shut up? But then we went to my parents' house for dinner last night. Yeah. And the first thing, I got in the door, and my mom said hello. And she goes, Sam, when you were giving E-Rock that hickey today, it was just disgusting. So she <laughs> sold you out. And Jess goes, what? What? <laughs> oh, no. 
And my mom was like, oh, <laughs> sorry. Oh, you didn't tell her about your other life? Yeah. She oh. was, her only solace was that I didn't have a hickey on me. Right. Well, here's the question. Does Z-Rock exactly. have a hickey on him? I don't know. Oh, where is the E-Rock? I yeah. put the picture up look, on onaradio.com. Sam gave it No work is being done. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Did you oh. have to lie to your girl and tell you didn't like it? I want to kiss more guys. Oh, oh All right, Sam. All right. We, we get, get it. it. Like the mouth may lie, but the front of your pants tells the truth, doesn't it, Sam? <laughs> <laughs> I kiss, well, okay, three guys. Well, three. Three, all right. That's not bad. I have done that. <laughs> You've kissed three guys. For the show. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I want to kiss more guys. I do not. Wait, name the three times you kissed a guy. Okay, well, I kissed a homeless man in the street. And Why would you do that? They're dirty people. Because there was a television pilot being filmed that I'm oh, pretty really? sure any day is going to get picked oh, yeah. up, right? <laughs> right, guys? <laughs> Still a chance. You gave it your all for the TV pilot. And then those uh, bastards didn't even acknowledge we made that. No. How great is that? How great is it that they don't even <laughs> acknowledge that we actually tried to give them a TV show? <laughs> and then technically, <laughs> I mean, in this business, I, oh please. <laughs> then technically, Bob Kelly kissed me. It wasn't me kissing him. Uh huh. Because he grabbed my face. Yeah, and then I also they kept mutual thing. But you did have a look of want on your face. No. When he was doing that. So. It was disgust. Let's not uh, forget creepy gay kid that was sweeping the nation for about a day. Yeah, well, it's you can look I... that up on YouTube. Yeah, I'm looking at the uh, the video of you as creepy gay kid. It's just Stripping terrific. Yeah. For Bob yeah, Kelly. I shouldn't have done that either. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a lot of regrets. Yeah. yeah. Oh, God, look at <laughs> Creepy Gay Kid. I shouldn't have done that. He's dancing around without his shirt on with sunglasses and giving Bob Kelly what amounts to a lap dance. The best part of Sam's body that doesn't even have a hint of a muscle <laughs> is the uh, is just the tattoo that is awkwardly on his shoulder. What is, I never saw that. What is your tattoo of? It's a, a white zombie logo, and then Rob Zombie signed it, and then I got that tattooed on. That's cool. Man, yeah, that's that's wonderful. You got great uh, little hips. Thank you. <laughs> Birthing hips. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Birthing hips. And then the third guy was intern David. Right. But oh well, of course, yeah. It's not gay because it's more awkward for them. Mm -hmm. Well, of course it is. I'm yeah, just, yeah, you're fine. Sure. Doing it to make them uncomfortable. So, what happened with you and your lovely uh, woman? She After was, she found out because your mom let the secret out. She was just exasperated. She just she had this look and tone in her voice that she just doesn't know what to do with me anymore. Leave you? Well, she. That's what I think she doesn't want to leave me, but she doesn't Mo. understand why. <laughs> three times a week, I'm coming home. Yeah, I did this today. It's not a big deal. Don't worry about it. She's like, well, it is a big deal because it keeps <laughs> happening. <laughs> <laughs> like it's. If you just did it once and it was just for the show, it's fine. But you just keep doing these things. It's habitual. Are you uh, on the down low? <laughs> no. She's, oh. she's like, it is a big deal. <laughs> it keeps on happening. Yes. That's make me laugh all day. But this show is oh. building a terrible reputation for me. Yeah. Nice. Well, I, I didn't see that guy. <laughs> yeah, we'll talk to him in a second. Now, E-Rock, uh, let me see uh, the hickey. See, if he doesn't have a hickey, then you're in the clear. Oh, but that's a hickey, Sam. But it's on his belly. Oh. Well, it's close to his boob. We said belly, and for some reason, you decided to get as close yeah. to his boob as possible. You told me boob. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hold on, man. Everyone's distracted by Manny. Manny, go ahead. Hey, guys. What's going on? Good morning. It's Hi, the Manny. ADD radio show. We're in the middle of something, but we got to go to you. Go ahead, Manny. All right, so so I do a paper route over in Great Neck. Yeah. And I'm uh, I'm on my way home this morning. I get on the LIE. And as I get on the LIE, there's a truck in the left lane comes flying up next to me, cuts me off, and keeps going. I look at it, and it's a black Escalade. I'm like, <laughs> wait a second. So I miss my exit on purpose just to catch up to this guy because I had a seat. And I get next to him. I look over, and there's Anthony driving. <laughs> Yo, man, you must be going 110 miles an hour. You just need to slow down a little bit. Get out of the way. 110, and you know, and it's snowing a little bit in New York City. I wasn't doing The roads were dry. The people are in the way. Oh, don't you hate that, though? They're all in the way. This morning, I had to go. I, I had to hit the right lane for so long and speed down the right lane right. in order to get past people that were just chugging in the left. Uh, yeah, I, I always wonder. I always wonder if people see me. And I know. Uh, yeah, uh, I think yesterday, the day before, there was another guy with Wow stickers on his vehicle and everything. And I, I 
blew past him. Uh, and I was wonder. I always wonder if they kind of seeing and wonder if well, this seeing this Escalade going at a hundred miles an hour is me. Well, it's a it's a good bet. It's you at five in the morning. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, you told exactly. everyone you're driving Escalade, so there's a lot of Escalades during the day. You see, but at five in the morning, odds are, uh, you know, especially if it's yeah blurry. There if you, you only see a blur oh. shoot past you. Well, I'm sorry if I cut you off. Were you? Were you? Uh... No, dude, it's, it's it's all good. I just want to let you guys know that you blew past me this morning, and I just want to call and say uh, thank you for not killing me. <laughs> <laughs> you're welcome. Have a great morning, guys. Thank you so much. Uh, checking out. All right, man. Thank you. I have to get here. I hold an important position. There you go. Three <laughs> rocks. Got the hickey. Sam's in trouble with his girl. Yes. Sam. Looks like everything is uh, quite normal with Hunky, the Opie and Anthony Hunky show. Hunky Dory. Yeah. I just don't know how to gracefully retire from this Sam the Gay Guy character that's being built. <laughs> character? We didn't build nothing. The character are you talking about? You just, just decided to, you know, uh, take your character in that direction, my friend. Just stop. You could have said, guys. see, and you're that's... saying you want to kiss more guys. Yep. You could have said no any anytime you wanted. Yeah, but I don't want to say no. Just stop asking it's... me to do things. Maybe we're testing you. We're like, oh, my God, this guy will do anything. Oh. It's kind of creepy. Sam, you want to give E-Rock a... Uh, all right. <laughs> well, we, I'm like, but Sam, we can't. That's against the FCC. Yeah, isn't that the I'm opposite, sorry. too? Because your mom was happy that you didn't come back with a hickey on you. No, my girlfriend was. Or your girlfriend, okay, was happy that you didn't have the hickey on you. Right. And that you gave E-Rock the hickey. But if it was, like, real serious where, you know, man-on-man -man sex sometimes goes, I believe she would be happy if it was the other way around and E-Rock was... Taking care of you. Hmm. That's an I interesting. Love you, <laughs> well, why don't we try it? <laughs> no, no, no. You know what? That would probably balance yeah. things out in her mind, sure. and, and she would feel like my boy is yeah, not well, you know. a bottom all the time. My boy tops as well. <laughs> I think you're right, Anthony. Yeah. <laughs> no, because you could justify in your head, like you know, I I wanted one. I didn't want to give one. Well, yeah, yeah. It worked with somebody else. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> Well, now who, might, who might own a fine uh, restaurant and know it's not me. <laughs> That's one of my favorite stories of all time. <laughs> I think he doesn't want his plate in anymore. She said yeah. he's never officially said that, but he always like, ugh, you're killing me with that story replay. Yes, yeah, Sam. She said the fact I asked her if it makes her question things, mm -hmm. and she said, she said no. The fact that it was Iraq e doesn't make me question things. I just find it very disgusting. Ah, she's because just completely, it's E-Rock. Right, yeah. she's just completely grossed gotcha. out. Gotcha. Really? Right. Yeah. I just want to point out that you didn't do anything for this radio show, and it all started with you eating some meat. Hmm? It all started with you eating some meat. Oh. And it has progressed to uh, giving E-Rock hickeys pretty close to his boobs. He was oh. he was fed meat. You another were fed man, meat. Another right. man put meat in his mouth is what it happened. Was, it, it, Thank yeah. you for getting where, where I was going with this. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Another man gave you meat. It wasn't just any man. Mick Foley gave me meat. Mick Foley? Right. Yeah. He fed me meat. Mick Foley put meat in your mouth. But yeah. I'd never had meat before. Well, well you know, it'll start somewhere. First time. Mm -hmm. And I didn't was like your, it. Was your mouth no. uh, full? Filled with meat. Well, if you remember, I was gagging. <laughs> yes, you are. Uh, uh, yes. He doesn't like meat. You weren't yeah. a fan of the meat at first. Mick but... Foley did give you a mouthful of meat, and he kind of just kept mm. putting meat in your mouth, and you took it. I like yeah. that. Yeah. Oh, I didn't like it. Did you swallow it? I don't remember. Or did you spit no, it out? No, I mean, it was it was my first time. I spit it out. Did you? Yeah. Yeah, because I, I remember you really didn't like it. No, I did not like it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's terrible. It was too much. A lot of people uh, writing in caps uh, this morning on instant feedback and basically just saying no more gay stuff, please. Yes, in caps. But, and, and I think that's Jess. You felt <laughs> probably. <laughs> <laughs> probably. <laughs> And, and you felt that 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 e Rock giving Sam one would probably balance things out and, and make Jess happy. And yeah, make e -Rock yeah, happy. because no. then it's like you know reciprocation. E, e Rock, does your girl have any problems with uh, the man on man motorboat and the man on man hickey? Um, I never told her. Uh, why would that mic work? <clears throat> and don't look at me. Everything is down. E Rock never told her. I'm sure because you know what my favorite story. Maybe you remember like three weeks ago. E Rock and me had an experience with a tranny blow up doll. Oh, oh yes, yeah. yes, yes. I, thanks for reminding us of another forgot gay about, thing you did for the Opie and Anthony one. show. Well, that one was so awful that I just told Jess about it right away because, you know, better. <laughs> yeah. 
but <laughs> E-Rock's fiance calls up Jess maybe last week and says, did you hear what our boyfriends did with that blow-up doll? <laughs> Jess was like, yeah, that was weeks ago. <laughs> you know, in some cultures, you guys are pretty much dating. Yeah. <laughs> you know that, right? They are. Not in this culture. You got a very close girlfriend. He's he's uh, engaged, but uh, you guys got a little something something on the side. It's brilliant because it's in the open for everybody. <laughs> You're getting away with murder. It's amazing. No, it's not. Beards, <laughs> right? You guys are like the opposite of what happens. You know, when um, you're you're out, maybe you're out with your girlfriend and and uh, a friend and his girlfriend, and the girls are close, and they hang out and put their arms around each other, <laughs> mm -hmm. maybe give each other a little kiss and play with their hair. That's what you guys are, but only the opposite. Like it's you and E Rock that are doing those girly things with each other, and it's, and your your significant others are kind of a little suspect. It has to be stopped. It's it's hey, the, there's what, only one person that can stop it. Complaining about it. <laughs> only, yes. There's only one person that can stop it. It's yourself. So good luck to you. Yeah. No. Hopefully I you'll, hear you're hopefully you'll find born the with it, Though <laughs> I feel <laughs> like you're born with it, and it's not really something that you. You fall into in life, so you just got to accept it, I think. I meant the actions. I'm not gay. Some people say you're born with uh -huh. it. Some people say you go that direction because of circumstances. Like, maybe this is considered kind of a prison. <laughs> <laughs> I, told, I had to justify it because my dad was also very disappointed. But then uh, I reminded my dad. Well, let's be honest. You're disappointed with him and his, and his handlebar mustache. So, <laughs> yes. you're, so now you're even. Well, I reminded my dad that he was in a fraternity yeah. and asked him what he did that he never told me and reminded oh. him he was doing it to impress a bunch of guys. At least I had a mic in front of me. Yeah. yeah did my, you show him this picture that Daddy found? No, I didn't show no. him that yeah. picture. Yeah. Why would I? Oh, we can't even oh, describe that picture. No. That's, Sam, that's really gay. <laughs> <laughs> that is every gay video <laughs> you could pop up a, a freeze frame from it. It is pretty much uh, um, our own Sam. Yeah. And he is simulating uh, doing something to a, a, a transvestite blow up yeah. doll. Yeah. He is simulating a, a, a sex act. Yeah. Yeah. Um, where he wouldn't be able to whistle a tune at the same time. Sure. Shouldn't have done that either. Sam, you sure don't have a secret. Man, we don't have to play this one out. <laughs> Look at that technique. We just go with it on the radio. His this is the way to... are all sucked yeah. in. He's got that old... Wow, you're good. You know, luckily, uh, I, I was able to snap ten photos of <laughs> Sam and Eric's... Uh, ten oh, photos? Oh, yeah, they're Well, great. just for the people, uh, e -Rock decided to put something in his pants and... And it's through the zipper. Yeah, it was the and detachable then, piece of the transvestite and then Sam, uh, doll. Sam did what he does best, I guess. Because <laughs> <laughs> and then Travis took ten pictures of it on his phone because he needed material for later, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Sam took to it like a fly to sugar. <laughs> <laughs> that picture, that picture Sam, that, that I'm looking at can be taken and put on any gay porno <laughs> site, and no one would question it. It wouldn't be like, oh, that's fake. Dude, a little Photoshop and you're in deep trouble, man. You, you get rid of the plastic looking thing. Yeah, oh, yeah. that would be so easy to do. You could uh, like real make that look real. You just it black. Cut down on the highlight a little bit. Yeah, you just paint it up a little bit. Well, I don't have any other options for a career at this point. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, neither do male prostitutes, I guess. Well, that's not what I intended to be. Oh. So why weren't you in the movie Milk? <laughs> you were perfect for it. I'm not. Could have been one of the extras hanging out in the camera store. Mm. I'm not gay. All I've right. been thrown into this. No one was asking you. Peer pressured. We got a we got a nice supply of gay listeners. I'm sure. Yeah. What does that have to do with anything? There's nothing we, wrong with we're, it. We're open minded to the gay, so don't worry about mm. it. I'm not worried, but it doesn't apply to me. Your your girl's getting a little nervous. Yeah, she's not happy. <laughs> Yeah, what's up, E-Rock? Well, somebody just found out. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, Wait, your fiancé didn't know? I haven't told her anything. <laughs> she just found out. I'm not allowed to hang out with Sam anymore. <laughs> uh, Wait, you didn't tell her about the uh, the motorboat to your man boobs? No. Or the uh, hickey that's very obvious on your chest? No. But your weight? <laughs> <laughs> he just keeps setting up mirrors differently around the house and positioning himself. Fun house mirrors. <laughs> <laughs> Your All right, we got a developing story here. Very good. Thank you. 877-212-ONA. So yesterday was Paul McCartney. We'll find out what it is today. It's always something.
We'll continue in just a bit. Opie and Anthony. Uh, down, down. Some kind of hard music. There we yeah, go. there it is. It's Opie and Anthony. Boy, it looks like Steve Jobs is in trouble. Uh, don't look so good. Wow. Yeah. CEO of Apple, right? Yes. He's taking a leave of absence until June. Uh, uh. Yes. It's been a lot of speculation because he's uh, lost a lot of weight. He had yeah. some kind of, what, tumor on his pancreas? I, yeah. They thought they had that under control, and then they said, what? Some kind of hormone thing was making him lose a lot of weight? They said he had a hormone imbalance. Yeah. He had a tiny tumor, tumor on the pancreas, so they oh, thought boy. they could just get that off. But uh, this is not a good sign. Why is the pancreas the evil organ? You don't uh, want uh, anything to happen to the pancreas ever. Yeah, you certainly want that one to be functioning, don't you? You get a little something going on with your liver or your kidney. You, you yeah. still got a lot of time, a lot of options. But, man, you see anything on that pancreas. <laughs> they said his wasn't the deadly version. But I, to me, it's like it, all this speculation around him. Like, and the, the stock has dropped because you're like, is he sick? He's like, no, I'm fine. Right. And then he's like, I know, but I got to take time off. Yeah. It's like a little more comp. That's bad news, man. His oh. weight is mirroring the stock price. <laughs> <laughs> I believe he's at 75 uh, pounds. He dropped 10% yesterday. <laughs> and what was the what was the pounds a year ago? 149? 192. Yeah, 192. See? So adds on to something. I do believe uh, yeah. his, his, the, the stock price you know, is mirroring. I don't think they're going to tell you what's <laughs> wrong with a guy. So, a guy that is this powerful, you're never we're going to get the real story. No. They're going to hide as much as they can, of course. Too many people depend on him. Yeah, but the thing is, if you um if you're if you're going to go and it, you know, I hate to I hate to even say it about somebody, but you know, CEOs and uh big wigs and companies, they do go, but uh, the companies it's going to go on. He's he's like the the cheerleader, the rah rah, the face to the company, the guy that goes up in the 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 big products that come out and, and yeah. shows them off. Uh, it's not like Apple's going to collapse if this guy's not part of it. It would certainly hurt him for a little while yep. until they get a new figurehead in there. Hopefully a healthier one. I see good buy opportunity. <laughs> Do you think that the weight really does mirror? Like, he's up to 120. Bye! 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 He's got neck fat again. Bye! <laughs> <laughs> That's sad, though, man. It's like, it's like when you see a guy like 55 years old, that much money, and it's like... He's got the world by the balls. Everything. Except the phone that works. But, I mean, aside from that, he's oh. got everything. He's, he's oh. a brilliant guy. He's a head of a great company. You, yeah. Um, is it worth playing the audio? Well, we can start with this clip. But he's taking that leave of absence. That's uh, that's never good. No. Saying he'll come back in June. Huh? No. The Apple founder, Steve Jobs, announcing uh, he's going out on a medical yeah. leave, saying the health problem he revealed only a few days ago, in his words, is, quote, more complex than originally thought. Hi, Wolf. This is really an extraordinary... So you really got to translate uh, these quotes. More complex yeah. than he thought. What does that mean? The cancer is back. <sighs> he got a holy S phone call from the doctor. Like... <laughs> What is it? Speculating. Doesn't that sound like chemo? Like, doesn't that sound like it's back, and, and this is how much time it's going to take for you to go through another round? And they say, you know, it's more complex than originally thought. Mm. He yeah. said hormone imbalance, but then, yeah, it might be, you know, might have reared its ugly head again. Well, this is really an extraordinary and unanticipated development. After all, as you alluded to, just a few days ago, Steve Jobs uh, tried to dismiss speculation that his health uh, was declining rapidly. There had been a lot of speculation uh, in Silicon Valley that he was in dire health, and he put out a statement uh, saying that his weight loss, and we, we have a picture uh, showing his weight loss over the last couple of years, how dramatic it is. Uh, his statement said that his weight loss was attributed to a hormone uh, deficiency uh, and basically said that was it. you got to remember Jobs uh, had pancreatic cancer uh, in 2004, had part of his pancreas removed, uh, so his health has always been a, a fragile issue among uh, Apple faithful and Apple investors. Yikes. Well, mm, 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 mm. well <laughs> good luck, bro. 
Good luck, bro. Good luck, bro. And no, Danny, I didn't mean it's a good buy opportunity. <laughs> I meant a good buy opportunity, not good, not goodbye. <laughs> just wish him well. <laughs> no, wish him well. Uh, yeah. Goodbye. Yeah. Oh, I thought you meant good bi. Like he's weak now, you can have a homosexual experience with him. <laughs> oh. <No. laughs> <laughs> Wow. Uh, Money's not everything, huh? Money uh, can't cure everything. Dude, if Money can't buy you love, as uh, a guest uh, that we had yesterday once said. Can't get rid of tumors either. Yes. Uh, I think this ends horribly. I think this is it. No, oh, my little guess. No, Kreskin. What do I know? <laughs> <laughs> what do I know, but When you drop 70% of your weight. <laughs> yeah. yeah, what is he down to? Nine. <laughs> <laughs> this ends chin first on a keyboard. They, on, on his computer oh. screen, they're going to walk in and just find he said, Dear, and the R is going to be like filling like, all, <laughs> <laughs> all the way through. All the way down the page. Oh, oh. Do you know what AOL had that was really interesting yesterday? Um, When you sign on, they had these weird little trivia things. Or two days ago, famous last words. With oh, all right. these cool quotes, like the last thing people said. Yeah. It was really great and Creepy, creepy at the same time, yeah. Creepy. You got any we could uh, they could pull them on up. the show? They could pull them up. I honestly don't know. Man, I gave up on that AOL years ago. I, years I, ago. I stopped paying for it. I'm eating banana. Yeah, I see that. Well, now you get it for free? My email address, yeah. Huh. Mm. They do it for free now? That's what someone told me, right? Yeah, well, yeah, well. What are you, yeah. All right. I, was paying I had an it's... easy time canceling. I was paying 25 a month. And I'm like, this is going to be a nightmare. So the guy's like, maybe I could offer you. I'm like, I'm not sure what you're not understanding. Yeah. I'm like, I know you're doing your job, but I do not want the service. I got his name. He was like, okay. And he canceled it. He was okay. Really? Yeah. You know why? Because they caught so much crap for giving people a hard time uh, canceling. Canceling. You know, it was AOL, I, I always thought it was training wheels for the internet. Um, when you first got on, it was like, an easy way to get online and, you know, the dial-up thing. Well, no one knew how no to do it before how then. Even, how to even get online <laughs> right. and how, then just open a browser. You kind of forget. It's like, what? You got to get you got to get on. I need AOL to, like, get the... <laughs> <laughs> you pretty much did, though. Yeah. You forget, yeah, but, they, you know. They kind of had that uh, I mean, you had monopolized. Some of, the, some of the tech guys knew how to get around the AOL to get online, but not yeah. many of us. Hey, uh, so they're talking about jobs today, and they're also talking about uh, COD today. Oh, Ricardo Montalban. Ricardo Montalban is being remembered today. He died at the age of... Oh, wow, you said that perfectly. Ricardo Montalban. So you get that L in there. I've yes. never got... I always used to say Ricardo Montalban. I said the L at the wrong place. Montalban or something. Oh, no, Montalban. Mont Mont you nailed it. Ricardo Montalban is being remembered today. He died at the age of 88. <laughs> he appeared in more than 80 movies and television shows and was most famous for his role as Mr. Wark on Fantasy Island. He was about promoting the expression of the soul through art. And he had, he had no barriers. What he had was a wonderful accent that spoke to an entire world. Oh boy. The Emmy Award winner and screen actor is... Who was that? Who was the that? lady? How about you let us know who that was? That. Was that his wife or something? I don't know who that was. Uh, I think it was... Uh... I think it was one of the, the women that works at his... He, like, he, he uh, founded a theater yeah. in Hollywood. I think it was one of the... Uh, one of the people that work at the theater couldn't have been his wife um i believe she died on seti alpha five <laughs> i do believe that's what happened when they were stranded there uh when the botany bay um botany uh, bay <laughs> botany bay oh captain <laughs> they put creatures in our bodies yes oh, where they where they put them <laughs> yeah, sam wants to know <laughs> <laughs> poor sam Award uh, winner and Screen Actors Guild Lifetime Achievement recipient acted well into his 80s, founding the Ricardo Montalban Theater 10 years ago to give the next generation of actors their chance. Hollywood and Vine. What a wonderful place for him to call the Ricardo Montalban Theater, and, and he broadly broadcast Mi Casa es tu casa. That's what it's all about, and it's, it's kind of hard today. This statement from Leonard Nimoy, he says, I greatly admired him. He was a confident artist and a gentleman. 
Someone gentleman, the guy opened fire on the Enterprise, and uh, uh, Spock had to run down to the reactor room. It's the, his the fault that he died that was in the first place. Why would he then uh, give him kudos like that? that wasn't he tasks me. That he tasks me, and I shall have him. <laughs> Best Star Trek ever, in my humble opinion. The first movie it was the most human. One where where Kirk where Kirk gets a little teary eyed when they're sending uh, uh, Spock off in the sunglasses case. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> we really should have uh, the con drop if if we were producing this show con! properly. But well, why would we have a a con drop, right, Steve? That's stupid. Do we have any Fantasy Island stuff? Why would we, Jimmy? Kirk, my old friend. It's yes, not, it's not like he was known for that uh, friend. show. Doon, 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 doon. Oh, with that little, with that little, uh, that little too many drinks in the womb <laughs> thing would run up the steps and ring the bell, <laughs> and then, and then tranny loving Mister Rourke would pop out. Yeah, I'm your host. White suit, red spot in the front. <laughs> I should have asked her certain questions first. Ah, <laughs> yeah. Come, smiles, everyone, smiles. And then the plane would come. He said he was very upset with. Uh, people uh, that would just say the plane, the plane to him. Mm -hmm. uh, he said uh, on a Larry King interview in the nineties that, yeah. that it's like you know people think they're the first people that say it. And, well, you uh, know he, what? I guess he got a little upset. You know what? About deal it. with it. I, I I bet you he wasn't that upset about that when he was hanging around in his multi-million dollar <laughs> mansion. Shut up. Exactly. He did a lousy show dressed like Pablo up. Escobar. You're lucky anybody <laughs> knows your name. All right, that show was huge and did well for you. Deal with the plane for a, a few decades. Also uh, very famous uh, back in the uh, late uh, mid-late 70s, I guess, for the Chrysler Cordoba mm -hmm. with the rich Corinthian leather. He would be pushing that leather on the seats. Well, the guys gave us one out of three, so that's good. Oh, yeah? Stump Brain, what's going on? I think i got to yell at you today. Why, why not the con drop? Why not the uh, the uh, the uh, Fantasy Island Gone. stuff? Gone. you got to beat these guys up behind Gone. the Gone. You're going to have to come down here. That's the grave digger talking. <laughs> 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 oh, the Wrath of Con people are screaming. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's a panic. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> The beauty of this show, they'll run uh, the con clip and the oh. Fantasy Island clip in just in time after the break when we decide to move on from this. Sure. <laughs> and we wonder why everything's falling apart. Can't even do the basics. Here's the commercial you're uh, talking about, though, Anthony. I know my own needs. And what I need from an automobile, I know I get from this new Cordova. They still have Cordovas out there? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> What's it, made in Mexico? <laughs> the Cordova. <laughs> There's little kids trying to still get chiclets in it. Wait. Chiclet! Chiclet! <laughs> little bastards, get away from me. And, and the Corinthian leather doesn't exist. Isn't that something that they made up? I, I, I think, why am I screaming? I think really? that Corinthian leather was something, I could be wrong, but I think that was a made-up thing. Really? It sounded good. It yeah, just I, sounded good. Corinthian. He could roll his R's on the Corinthian leather. I could ask for nothing beyond the quality of Cordova's workmanship, the tastefulness of its appearance. I request nothing beyond the thickly cushioned luxury of seats available even in soft Corinthian leather. Yet it is on the highway where Cordova best answers my demands. What's the, your demand? A piece of crap car that goes slow? I in this small Chrysler than great comfort at a most pleasant price. I have great confidence, for which there can be no price. In Cordova, I have what I need. I don't think I've ever seen one of these on the road. It were people buying them? Oh, yeah, I, I oh, yeah they used that. to buy them. Yeah. That was in the day of the old rust bucket, though. You know, five years after you owned a car, oh, it was just God. rusted. You don't see that anymore. That's like something you really don't see, the rusted-out car. Remember, you would buy a car, and then you would ask where this uh, car would, you know, came from? Yeah. Oh, it came from... Uh... You know, the Northeast, that's bad. Oh, that's a lot of salt on the road. A lot of salt, that's going to wear out the uh, you know, the bottom of this car. Got to go quickly. to Arizona and buy your car. <laughs> yes. It's nice and dry. Someone in my family, if you need a car, trust me, go to Florida. Go to Arizona. Well, yeah, Florida, somewhere no, dry. Florida, you get that salt sea air. No, that don't work either. <laughs> you got to be somewhere inland. Right. 
I buy my cars from Wyoming, <laughs> but only southern Wyoming. <laughs> I was a big fan of buying my cars from Seattle. <laughs> yeah. See, that's a rain joke, people. <laughs> Rains all the time there. Rust buckets. I would imagine your car would last maybe a season. I guess people started getting that true coat. <laughs> Yeah, they figured that out, thank God. Yeah. Uh, this is coming in a, a lot, plastic. <laughs> Anthony. They're hers. They're hers. Oh. And Stephen S. from Bayshore. Ricardo's skin will be looking like genuine Corinthian leather within six months. <laughs> oh. There's an old Klingon proverb. It is very cold in the grave. <laughs> I guess God needed a Klingon. Uh, well, he was just a superior race. He wasn't a Klingon. He was a product of late... Um, 20th century genetic engineering, where they uh, actually in 1990, yeah. they put them in a intergalactic spaceship right. and shipped them off yeah. uh, all into like exile. Uh -huh. And that's when uh, the Enterprise um, had found them uh, in some kind of suspended animation, thought them out, yeah. and then Khan just kind of took over. Uh -huh. Kirk was so stupid in that one. And this is the original one, not the motion picture. This was the episode that uh, got the movie made. Uh, the original episode. There was an original Star Trek episode made in the 60s that starred Ricardo Montalban as Khan. Oh, he was in... I didn't and know it that. it was a sequel. Actually, the, the movie was a sequel to that episode. And uh, the dumbest thing... Here's Khan. I don't care. No! <laughs> no! Hot jokes don't go over. I don't care. It's a popular <laughs> program. Care. People I love care. it. No, because it was oh, a... They oh, found him. Hey. Floating in space, people care. It's Star Trek, thousands of tens of conventions. No. Shut up, Kevin Meany. No, they care. Oh. <laughs> stupid Kevin Meany and his stupid I don't care song. So uh, I wasn't accurate with uh, God needed a Klingon, so no. God needed a what? Because every time one of these people dies. A late a 20th century genetically engineered Superman. That's what God needed? Yes. That's the best we can do with this one? Yes. Usually it's it's a perfect little bit we do. Kirk, Kirk actually let Khan review all of the ship's tapes mm -hmm. uh, of all the engineering. Yeah. He goes, I need some reading material. Yeah. Uh, what do you have? Do you have specs on the, the Enterprise? Mm -hmm. And Kirk is like, sure. And he gives him all he wants. He's like, you don't do that with some guy. You just ah, Kirk was a horrid captain. Should have told him that when, when we interviewed him. But what? There are no crickets in space. Explain it to them. <laughs> yes. That's when he was stranded uh, inside a uh, regular with the uh, Genesis device. Uh, and of course, Khan wanted the Genesis device. Which he got. Wait, no, because he got it because Chekhov uh, blabbed about it uh, because he put the creature in his ear, which made him very susceptible to suggestion. And Khan got the uh, Genesis device, but his his thirst for vengeance, much like Moby Dick's, uh, the story of Moby Dick, uh, uh, he, he was obsessed with Admiral Kirk. Admiral Kirk. No, you care. This is people care. No. I one more time. No. See, this is what happened. I'm going to try to move on to other things, but Stephen S. from Bayshore. Yes. Because every time someone famous dies or someone of significance dies, you got to go with the whole. Gets his wings. <laughs> got to go with the whole, I guess God needed a blank. Yes. And he might uh, he might have the one for Ricardo Montel Blonde. Montalban. We got to get that L in there. Montalban. No, it's Ricardo Montalban. Yeah, Montalban. The L is before the B. I had it. Montalban. 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 Uh, Stephen S. from Bayshore. I guess God needed a Spaniard who enjoyed enslaving kickables. <laughs> Poor little tattoo. Uh, by the way. Yes. Somebody had an acting audition yesterday. And how did no. it go, Jimmy? Eh, you know what? What? Eh. You, what you do you mean, eh? You might get it. What is it for? It was for a movie that Meryl Streep has been casting. Nice. 
And uh, Meryl Streep. Yes. All right. And uh, to say I bombed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> what do you mean you bomb? Um, I don't know if you can, if you've ever seen something blown the way I blew this audition. Oh no, no! I stunk. <laughs> no! Oh, my God. oh no! <laughs> I didn't really like the material, but I, I. I it was to play a hotel doctor. What? Like a hotel doctor that they, they have those? <laughs> I guess so. All right. Not, well, not in this movie. If I was the only one auditioning, they don't. I think I got the character written out. Picture <laughs> <laughs> you playing it like Groucho Marx. <laughs> I'm the hotel doctor. That would have been an improvement <laughs> over my face in the page. It was so bad. They, the woman called me in, and she was a young, young girl, you know, maybe like late twenties or something, and uh, she sat me down. And we're going through it, and I'm bombing so badly. Like, Ooh. I'm doing so terribly on oh. this. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I can't act. I'm singing this in my, my head as we're doing this audition. <laughs> that's, that's a real confidence booster when in your head you're saying, I can't act. You know, that, that doesn't come out in your reading and in your mannerisms. And people don't really pick up on that lack of confidence when you're saying that in your head. Dude, I got halfway through it, and oh, I tripped on one of the words. Like, maybe your wife can... And I'm like, can we start over? Oh. This, sometimes you got to stop. And she goes, uh, okay. And then she goes, well, let's start from this point. It was like two lines back. I was doing so bad, she didn't even want to go back Don't a page. Don't start over. She goes, let's start back here. She Two lines back. She goes, I'm a whiz at piecing these things together. And I wanted to, oh. I, I wanted to go, do you think, you idiot, I'm 19 years into this, that I think the afterwards, you're going to splice it together? <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> they want you out of there so bad. Dude. <laughs> They wanted to say next so bad. But I couldn't even get mad at her because I, I was so awful. Like, why would she waste another why moment you, of her time? Why do you think you were bad? I don't know. I didn't like the material. Yeah. Um, not saying it sucked. It's just not right for me. I'm not a hotel. The other guys I was reading against were, ho they look like hotel doctors. Mm hmm um, I looked like I, I don't know. I just and I didn't enjoy what I was. You look like the reason they need a hotel doctor or something like that. I wasn't going to go that She's direction. She's bleeding from. Well, send the doctor in. Exactly. They walk in. I have a smile and flesh between my teeth. Can I play that guy? Um, it was horrendous. I was like, it was. I forgot how bad it can be when you are not comfortable reading something. They're not casting you right. Well, that was. I told my manager, I'm like, John, you can't send me for this stuff. Yeah, you should slap like, him in the face. No, no. He goes, you know what? He goes, you're, you're right. He goes, uh, that one probably was not for you. He goes, they, but they, they, they kind of requested you because they like you. And uh, nice. you know, Meryl Streep was. It's like, how do you say no? It's just a matter of time before you get a nice little part in a movie, Jimmy. I'm 40. like a real part. I, if, if I do, I do. But I'm 40 years old. It's like, I mean, maybe I'll do something, but it, they're not going to just start handing me movies. It, I'm beyond that. I'm, for me, stand up is my my route. Maybe a yeah. show or something. But I'm I'm dreading turning forty, man. Ugh. Yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty <laughs> bad. I mean, you know. <laughs> oh, wow. Really? Okay. It's the Benjamin Buttons and Anthony show. Eight seven seven two one two O and A. Uh, phones are kind of dead right now. But we'll get to you in a minute well, or two. I think, uh, you know, a little Star Trek talk, they'd probably light right up. <laughs> yeah, no, no, let's uh, let's stay away from that for a little while, please. Oh, please. 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 Let them eat static. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, well, we do have your uh, your video you requested for today. Well, you, I'm just... Uh, you, I'm not a racist, I just point things out. Uh, there is uh, opposite racism going on in this country right now. That's the angle we're taking the today. The pendulum is swinging back the other way. No, I'm just really... I've gotten so tired of this... Um, this uh, what this is it? upcoming inauguration and the news uh, and all the channels doing this big, big hoopla thing. And, uh, oh, and just the graphics and the music and everything. It's like, all right, shut up already. But it's exciting. Just swear the guy in. It takes a minute for him to be sworn in. And there's going to be all this hoopla and, and hip-hop people and, and crap that I don't want to see. And, 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 and the goddamn liberals Whoa. Whoa. were giving George W. 
Whoa. Uh, yeah. who, you know, is an ass, mm-hmm. uh, but giving him all kinds of crap about the expense of his um, last inauguration and the the expense and the uh, um, uh, pomp and circumstance that was going on during a time where perhaps uh, more should have been, uh, 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 people should have been concentrating more on the war and things like that. Well... Who's setting a record for the most money spent on an inauguration? Obama. There's a lot of excitement, my friend. Excitement, my ass. Let's wait for him to trip up before we really go after him. You know something? There's a lot of hope no, out no. there, a lot of excitement. Hope. I, you, you feel it in the air. No, yeah, There's a positive feeling do. in this country. Let me, let me let you in on a little secret. Yeah. Everyone isn't uh, pleased as punch, and everyone isn't happy. And when the news gets on and these, these libs... These lib news broadcasters start going, eh, well, everyone is awaiting with excitement for this inauguration. No, well, everyone isn't. Can you at least admit that it's di- half the people in this country ain't? Can you at least admit that it's different than past inauguration? Inaugur- Why? Inauguration? Why should it be? It seems Swear to be. The guy in. And then believe me, I was reading other message boards, too, mm-hmm. where this uh, guy was on there talking about how... Uh, how um, just because Obama is president doesn't mean that uh, anything should change as far as um, affirmative action. Um, there's still uh, uh, m- racism more than ever because now people are saying that there's no racism because a black man could become president. And just because that's happening means there's actually more racism. I want to reach through the uh, computer screen and just ring next. Why does he get you so mad? When I do, that's be, just the president. Because that's really it's not going to change what happens to you and I or anybody I'm else. not even talking about matter. the president. Not even talking about the president. Just, just uh, what? I'm talking about society. Society. I'm talking about uh, black and white people lying to each other. Dishonesty. There's a giant dishonesty going on between blacks and whites. Uh, and and it, it is only getting worse, and and it has gotten worse with the um, uh, election of Obama and with the inauguration. Uh, what are they expecting? A couple of million people? A That's million exciting. People, something like that. So they have that, people coming out for this one. Yeah, people in droves. Like they haven't uh-huh. come out for it. They haven't come out for That's it like right. this in a long time. That's right. No one I know is going. Anyone new? You know, going to uh, DC? Anyone you know, Jim? I actually do know. Uh, Shut up. Dane and Dave are going. Yeah. Comedians. Dane and Dave. Both yeah, all yeah, right. A couple of libs. My aunt's going. Well, they're getting probably paid to perform. Yeah. Oh, okay. They're well, performing. they're pe- oh, they're performing. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, that makes right. perfect sense then. But Aunt, I'm talking about going to be there. You could ask that question every four years. No, I don't know anyone that goes down there for this crap. Yeah, but you you could. I get a lot <laughs> of black people going. Right. Exactly all my right. point. There's a lot of hope. They're this excited. Is, this is a. They a, got someone they feel like they could finally relate to. How could that possibly hurt in the end? It's it's not a good thing. Be, be, for for uh, it's smart for, to just keep them down. For me, <laughs> no, I'm not even saying that. Let's just keep them down. I'm saying there's this attitude. <laughs> They'll behave better. The closer they, get, I'm not saying that. <laughs> I'm just there is a dishonesty. These are, these all, all these statements have like little question marks after them. That's all. There's dishonesty between blacks and whites, and I would love sure. to see a little more honesty, and I do on the websites I visit. This is and a... I visit both sides. I saw I saw a, 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 some, some jackass mm-hmm. saying how uh, blacks are superior to whites in every way, mentally, physically, um, because of, spiritually, because of melanin. Yes. Melanin uh, absorbs power. And it is not just in the skin, this gentleman was saying. It's in the brain, yeah. in all the organs. That's why he was saying this, mm-hmm. a black man. Mm-hmm. That's why black people are athletically better than uh, uh, white people. Well, you know, Jimmy the Greek said that. He got fired. This guy, uh, they, they uh, put him up on a pedestal and praise him. Who is um, Who is this guy? What network is he doing? Uh, believe me, his his word is getting out there. As much as uh, the, the it's on a pedestal <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> Believe me, as much as the word gets out on nword dot com, uh, edwardmania.com, dot right. com, it gets out on these other uh, what, sites. The what, opposite. Uh, you want him to be fired from his KFC job? What are you? What are you asking for? I'm not asking fired. I, wa- I This is the honesty, though. This is <laughs> you the get honesty. so worked up. I do get worked Why? up. Why? Because yeah. there's a Maybe dishonesty the... and hypocrisy going on. People aren't honest. Maybe this will get uh, get everybody talking. This guy. Oh, they're talking they, all right. I understand they're talking, but maybe we'll get some positive things done. They're talking. Positive stuff? Maybe. 
opens up uh, communication between them. Does races. it? I, it sure. closed it down. Sure, why not? It's closed it down even more. I do like to see the media finally being patriotic. I Look, they're repulsive. But I like to see them finally talking nicely about a president. Uh, well, well, we'll see and again, they're probably they were the same with Clinton. Then. I'm not even like I'm not even talking that much about the president. I'm not talking about Obama. <laughs> That's great. I'm not even so much talking about Obama. I'm talking about how it's perceived what this represents. Not what it represents. The perception of what it represents mm -hmm. to certain black people, which I think is a larger uh portion than a, a lot of people think it is yeah but th that's fine they're gonna they're expecting way too much they're gonna be very disappointed because this stuff doesn't drastically change no matter who goes to washington I'm not talking about that how is what that are you talking about? about i'm talking about how is it bad like if people are just are, are maybe psyched yeah. i honestly haven't had any negative experiences i know you said you did i literally haven't yes. since then i mean I'm, you know, I'm interacting every day too i haven't had and maybe i will yeah but eh, i don't see how it's bad yeah, well, then everyone can just continue calling me a racist. <laughs> is that a racist? Yeah, whatever they just, do, I didn't even imply that. Do. I'm not saying that. This this goes deep with you, that's all. They call, yeah, it, it makes me... I don't care that much. I'm I very see, angry. I like uh, being caught up in the excitement when I see of things. it. Because, um, because this is a, a, a moment that uh, black people should embrace for one thing, and what I'm seeing is it in, uh, being embraced as something else. This is something that should be We're looked at as, look how far we've come, All right. but it's not. What does it's it feel? being looked at as, I'm, I'm getting mines. That's what it's being looked at. It's, it, they don't want to take Obama becoming president as a, a obvious example of what you can do in this country regardless of your color. They don't want to take it as that. That's what I get from reading. I read these uh, uh, websites. Oh. I read a lot. I don't read the 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 uh, liberal uh, crap media or the the hard wing uh, right conservative media stuff. I read what people are talking about. Real people out there in the country. But don't you understand? Those people will be disappointed if that's how they're looking at this. No, it's an attitude. I so see that. It's not an expectation. They're gonna be like, wait a minute, it's what the attitude. f? I thought everything was gonna change because we got our man in there. They're gonna be so disappointed, which will make you happy in the end. No, because it's a, it's it's the fact that he's in right proves a point that you can do anything in this country regardless of color. Which Yet all I'm hearing is yes, it is good, right? But I'm not hearing that. I'm hearing nope, still plenty of racism. Go f yourself. There isn't. Look, look who got elected. There. Look out the window at, 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 at when you're uh, flying out. <laughs> Look out the window of, of any airplane you're flying out. Who's loading your bags in at every goddamn airport you go to? <laughs> oh, my God. I'm just saying. <laughs> All right. So Dude, what does that so, mean? So don't tell me you can't get jobs. <laughs> but you very rarely do hear, yo, y'all, this your captain. <laughs> <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> you don't hear that very often. No, well, I've I've been on many flights with uh, African American pilots, first officers, whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I haven't. Only one woman to date. Worf was a black man on Star Trek: The Next Generation. All right, let's go to Brian in the Bronx. I'll, I'll humor you and, uh, and put one of your supporters on today. Brian, what's going on? Hey, listen, Andy, I'm on board with you all the way. I was taking the bus the other day, and a black woman. She's got a band on one seat, another seat. I said, you know, hey, can you move your bag? I was like, I can't wait till Obama gets in, and Obama gets in, I can't wait, can't yeah. wait. They grabbed it, they have to take up four seats on the bus. Where's, this, Obama where's this going but on? But, dude, I, I walk around all the time. In the Bronx, come on. I've Some heard awful it. lady with a bunch of bags. <laughs> right. I mean, whatever. You, you're acting like... If she thinks that way, whatever. I, I laugh at those people. You're, like actually, you're, you're not educated enough to understand that what happens with this. Yes. yes you're acting like it's Condoleezza Rice. It's just some <laughs> bitch on the bus who's <laughs> probably went home and, and, and shat in her own shoe. There. <laughs> when I say that, <laughs> it's hysterical. <laughs> I don't know why though. I said that. <laughs> There's the, no no one is is being honest. That's all I'm saying is there's there's got to be this more, and I don't mean individually. I just mean kind of as as a society. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, there's everybody. The news is presenting this as if the entire country is pleased as punch. That this historic moment is happening, 
And uh, uh, that's what you hear. Everybody, they say, everybody is uh, excited. That No, it's not the truth. First of all, I just don't like a uh, 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 hardcore lib being in there. That's going to redistribute my my money that I've I've worked for. We'll wait and see. Don't like that. Let's see what he gets done. Yeah, we'll see what he gets done. But you know that's what he's he's promised. Uh, also, do you think um, after uh, uh, let's say September twelfth, two thousand one? Let me just pick a random date. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, do you th- think we'd ever have this president? who's promising within the first couple of weeks to shut down Guantanamo and has people bitching that we're torturing those poor lads down there who are al-Qaeda uh, and uh, uh, talking about torture as being uh, sleep-deprived, um, being held uh, nude, uh, being uh, questioned for hours on end, uh, waterboarding. That's, that's torture? We would have been up and uh, we would have been like, yeah. And if a, a, a guy came along with the platform Obama has then, right. we'd all say, go crap in your hat. And now look, a few short years later, everyone just forgot. <laughs> Y'all forgot. Come on. I agree with him on uh, I everyone agree with him on forgot. Oh, I understand. But the Barack others... Hussein Obama is getting elected president of the United States. Tell me that on September 12th. Well, yeah. Tell me that. I would have bet everything I own against it. It's good to and know. And now instead of losing that way, I'm going to lose uh, through taxes. It's good to know we've moved forward and we've learned from Move the forward. events of uh, 9-11. Yeah. <laughs> let them all loose then. Let them all go. Close down Guantanamo. <laughs> there you go. Good idea. I just like the excitement. I like that more people are interested in the system and politics. No. No, one's into, no I, one knows about I, politics. They're all I like, stupid. I like that there's, for the first time in a long time, there's, there's, there's this hope in the air. Hope. A, a buzz. There's a buzz. buzz. A, buzz. a bit there's, of a buzz. The only reason there's <laughs> any excitement is the color of his skin. Stop it already. Stop it. Now, I, they're judging this man on the color of his skin, which is what Martin Luther King said, don't do. And that's the only reason there's excitement, and there's this a histor- history-making uh, inauguration, and the news is all over it with their promos and graphics and all that happy horse crap. That's why everyone, as they say, I like, is excited. I like, it's a lie. I like his charisma. I like that he still goes and works uh, out and plays good. a little basketball. That's right. good. I like uh, how he uh, speaks in public. Well-spoken, articulate. It, right, he, oh, he, he, he seems to talk uh, to the comedy. Common man, yeah, the average know. Joe. That's fantastic. You know who else had charisma? Yeah, a man named Adolf Hitler. He was very <laughs> wow. charismatic. Are you scared? He certainly that... got the uh, people uh, 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 behind him. You're scared the blacks are going to rally now. What? I didn't say that. I'm just asking. No, that was a, a question mark again. Remember, cult, cult of personality. I didn't, I didn't say you said any of this stuff. The guy, I got questions. Was elected mm-hmm. uh, based on. The color of his skin. Based the on, based on, I'll tell you what he's based, based on. Based on the color of his skin. He was elected based on the fact that the Republicans yeah, okay. put a horrible mm-hmm. ticket yep. and miscalculated Hillary's impact so badly that they stuck yep. Sarah Palin, who I don't think deserved to be vilified the way the media did, but she was a tremendously of she terrible. She deserved all that they threw at her. No, no, no. But I mean, the way they had no business being in that. She didn't, position. but they immediately vilified her like she was an awful person, and that was just left wing bias. I'm not saying she was qualified, but right. they killed her unnecessarily. But she was not qualified. And it was a terrible, no, terrible ticket. I know. So that's the main reason Republicans lost. And they almost won with that. With, with, McCain did well with that. I mean, with that tr- that that albatross, it wasn't just yeah. it wasn't just because the guy was black. Look at uh, 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 who 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 should have uh, been picked by the Democrats. Then I don't know. We don't even remember who was pick, running against pick, Obama at this point. Pick a white except guy, except for Clinton, and he loses. <laughs> Possibly right, man, but I don't know about that. Depend on who on who was running, man. I mean, you uh, had the Mitt Romney. Maybe you know, should they have picked Mitt Romney? Uh, you pick Mitt Romney, uh, they they lose. I just think all the excitement I like the is excitement. based on that's, the color of his skin. It's fun. You're you're seeing black people uh, that are very excited about Obama getting in that know nothing about him. 
right. And they haven't from the get go. We'll, we'll and, learn, and a we'll lot. learn as we go. A, learn as we go. <laughs> we'll learn guy. as we go. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let me tell you another learn as we go. As we go through Poland, Czechoslovakia, uh, <laughs> and France. That was a learn as we go. Learn as we blitzkrieg. What state do you think the blacks are going to take over first? Are they going to start like with Michigan and then uh, start moving their way? Well, you got to look at the maps that are up that show where the population where does this are begin? the most dense. Where do the blacks uh, begin taking states in your humble uh, opinion? Southeast. Southeast? Yeah, like, the southeast like, and the Gulf states. I think Atlanta would be uh, the place to start the big yeah. uh, black revolution. Base of operations. They're, they seem to have a lot uh, smarter blacks down there, right, Ed? <laughs> Look, you are saying this. I'm not. I'm just being honest and saying that this excitement is based on the color of his skin. I like it. And and enough you, with old white guy. Let's see what the this yeah guy yeah perish the thought. Old white guy. Look how look how bad it's been for this country for a couple of hundred years. Stupid old white guys in there. Well, yeah, with all us going to the moon and and uh, yeah, let's, uh, other stuff. Yeah, stop. Yeah, let's take a look. We're not the uh, big superpower we used to be, my yeah, friend. Yeah, and you know why? China's right because on our we heels. We turned into a pussy nation. Because of uh, we turned into a wimpy nation of politically correct douches that will elect the likes of Barack Obama, his his socialist <laughs> ass programs. That's why we're not the superpower. You get a guy like Reagan in there. That's the reason there's no more Soviet Union. Not not this pussy. And Hillary Clinton isn't even in yet as Secretary of State, and she's already setting up. Uh, play dates with Iran. Ah! I want to talk to well, Iran. Death Iran! I agree, but I'm sick and tired of this stupid talk policy. Talk to him with Joe no, with <laughs> with the, I'm tired of the bombs policy. With, not, talk to him with J Dams. Uh, that's what I, that's how you talk to Iran with J Dams. Whammo! You do understand that we have no choice. We gotta get along with the rest of the world. Yeah. In the year two thousand. Do we do we gotta we get really along do. with people that chop people's really heads do. off? No, we don't. We have no, to we figure don't. something out. No, we don't. We certainly do. No, we don't. We you want to get along do. with people that chop people's heads off. Why not? Well, we got to at least figure, try to other. figure something out. No, each other diplomacy. I don't care either. Yes. I'd love for them to all kill each other. Uh, but but they're chopping, uh, you know, occasionally they get one of our guys and chop their heads off. That, I'm telling you where that started, that beheading started. And this was where the military, I know this is not the whole military, this is a few scumbags. Abu Ghraib was God! such a disaster. <laughs> it was a disaster of public relations. It was stupid, dude. It was a stupid you know what? disaster. Do you understand what happens to our soldiers yes. when they're imprisoned by these savage nations? Yes. Do you even understand? Do you think Abu Ghraib was this big a deal? You know who made it a big deal? The libs. Oh, the no. lib, pussy, wimpy asses that have turned this country into the not old white guy running it, mm -hmm. but Obama running it. That's who did that. That's why it's an uh, uh, atrocity that some guys were, <laughs> were uh, stacked up in a pyramid naked. Ooh! Well, I have to... Uh, Sorry when they're leaving wait. our our soldiers hanging from bridges burnt to a crisp. That was not... He wasn't a soldier. Like I, Nick, I know who you mean. No, I'm talking about other soldiers. Oh, those three, yeah. That, yeah. Uh, no, no, but that was... It wasn't the liberal media here. Who is repulsive? That was more of Al Jazeera, who I can't really uh. say is... Uh, it's like in that situation. I know it's only a few people doing it, but it was a terrible. I'd you know, rather take out Al Jazeera uh, for my information than uh, uh, CBS News. We got to take your me. blood pressure. I'll work for them. Uh, NBC. We got to take your. <laughs> we got to take your blood pressure. So obvious. You need to go into uh, like uh, political talk radio. Oh, I just. Be, I, I, I see I the end more than Bob Grant. I see the end. It's it's coming now. I see it. Because I make Bob Grant look like a liberal. <laughs> you need to like. Start doing political talk radio. Do I? Oh yeah. Yeah, one of you'd, be a, uh, you'd be a huge hit for the next four to eight years. Yeah, I wait till this uh, you know sh schlong humor show uh, is done. Uh -huh, well, <laughs> maybe I'll do that. As, as much uh -huh. as the liberal media influences people here, yes, and it does. Yeah. Al Jazeera influences people there, and when they're showing those images, yeah. To, look, look, let's be honest. A lot of people dumb, not getting at least the wide variety of news we have yeah. here. So all they're seeing, a lot of people, is this image. Of, of Americans in this country humiliating their men. That's what they see. Yeah. It's like it was a stupid, stupid thing that turned probably a lot of moderate people who were like, eh, we didn't like Saddam either, into they're humiliating Muslim men, which is not what the military is doing. But again, the way the liberal media blows things up here is exactly what Al Jazeera did over there. So you can't give them something like that. But can I, can I, can you, can you answer me one, one question then? Um, during the Great War of World War II, uh, which everybody remembers um, as just a fantastic, uh, looking through rose-colored glasses almost, uh, a patriotic 
good cause, all that. Do you know how today's people would 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 just in their pants if they saw an American soldier light up a Japanese soldier with a flamethrower? <laughs> Yet that was shown before movies when you went to the movie theater. Holla. That was when people in this country understood what this country was about, what uh, uh, was needed to be done to emerge victorious, to be a world power. You have to do awful things. True. A and now you're not allowed. You stack up some nude savages in some prison over in uh, Iraq, and uh, people are court-martialed, people lose their gigs. It it's ludicrous. When you're walking around as the wor world policeman, and we don't keep our fat faces out of anybody's business, let them all kill each other is, is the way I feel. Yeah. When we walk around with, with, with morality and, and shoving it down everybody's throats, we had better behave that way, or at least not videotape it on a cell phone and send it. I mean, we can't have it both ways. And that annoys me that we're even there to begin with. I don't care if Saddam murdered everybody in the country. Yeah, I don't either. Believe me, I don't either. But uh, the, the reason there's such outcry at everything we do these days is because people call us out on things that are necessary to be a superpower. You can't be a superpower and not, and not flex your muscle. You've got, you've got to, and, and if you go into a war, you have to fight it. You have to fight it I agree nasty with that. and 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 playing pyramid <laughs> playing pyramid with some prisoners to me is not a big deal when you then uh, uh, as we've had in the past pull them out of crashed helicopters and shoot them in the head and chop them up uh, set them on fire now that's a, a, a motivated uh, military when you look at the first Gulf War like that one big Poster boy, uh, the was a, a U.S. Uh, uh, pilot who was shot down. Yeah, Zahn or whatever his name began with the Z's last name. Um, they were released. They weren't. They were maybe mistreated, but they were. They were released. They oh, weren't yeah. murdered. They weren't beheaded. Uh, they were beat up very, very nicely. All right, fine, but they weren't beheaded. during their interrogation. The beheadings happened. And I'm not defending them by these radicals. After that's why they were dressing them all in those orange jumpsuits. That's why they were dressing them in that because it, it, that was why uh, I think the beheading started. It was just it, 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 it was a bad image, a bad image for this country to put out. It was a bad image in this day and age. It was terrible in this day and age. Mm -hmm. it, a bad image in this day and age. It, years ago, it wouldn't have been a bad image. It would have been like, hey, screw them. Maybe yeah. Yeah. We've turned into a a information wasn't passed whipped up. little country. Back right. then, that wasn't passed. Listen, we got it. We got a break. We certainly could continue with this because we got the video that really upset you today. We yes. still haven't played that. That'll be I after my a break. upsetting video of the day, <laughs> and I kind of like all the websites for. How, how do you get upset by kids singing? <laughs> all right, we'll get into that. For the break. <laughs> and the phones just to make Anthony happy. Obama is going to give everyone a nice big safety net. That's Russ and Queens. Clint from New York City and needs to look at it from a black perspective. Sorry. Donnie in Jersey, just because Obama is elected doesn't mean racism is dead. Oh, really? Mike, is Opie smoking crack? Jesse from Jersey, when is Ann accepting enrollment in his militia? <laughs> Mike in Fort Knox, Ann sure talks a, a lot about military without ever being in it. I can Ooh. Oh, please Ooh. don't Whoa. even give Whoa. me that. Everyone, Whoa. Uh, sorry, sorry, I missed out on the nom by four years or something. Five? I heard you. Four years? Yeah, like five years. I heard you escaped to Canada. No, I, I, I think I missed out on by five years. How old are you? Uh, Jill in Boston. You missed out by seven. Shut up. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> Not at all. Not even close. I'm, I'm worried about the big 4-0. Jill in Boston, black co-worker, thinks he could uh, he can't get fired now. That's coming in. And 13-year-old JC, which we love talking about, but we can't right now, maybe after the break. Obama was elected because Bush was so terrible. Very sensible. All right. Opie and Anthony will play. Yes, Danny, we're trying just, to break. I know, but just real quickly, along the same lines, I was at the DMV a few weeks ago, and I noticed and the people, they still had their holiday, happy holiday cards up, and I noticed uh, across the counter that there was an Obama, like a red and green Obama face, and it said happy holidays. Like, like that's how huge this is. He's a messiah. Yeah, it's, it's a I like that. thing now. Me too. No, you don't. Yeah, I wasn't around no. for Jesus. Maybe we can finally see a messiah. This is, <laughs> okay. this is cool stuff. All right. This is cool stuff. I want to see some of these miracles happen now. Oh, jeez. 
I could give you some miracles I'd like to see. I'm a realist, man. I think uh, realist. I, yes, I don't think uh, all these miracles that people think are going to happen are going to happen. I, I think either. in the end, people are going to be a bit disappointed. But I'm going with the excitement and 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 the hope that is out there right now. Right. Why not? Maybe maybe something positive will happen because of all that. All right. That's all I'm at. Right. I know my life ain't changing. Oh yeah. I, <laughs> I might have to give up. I might have to give up a few more bucks that I, I'm never going to spend anyway. Who gives a oh, crap? Really? Yes, I'll have plenty of money for the rest of my life. I don't you care. Think? Yeah, it's not important to me. I don't care. I know how much money I got. I know how much money I need. And if, if they take a little more off the top, believe it or not, I'm fine with that. If it helps. Oh, good luck. How about you know how much money you got? You know how much I need. Why don't we all start? To all right, I'll give you. A, I'll give you a few. A few bucks. How much you need? I don't know. I might have seventeen dollars on me today. You want it? Hoping for four million. <laughs> you, want, you want to kick in my share then? You kick in my share of the tax increase to give to people. Yeah, but you're never going to spend that money anyway. Eh? Yes, I am. How much are you spending? A lot. You're crazy. I spend a lot of money. <laughs> I spend a lot you of money, Opie. You can't spend like this show's going to last another few years. This thing is. Uh, <laughs> Got to save for your future, my friend. Future schmuture. Anthony's the only millionaire who lives from paycheck to paycheck. No kidding. <laughs> are you crazy? That's I'm, not our problem. I'm enriched. <laughs> <laughs> That's not our problem. You're you're overspending, my friend. Yeah, I'm not. I, Putting I, equity in my house is what I'm doing. Uh, That's what I'm uh, doing. What? Uh, I am. What about that? Uh, whatever. What? Uh, you know the. <laughs> oh, gambling! <laughs> Jesus! If I've blown ten people. <laughs> <laughs> Are they? <laughs> Classic rock again? Yeah. Tim Lizzy. <laughs> Thank you, Kenny. It's Opie and Anthony. I need Tums after Anthony's rant. Really? No, not really. <laughs> I don't really care that much. Kind of like the Obama thing, but you know what really makes me mad? Is this Madoff guy makes me way madder than Obama being our president. The judge not jailing him. And the judge is not jailing this guy. And, and they're, they're saying they're, what do they call it uh, in the paper today? Uh, a mob scene? Or they went a little further with their language, but there are people pissed off. And then they parade the guy in and out of court with a bulletproof vest. And yeah. I think that is so insulting to the people that have been victimized. Look, if you need to give the guy the bulletproof vest, put it under his effing clothes. Yeah. At the very least. I personally think, no, you know, take your chances going in and out of the courtroom without the bulletproof vest. It's such an insult to the people that have been affected. It's they do it with murderers and all that. It's like, oh, yeah. ugh. Yes, Jimmy, It's humiliating. Sorry. I don't know. It's, good. it's humiliating for him, though. Because this is a guy, this scumbag was living off everybody else's money for a long time. And now here he is, 70 years old. He has to wear a bulletproof vest because people want to murder him. Back. You know, that, great to see. And he's enjoying the attention. He's got a little smirk and a little smile on his face now when uh, they Could be. when they uh, you know get video of him. I think that's a great tactic, like for the cops, where you you put a bulletproof vest on somebody and it's like, hey, dude, people want to kill you. It kind of reinforces the um, yeah. idea in the guy's head. It, it probably scares the crap out of him. Yes. When they put that vest on you, it's like. Dude, we, we're doing this because people want to kill you. <laughs> He's probably gotten a lot of death threats. Oh, maybe three or four. I say everyone go Perhaps out. Perhaps more. Everyone go out there with their laser pointers and just kind of point your laser, <laughs> lasers out. <laughs> if, you really if you really want to scare them. Yeah, yeah if you really want to scare them. Uh, one of the rags here in New York, I don't acknowledge them as a newspaper. Uh, Bernie is, it's not too late to do the right thing. Jump. Just sign Some, a guy's hold. <laughs> someone had a sign outside his apartment with that. I want to go up there and check out the, the craziness because they really want to rip this guy apart. There he is. Looks like George Washington. Yes, he does. Yeah. <laughs> why isn't uh, why isn't they at least putting him in jail for something? This judge is disgusting. What is up with that? That on bail. You don't pay a parking ticket, you know, and, and avoid that for a while. They'll throw you in jail, right? Yeah, well, <laughs> apparently he's on bail. Oh, he's going to see jail. Believe me, he'll see jail, but who knows when or... The How judge long? said he's not a flight risk and he doesn't represent a threat to uh, society. Yeah, good for the judge, but you know what? House arrest when you yeah. own a multi-million dollar, you know, pad in New York City, they should take that in consideration. You know, mm. most of us live in crappy places and, you know, if we were under house arrest, it would really suck. Not in his <laughs> case. Not in his case. 
I'm like under house arrest every day. <laughs> just go in my house. Yeah, but you you decide that. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's why I don't know why. I like gets, house arrest. <laughs> that's why I don't know. I don't understand why you get so upset because you don't even interact with people to for this to to for this to really affect I you. I do too. I'm on pal talk all the oh, time. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like real <laughs> interaction. real interaction with human beings where you can almost you know smell their bad breath. You sit at poker tables with people. <laughs> yeah. Do you? And I'm on Pal Talk. That's how I interact with people. You're so isolated that this, this stuff shouldn't bother you. Really? I think so. My dumb opinion. I know they're dumb. <laughs> uh, Ant spends money because he's trying to fill the hole where his heart should be. Oh, stop it. I've loved. I've lost. By the way, Kenny's really trying to like help out the radio show. A uh, stunt brain Did has Kenny leave. quit? <laughs> we got the video that Anthony is bothered by. That's the direction we're heading in. But this was just handed to me. I don't know if you guys know, but stunt, br stunt brain is losing his hair, and none of us want to acknowledge it. But uh, but Rogaine Foam has decided to come to the rescue. And yes. now, because he's doing the live reads for this Rogaine Foam, now we can openly acknowledge that, wow, you're... Head is a disaster. What? Well, he's, he's thin. <laughs> Would it be ironic to shave with Rogaine foam? Ooh, that's oh, not a bad idea. That's a uh, so might be a Stephen Wright joke. <laughs> yeah. It's a small world, but I wouldn't want to shave it. <laughs> okay. Um, so Kenny handed in his ball jokes that maybe I could work into the uh, the Rogaine foam read oh. stunt for the people uh, that are fortunate enough to get to hear the commercials. Here. Wow. Um, so, you want to read this, Kenny? Okay. You do a better Kenny than me. Kenny actually typed these out, evenly spaced, very proud of his work. Oh, yeah. That means I'm closer to being retarded than you, by the way. That's not a compliment. <laughs> you do a better Kenny than me. <laughs> Thanks. You're so bald, the lice on your head are homeless. You're so bald, I can see what you're thinking. You're so bald that when you wear a turtleneck, you look like a roll-on deodorant. Are you really that bald, or is your neck just blowing a bubble? Be more funny! <laughs> you are so bald that when you wear a turtleneck, you look like a broken condom. This is going great! <laughs> You're so bald that you haven't used keys in years because you lost all your locks. This sucks. Oh, wow, that's a reach. Unfortunately, that is the end oh, oh. of the bevy of bald jokes. He handed wow. this as real material. That's, uh... Believe it or not. He was probably all excited. Oh, yeah, he handed it over I to contributed. Me. You know, you could maybe squeeze a couple of these in, G.H. Not that my lines are setting the comedy world on fire. I understand, but... <laughs> what are you gonna I'm get? just going off off the cuff, so I I could at least uh, use that as an excuse. Now we're gonna get uh, something on an email invoice for ball jokes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, handling charge. Yeah, handling <laughs> some charge. handling charge. I'm gonna have to charge you a handling charge, which is fine. But when you look at it on his uh, itemized effing bill he sends every month, yeah. And then what does he write? Please pay. What does he say, Jimmy? Help me out. Before a certain, I don't know. Date. Yeah, he's threatening us. Or there will be a ten percent. Uh, right, right. Yeah. Good late luck. fee. Good luck collecting that, Muldoon. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> he itemizes everything. Like he keeps track of the, all the coffee and everything. Oh yeah. And then the handling charge is such a ridiculous amount. That's what I think is hilarious. I love looking at the bills though that I get. It's like uh, forty dollars for grapes. <laughs> <laughs> right. I think that's what you're doing, billing me for grapes. Yeah. <laughs> Handling charge on the grapes, 17 yes. cents. Washing of grapes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lotion to to uh, cure chapping incurred by washing grapes. Yeah. <laughs> Are you really that bald or is your neck just blowing a bubble? i got to be honest, I do like that one. That one wasn't bad, but I couldn't laugh because I'd already been stunned by the other ones. Oh, it's awful. It's yeah. like someone telling a great joke in the middle of a rape. <laughs> <laughs> you ever notice with Kenny Toe that if you ask him to help you out with something and then he gives you the info that you need, then he gets mm. obsessed until you actually do something with that info? Yeah. Really? It's some weird OCD thing with him. You guys have a little more contact with him than I. 
Oh, yeah. As he, far as on a, you know, business and personal I'll be, level. I'll be honest. He does all that crap I have no desire to do. None. Yeah. I didn't even want, I, I had uh, a problem with my internet cable. And I I didn't even feel like looking up the customer service number, so I just like wrote them. <laughs> customer service number is Kenny's phone number. <laughs> Hello, this is Kenny. We are very busy today. Right. Please hold right. for our next available Kenny. <laughs> right. <laughs> so then he gives me the number, and then he's obsessed with if I've called or not yet. Oh, of course, I'm he like, is. yeah, no, I'll get, I'll get to it. He's got to check up to make sure you're using the information. Yeah, that that's what I'm getting at. Gathered for you. Can I say, though, Kenny is a guy who is detail-oriented, and he's great at that stuff. Oh, like, yeah. He makes your life easier because he, he's competent. Like, he knows what he's doing. Uh, he knows how to handle things. There's no one better to go through airport security with. Oh, my God. Nobody cares less about what other people think of them <laughs> than Kenny. Yes. He will walk up. He'll, Kenny will step... <laughs> he, he will step into a stroller onto the baby to go, hey, do you think you could let me throw and he'll flash the bag on a celebrity walkthrough and they look over and it's me. <laughs> <laughs> They're expecting like Kevin Tom Cruise or stroller. Brad Pitt or something. A what is it called? A celebrity, celebrity walkthrough. And, and of oh. course that gets them intrigued. They're like, yeah. And they'll look over and I'm standing there with my awful sunglasses and my laptop <laughs> bag. With your shoulders slumped over. Yeah. Who is that? The guy with, with Pete Townsend's email address? Who is that? <laughs> oh. Speaking of details, Jim, do you want to pick your flight and seats for San Francisco? I do, yes. Not now, but I will, yes. Do it way later. It'll drive them nuts. Yeah. Maybe later. All right. Because hey, I got a nice diagram for the seating chart. Oh, of course you do. Can I see that, actually? Mike on Long Island. Mike. What's going on, guys? Hey, Mike. Hey, Thank you. Yeah, I just want to talk about that Bernie Madoff real quick. I mean, we we have Obama coming in. He's going to be uh, charging us with up in taxes. Why should we be paying more taxes to uh, keep this guy in jail when he could be sitting at home? I mean, who cares? You know, I mean, he, he lost enough money in the market. You're one of those why guys. You, you don't want to pay to have this guy in jail. Well, hmm. Why should we pay for him to be in jail? I mean, you know, he's he's hurt us enough. I mean, why pay more money for the guy? You know, this, 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 to, do it to, put him, to put him in Rikers Island. You mean Bernie Madoff, right? Yeah. It, it, to put him in Rikers Island, where he will be probably beaten up, I'm willing to spend a few bucks on that. <laughs> yeah, I think, hold on, dude. Honestly, though. I'll tell you why, dude. Do you guys really dude. think that he's going to be hurting in Rikers Island? I mean, this guy's a billionaire. Hey, dude. Billionaire with the guys that he, here's you know, why you're wrong. Too. Here's why I don't agree with you. If you put the guy in jail, white-collar guys are not used to being put, in, especially in Rikers and these awful places. The Like, other guys seeing this guy put in jail... Will eventually save people money because uh, it's it just if you see a guy with that much money being put in, in, in a hardcore place, people might be a little less likely to do it. So in the long yeah. run, it may actually save us money more than it costs the jail. And I don't look at the money. What are the odds of this guy actually being into a hardcore place? What are the odds of him actually getting into general population? Well, that's I mean, what has to happen. Well, Why shouldn't he? Then yeah. we don't do what's not going to. We'll never do that. All right, but then we got to change how we do things. I'm not a money guy okay, when it well, comes to that stuff. Well, I, I I would. I would hope by jailing this guy at Rikers or something, maybe get, give some of the victims out there just a little bit of comfort. Like, okay, instead of knowing that this guy is hanging out in his in his penthouse on the Upper East Side, you know, enjoying the luxuries of life. No one's really brought this up, but let's look at the victims. Greedy sons of bitches who bought into this guy's scheme uh, to try to make some quick bucks. Yeah. It's not like... The these legitimate investors yeah, you know, that the, did their uh, research, uh, due diligence. Mm. You know, if this guy's running a Ponzi was, scheme, he was chairman of the Nasdaq, though. I mean, he, he's not some small time guy. Right, you know, all right. a quick turnover. Good chairman point, sir. Good point. And in Fairfield, Connecticut, he cost the whole township their pensions. These were like a lot of regular people who invested in somebody, and their investors <laughs> went through Madoff. Right. These people, oh, like, they it. don't even know. Yeah. These people that True. lost their home, like one couple I read about sold their home. Don't you have homes? <laughs> they lost They no. lost the, the money for their, they sold the house, they lost the house, they sold it, yeah. and the money they had just gotten for it, the, their investor believed in Madoff, so put the money with him so they lose uh, everything. Gotcha. A lot of regular people lost a lot of money from this mm, piece of middle filth. Middle man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. All right, Mike. Good call. Good to go. All right, Mike on Long Island. Uh... Oh, this is very good news. Time Warner Cable Guy from New York. Opie, your cable count has been taken care of anyway. If you call, you're a VIP. It's all been taken care of, Mr. Durden. <laughs> Thank God. Thank you, sir. Mr. Durden, huh? Mm-hmm. Thank you. Okay. Um, we got the video that pissed you off last night. Is this going to be a regular thing? Every day you bring in another video for oh, everybody? Oh, believe me. I could... I'm a bit confused by today's. Yesterday, actually, 
Yesterday, I was annoyed by the video you brought in. Yeah. Because I, it was a black lady uh, bitching and complaining because that she paid a hundred and sixty-two dollar tab at right. a restaurant, right, and left an eight dollar tip. And when the waiter called her out on it, right, she felt insulted, uh, degraded, right, felt that he was racist. And it's like, no, you're just a cheap bitch. And in the end, I was completely on your side. Yes. Yep. Today, though. Whew. You're mad at a of a, of a video of um, kids singing about Obama. Yep. All right. Well, I'll 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 have an open mind going into this. Yeah. Maybe you could turn me around again. Yeah, you could shut it. You not, can shut your mind. <laughs> uh, this one's bad. <laughs> this one is a rough one. No, no, it's one of those things. Where <laughs> You're not going to turn. Just like, why why are they going to the inauguration? We're going to get a peek at your soul in a little while. Why are they going to the inauguration? All right, we'll find out next. Uh, L you listen to them and tell me do they deserve to be at the inauguration? You got a video for tomorrow yet? Oh, believe me. They're all videos, but obviously we do radio, so we, we, we'll play Stacked the Stacked up. I got, audio a, I got a source. Yeah? I got a source for these videos, believe me. Website I visit. <laughs> and this is a quickie, because we really want to get traffic to onaradio.com, so we put a lot of visuals up there. Uh, for anyone that cares about Boy George, and I'm sure there's not many of you out there, you got to see the latest picture of Boy George. Really? Unrecognizable. Yeah. Maybe really? We can, we'll pop that up there, yeah. It was on one of those uh, fine sites. Does he look hetero? <laughs> yeah, he's with a girl smiling. <laughs> you know, it's funny you say that, Ant. Yeah, he sort of does. Huh. He sort of does. It's amazing it's the same guy <laughs> from uh, from the 80s. Danny's trying to find a really quick... Right there. That is... Oh, my God. That's that boy, George. boy George. It looks that like... That is boy George. That, that, that's, that, that looks like wow. me if I don't watch myself. Uh, that looks like an older version of Jim Norton. Yes. Yes. No, that is... Wow, that is boy. Oh, would you? Let go. If you know what I should have done, showed you that picture and and have you guess who is that? I you, never would have. You wouldn't have guessed boy George, right? Never. Uh, never. And once again, we got to thank www.tdd.com, getting a lot of exposure on the show lately. They got the pick. Is he they had it first, up? and now everyone else is grabbing it. But they're big fans, by the way. Everybody, over that's there. good to know. They really are. Is, is he swelled up from like? Cosmetic surgery? <laughs> I was going to say, from what to him? Oh, well, <laughs> it's like, just spit it out. Yeah. Your cheeks won't puff out so much. He, he's storing it in his cheeks like a chipmunk, so he has some for February. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah. They're big fans. Did they get our Charles Nelson Riley photo? Oh. I, I sent it to him, and actually, that was the uh, re the reply to that I got was from the guy that runs yeah. the site, and he says he's a very big fan. He's a. Uh, He's uh the show is the only reason why he has satellite. And oh, nice. Big, 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 big. Very fan. good. Then we'll say hi to www.tdd.com, also known as what would Tyler Durden do? Mm. All right. Uh, so we'll put our, we'll put that picture up and we'll uh, we'll give those guys credit for certainly finding it. Is that it? Opie and Anthony, stay there. Uh, the the Anthony thing next. Yes. With this video that annoyed him. <laughs> Going to play the audio of the video that really pissed off Anthony yesterday becoming a bit on the show every day i think he'll bring something in when he's got something a little something before that just a minute rock and roll hall of fame time yes all right who's in metallica no brainer run dmc uh -huh. depending on your definition of the rock and roll hall of fame true it should be the music hall of fame obviously no brainer for run dmc I mean, I think the name of the place throws everyone off. It's obviously a music hall of fame. Yeah. Because they throw the pop artists and all that stuff in. Maybe they just run out of rock bands yeah. that are worthy of the hall of fame. And we talk about these people all the time. Jeff Beck. Yeah. These niche people getting into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. I could go to the phones for the next hour. I don't think we're going to find a Jeff Beck fan. Um... Oh, Jimmy. You're a Jeff... No. Yes. No. I love Jeff Beck. Name one song he did. The, uh, exactly. Tulips from Baghdad. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I only like the sounds. I never, I never learned the words. Jeff Beck? Come on. Did Jeff Beck have even a pseudo hit? Uh, like one of those guys that's just kind of... I pride myself on knowing uh, you know, some music knowledge. And I had a I had to play the stupid songs for many many years, and it was just one of those bands you never played. Yeah. I think I played them in college radio, but in on commercial radio, even in some of my uh, situations where we got to go a little deeper, you never went to Jeff Beck. He's a musician. What the hell is uh, this song? I forgot. Musician's musician, Jeff Beck. But he's in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, 
and R and B great Bobby o- Bobby what? Womack. Oh, yeah. I believe, right? Yes. What did he do? Also, Little Anthony and the Imperials. Ah. Is that some of that doo wop? Tears I'm on singing. my pillow. They were good. Yeah. yeah, they were good. Oh, that's all right. Yeah. I thought they were doo wopping from their stoop. Those guys. Yeah. In Brooklyn. With, around, I was always in Brooklyn. Around the flaming uh, garbage can yep, or to keep warm. Bunch of dolts. They're actually the group in the original Rocky that he sang with. Oh, really? No. <laughs> <laughs> You got me. <laughs> My streak is over. You finally got me. <laughs> you finally got me. I, I know all your tells, but you nailed me that time. Uh, Fred from Brooklyn saying, Jeff Beck Wired. Great album. Why is it a great album? Uh, he doesn't say. He just said, great album. I'm trying to remember. People get ready. Yeah, he did that with Rod Stewart. Oh, yeah. Well, he played. Oh. Th- that's a Rod Stewart song. Yep. Yeah. I mean, uh, let's say hi to Jeff in Jersey. Jeff? Is this- hey, Owen, hey, What's going on, guys? Hey, buddy. Hey, I've been listening to Jeff Beck all my life. I love his music. What's your last name, Beck? (laughs) (laughs) Oh, very good. I didn't notice that. (laughs) Yeah. All right. I mean, I I, I listen to his stuff all the time. It's mostly instrumental. There's not a lot of words to it, but it's great background music. I'm just saying, he didn't have like huge success. He was a niche guy. He comes to. Oh no, but I mean, he comes to New York and and I think he was white. (laughs) <laughs> huh? Say that again. He's had a lot of bands he's played with, like Rod Stewart and um, oh, that one, uh, Free, I think it was. What is his big song that, when you say Jeff Beck, you, you say this is was his song? And don't go with... I would say People Get Ready. But that's not fair. That's a Rod Stewart yeah. song. I think he was like one of those, you know, kind of... Something that was all him. Guitarist. Right. <laughs> no, he, he does a lot of background work, so... Going Down Rocks. Yeah, he's got, he's got is that one just somebody? Ducks. I mean, he's got some very Off strange topic? titles, but it's great music. <laughs> or is there a song? <laughs> <laughs> you never could tell with this show. All right, we're trying to figure okay. out the Jeff Beck song that everyone would know. I'm, I'm talking to everybody, not because you're a Jeff Beck fan. Like, what was the one song they would play during the electric lunch? Ugh. Ew. Electric lunch? Jeff Beck is a weird. Or the 5 o'clock traffic jam. Well, I had to do a 5 o'clock traffic jam. I never jammed Jeff Beck. No? During the 5 o'clock traffic jam. Does Jeff Beck ever make it through the uh, A through Z? Um, nope. He doesn't uh, even like get... Firecracker 500. Nope. He doesn't get holiday to enjoy any of those. Nothing. Never a Jeff never Beck. Never a Jeff Beck? Never a Jeff Beck two for my friend. Oh, never. No. You couldn't find one. And certainly never a foreplay of Jeff Beck, where the fourth cut is always live. <laughs> <laughs> Season of the Witch, is that the one everyone would say is a Jeff oh, Beck Oh, uh, okay. Is that the one? Is that it? It can't be. Huh? It can't be because I don't have it here. Oh, well, well it what, can't what, be. If it, in the I, Master Computer, what Jeff Beck song do you there's have? There's a lot, but not that. Throw a couple at me. Day in the Life? No. Nope. Day in the Life? That's yeah. the Beatles. Yeah, yeah. really. It yeah, wasn't that stupid to have a song called nope. the, uh, A Day in the Life. Is that, did he cover that song? we hear a little bit? Uh, I don't have it here. Do we have anything by him? I have no, a song Jeff that's, Beck. that's the point I'm making. But, like, uh, yesterday. Not that He's a niche guy. <laughs> played with a lot of a lot of people, a lot of bands. Sure. Here, you want me to just throw something on and see if you know it? Yeah, throw on a Jeff Beck Here's song. something from his best of album, so maybe you guys know this. I know I don't. Is it... Oh, yeah, he was popular in 1776. Yeah. Totally do. Totally do. <laughs> I'm totally doing. It was fun. Uh, all right, they're going. This sucks. A major league hog. I'm with you. It's uh, like jazz. It- I remember he did a version of Bolero. He's a great guitarist, but uh, commercial success, I don't think he really got a lot of that. I'm sure he made a good living, but... You want Bolero? And, well, no, they're also saying, I think the song is Freeway Jam. Oh, is the that one. was the one. That is the well, one? I know that is. one. That's what this is. Well, then... This is they're... Freeway Jam? This totally proved my point. Get to the middle of it. Uh, oh, wait, there he is. <laughs> Decided to say hi. <laughs> He's a good musician, but it's just boring music. Who's sitting and listening to this unless you're just a guitarist that... This is self-serving crap. I could do this on Guitar Hero. Easy. 
Danny could. This is good. Dolomite walking down the street music. <laughs> no, I could. Daddy's giving up. Are you retired now? No, no. I gotta, I gotta, <laughs> I just gotta get back to where I was like a year and a half. Yeah, yeah. chops. Good luck to you. I haven't kicked your ass. Oh, we didn't even. Get... Oh, see, here it comes. Remember this part? Yeah, we used it on commercial beds. <laughs> Ten show club, <laughs> right? Ten show club. All the nude women you want to see. I, I felt bad for some of these artists because they were perfect for commercials, and that's not how they wanted their music to be heard. Oh, really? But it'd be like Ant was saying, Major World. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I know that one. Okay. All right, moving on. So exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Correcto mundo. <laughs> he hated to say wrong too, fun. Mm. Probably hated to say no to script ideas. Oh, you got it. <laughs> Oh, thank you. Oh, <laughs> what is it? I was going to. I was. I was crashing last night. I was flipping around, and they did some kind of show on sitcoms, and they were doing honeymooners and talking about the the sitcom and why it was in, important in uh, pop culture and our lives when we were growing up and blah blah blah. Just excuse me, two seconds. I never get to do this. Yeah. Hang up on every Jeff Beck call, please. Yeah, that's a good. Idea. <laughs> that's a very good idea. We didn't care that much. We were just giving it's you a little knowledge. And they played a clip from um, All in the Family, and Archie Bunker is talking about a black president. Uh huh. Maybe we could play this first, and then Anthony's. Uh... Sure, I'd I'd want to hear Archie Bunker. Uh, All right, absolutely. And then that inflammatory clip that Anthony talked about. Oh. It's kids singing. I mean, I, I definitely understand where the rage is coming from. Sure, I don't deserve to be at the inauguration. Here's um, Archie Bunker talking about the <laughs> black president. Why does it say five minutes? Did it burn wrong? Let's see what happens. All right, five minutes of Archie Bunker. Da 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 dung dung. Da, no, it's not five minutes. Boyd away, Glenn Miller. Just the whole beginning. <laughs> <laughs> Commercials in between. <laughs> not nice to fool Mother Nature. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe I ate the whole thing. Missoula. <laughs> <laughs> if you threw this on TV today, it would be there would be outrage. Back then, it was like, yeah, it was, it's it's our TV. It's funny TV. Sure. Yeah, Sam. See, people what? would be outraged because they wouldn't hear anything. Really? <laughs> Sam screwed up. Sam He's screwed too up. Too busy giving oral favors uh, <laughs> to exactly. Iraq. <laughs> Why don't you give a hickey to the machine? Right. <laughs> we'll get a better copy of that. Let's get to Anthony's. Uh... I like the fact that you say a better copy as if that was kind of an okay one. Yeah. It might be. Get a better copy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, what it... we has sound. <laughs> It might be, because it's five minutes, so I bet you if I go to the last 19 oh. seconds, because the clip's 19 seconds, I bet oh. you it would be there, but, but who has the but time? But who cares? Right. So let's get into Anthony's uh, the video he, that really upset him last night. Here's the audio of it. Mm -hmm. Dear Obama, hear us sing. We're ready for the change that you will bring. Gonna shine the light for the world to see. To spread peace, hope, and democracy. The time is now. Bring high shoes home. All I hear is hope, man. This is outrageous. A little bit of hope in there. A little bit of hope. You know what? They're not good enough to sing at the inauguration. There's something to be said about... They're just not good enough. ...songs about the president. You didn't get many Bush songs. They suck. You're going to be behind me, all right. Messiah. The effing Messiah. You're right, these kids stink. They're horrible. They're not good. Dear Obama, we must unite. Together, members of the it's not mad because they're singing bad. <laughs> He's uh, mad no, that's at, one part. At, at the at the words. I don't think they deserve and the message they're singing. I don't think they deserve to uh, be there mm -hmm. at the uh, inauguration. Right. And they, they this guy is being uh uh they, they're they're treating him like the the second coming of Christ. It's just what they're singing songs Obama. Obama. Did, did we have the teacher? Oh, yeah, we're getting it. Good. What? 
Yeah. What happened? What happened? The terror threats. What happened? A little fear. Oh, now you got the right one. I Thanks, don't man. even like it. It's it. We're, we're almost done with the song, <sighs> and then we get to the TV. I like this song. Yeah. <laughs> It's catchy. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> it's catchy. It's catchy. See, they acknowledged Whitey there. Yeah, that should make you happy. Good. And they Hillary. said, control Ahmadinejad. They didn't say be friends with him. There you go. I'll give him credit him. just for putting that name in a song. How do you do that? <laughs> they really had to shoon that. Shoon <laughs> How do you shoon horn that in. <laughs> they had to shoon horn it. The only thing that rhymes with it comfortably is Amistad. There's no way to make that a happy one. <laughs> <laughs> I could. <laughs> of course you can. The world see us with adoring eyes. And our popularity will rise. Please pay off all our debts to China. And lift it off. You have the power to change the education. Giving our public schools some dedication. Coming to the end here. You pay for school in every state, so every time you truly make it in a step, you create. Wow, I just hear a message of hope there from uh, from the youngsters. It sounds the like it. It just sounds like like uh, school children in tattered clothes singing in front of a one one room schoolhouse somewhere. <laughs> I just don't think they're good. Exactly. Who's their musical director? Nutsy Fagan? <laughs> they're terrible. <laughs> they're awful. You want to hear the teacher? What part really got you? Uh, the fact that they are invited to the inauguration just because they're from a black school mm -hmm. and just because uh, there are a, a lot of black kids. I bet the, you know there could be a white little boys choir that could sing about Obama. We've been riding you a bit hard today, so we'll let one of your supporters in. Uh huh. Uh, JC from Red Bank. JC. It sounds like uh, the Chicago Bears doing the Super Bowl shuffle. <laughs> <laughs> Just awful. Super Bowl <laughs> right. That's funny. Uh, and this is the part that really enraged you, the teacher, with a no, little announcement. It, it didn't enrage me. It made me laugh my ass off. It's this, uh, it's a white guy. Uh huh. Uh, and he's he's the the music teacher, I guess. Sure. Could not be gayer. Oh, really? Could not be gayer. Oh. He can't even control his emotions when he tells the kids uh, that they're going to the inauguration. So we get some humor here. Oh, yeah. These kids worked so hard. <laughs> oh, my God. These kids worked so hard. Oh. Why didn't we know back then? What is this? <laughs> Why didn't we Mark know? Pereno Jr. High? <laughs> <laughs> We all had one of these teachers <laughs> when we were in school. Why didn't we know? <laughs> That's some people are laughing out there. Yeah. I was just thinking that. Yeah. That was a joke for 10 people, and it's just great. Oh. Yeah. Sometimes it's good to... And people know. Yeah. Google got... his name. He'll figure it out. That's all you got to do. It's a gem. <laughs> yeah. Google that story. Laugh along. It comes yeah. up on ouch.com. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> 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 Did you have one of these teachers in school? What, the gay uh, music teacher? And we just didn't know. We just didn't have knowledge yet. It's like a prerequisite. The drama teacher or the music teacher has to be a gay guy or, you know, some woman. Well, we've got... Uh, Miss, Ms, Ms, my... Ms. Rice was this uh, music teacher I had, and she looked like uh, the Wicked Witch of the West and had a collapsed nostril. Yeah. <laughs> she had one collapsed nostril. How'd she sing? I don't know. Badly. <laughs> 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 Uh, I'm, we've talked about it a bunch, but when I started realizing was the gym teacher at my yeah. high school, what, she couldn't have been more of a lesbian if she tried. Big over oversized sweater and the weird freaking. I'm yeah, going very Nant short hair. I'm going to Nantucket haircut. Mm -hmm. oh, and yeah. what? I, oh, sorry. Oh, I thought God, that, yeah. was the, that was. I was just watching fired. Channel Eleven, and I thought that something was up there. That of course you did. <laughs> um, <laughs> so we. <laughs> wow. How about we turn off the TV? Yes. Uh, I'm not... Tired after a long campaign. <laughs> All right. You know. <laughs> so we uh, <laughs> you know, we have the rest of this. Uh... <laughs> but just to, just to finish the thought, so then this uh, this lesbian gym teacher was was just had, what could just walk into the, the, the locker room. Oh, I know, yeah. And, and I'm sitting there like, that's got to be the greatest job yeah. in, in the history of mankind. Of course. No one's on to you. 
She just she walks just in there. Walking in. She young, supple little uh, young 16, 17, 18 high year olds girls getting ready for gym class. Yeah. And then they really figured it out where they just put her office in the middle of the locker room. Yeah. In the glass booth. I guess that was her idea. Because she, it's kind of like the. I'll be close to my girls. <laughs> kind of like the glass booth we have here in studio. Yeah. <laughs> my kid, it, it's unbelievable. Where's my so, whistle? I'm not using it till I get a new whistle. Oh, all right. See, I would, I would do the whistle bit, but well, people are yelling "shower time, girls!" They're they're begging for it, Anthony. They're begging nah, for it. I, I need a Coming new soon whistle. to the Opie and Anthony show. Anthony will do the uh, lesbian gym teacher bit. That whistle right. went missing for a, a day, and uh, no one knew where it was. It turned up on a seat somewhere back there. Yeah, I have no idea where that was. Uh, uh, worst. No. Why don't you watch it? I don't know. Here's the teacher from the video that annoyed Anthony. Yeah, listen to this guy. These kids work so hard. And not only would writing that song, but learning about issues around the world. And we're so proud of these kids. And um, they've gotten attention from everywhere. All different types of TV shows, all, all different types of political people, all, people all over the world have recognized that these young kids want to be world leaders and that they have made an impact. And the greatest thing is that we've gotten so many calls to perform this song that we've even got some very special calls. And next week, we're going to the inauguration. Oh, Jesus. They all screamed because they, he stood up and they saw the plunger on his seat. <laughs> and we go to the inauguration. I'm crying over it. I'm absolutely crying. I was under the photogs. <laughs> Could we get the whole thing, please? <laughs> it sounds very similar. <laughs> Love crying, and, people. And I, he had he had that pause right before. And you got to call for both special people. Oh, well, that's great. Where's that last part? So guy? gay. No, he's a white guy. Yeah, but... Um, where is the guy? It's uh, Jim in New York City. I agree with Anthony. I hate gays and blacks too. So you <laughs> hey, got <laughs> whoa, what? Oh, well, I, I never said that. I'm just reading Jim's instant feedback. No, oh. we have to play the Bruce Kelly audio in a second uh, here. Know. But I want to hear the last part of this again. It is that we've gotten so many calls to perform <laughs> this song that we've even got some very special calls. And next week we're going to the inauguration. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, you gotta get. Then it sounds like something I can't mention, or I'd get fired. <laughs> <laughs> Where's your? Uh, you can act like a man. That's that's a perfect clip. Right? Yes, perfect. you can act like a man. <laughs> What's the matter with you? <laughs> and a man in my position can't afford to be made to look ridiculous. <laughs> Uh, he's very happy for his kids. He's he works so hard on the happy. song. Amen. He's got a lot of attention. The inauguration. Yep. Are they actually going to be? At ground Zero? They're or performing. Where, though? At on the, the main stage? What, what is this? Lollapalooza? What Pretty they got? Much. Two it's, stages? Yes. Three stages? Yes. Yeah. Are they going to be right there? I don't know. What hip-hop guys are going to be there? Give me a little... I, I want a list of everyone that's performing at the inauguration. Well, you got Bruce Give me Bruce. a list. I know Bruce. Stupid See, Bruce. That's the safe white... Enough about the Bruce. That's the safe white bet. We got our... We got... Bruce isn't... Uh, we're being represented. We got Bruce. Bruce is the, the downtrodden. You know, he represents, uh, you know, whatever. He represents Wendy and the rest of Jersey. Yeah, Jersey. He doesn't give a crap but, about But Walmart. I want to know, uh, because I, oh, I, I... And then there's speeches that are going to be given. Mm -hmm. Uh, by, I guess, Martin Luther King III, and um, is Beyonce going to be there? Yeah. And then Queen Latifah is also yes. going to get up and give a little speech, and I'm about, sure it's going to be just fantastic. Don't forget get the list, and we'll go. We'll run down the list after the break. We also got the uh, Archie Barker talking about a black president. At the same time, by the way, the NAACP has uh, gotten on uh, TV uh, stations again, mm -hmm. uh, that there isn't enough black representation on T television shows mm -hmm. so go screw yourself mm -hmm. you, 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 this was a guy in the white house mm -hmm. there you go he's gonna be on tv every day mm -hmm. see there's just no satisfying them i didn't say that <laughs> so there's just no satisfying people. once again i didn't accuse you of that my i have question marks no satisfying my, people. My statements. And it words. seems to me yeah. that uh, uh, many, mm -hmm. not saying all, African Americans can't be satisfied with the fact that one of their own has made it to the pinnacle of the free world 
as leader of the free world, and yet it's not good enough. But you got it's yourself just not good you enough. You got yourself in a position where you don't have to deal with those people. No, I do. <laughs> I do on a daily basis. It just shouldn't be that way. It shouldn't be that that it's now it's enough. There you go. Now leave me alone. Stop asking me for change. Hey, hold on a minute. We got Rod in North Carolina. Uh, yes, Rod. Yeah, I just wanted to thank that teacher, that music teacher, for just saying what he was saying. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Watch it out, guys. Boy, that sounded just like him. Uh, it needed to be saying. All right, you know what? Bid on. Uh, the regulars know what that guy's going for. We have the Bruce Kelly. I know we're, we're trying to get to oh, a break, yeah. but Bruce Kelly used to work for uh, XM, and uh, they found kitty porn on his computer, and they had to show him the door. <laughs> what? Wait a minute. What? Oh, that wasn't the reason? No. I hope he's kidding. No. <laughs> he's kidding. It's insane to make a statement like that. Yeah. Of course, that never happened to Bruce Kelly. Oh, I'm sorry, Bruce. You were you were being humorous. That was Bob Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> no, Bruce was uh, was a friend of the show, and if and if he understands our show, he would take that as a joke, and it was meant to be a joke. Uh, I don't know why he got fired. The the '80s channel they just changed. They just changed it up a little. He bit. He was always playing music from the '60s, and they said, "Look, you're 20 years <laughs> off. You have to go." <laughs> right. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we're trying to do an 80s thing here. No, um, it sucked, too, because he had a lot of passion. Was really He's a great guy. It. He was really into it. But so into it, they maybe he got fired over what we're about to play. He went over to one of those Live Aid things, Live Aid to whatever it was called, and uh, he got to see The Who live right there perform. And then he had to, like, he had to be our eyes and ears and, and report back to the satellite radio audience, Yeah, and he just blew it with this. Is this live? Uh, yes, we're live. <laughs> Bruce, where were you, buddy? Uh, I was right up under these so, hogs. Uh... You know, it's amazing watching uh, Pete Townsend and Roger Daltrey uh, perform these songs after all these years and still have the the full spirit of what they do under control. I mean, you know, Townsend just continues to be an amazing guitar player. I, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm absolutely crying. I can't <laughs> help it. I really can't. This is no fake. I, you know, the whole moment just kind of... Uh, I would it be fake? Um, kind of got to me with that video. Yeah, the video was uh, very powerful. Yeah, yeah, that was. Uh, that's uh, this is very awkward. I'm sorry, but uh, it was just. Very, I mean, you know, it's just the who. I, you know, I can't help but be a 14 year old kid out there with the who. And that's it. Uh, I'm sorry. You were seeing them live, I guess. That was uh, in color. Yeah. So fruit. Yeah, uh, yeah, they were live on stage, but the black and white was happening on the big screen too. So. Yeah. Uh, Through your tears. Well. So there's uh, two more to go here Through uh, your at tears. Hyde Park, and the crowd. <laughs> like an idiot. I'm sorry, oh, really. Okay. No, no. You geez, are. That's something. overwhelming. Yeah, that's what this, you know, that really is yeah. what this is all about. There are certain yeah. moments that touch everybody. Yeah. Every, every time we play that, I get new favorite parts of it. <laughs> like, you know, the broad is relating to them. Oh. Through your tears. Through, through your tears. She's like totally getting. You wanker. What it's like to PMS <laughs> and stuff. Oh, she's completely slamming his fat face. And then and then you got uh, just a rock of a rock guy, George Taylor Morris. He's a legend. He and sets he, the whole thing up like, hey, you just saw The Who. Here's what they're about. Townsend's right. still rocking. Right, Daltrey's right. rocking. Right. And you were up there. Why don't you tell us about it? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, uh, DJ Crybaby comes out, right. and, and, and through your tears. Well, my new favorite part after he spills out all his emotion, George Taylor Morris is like, "Well, anyway, yeah, anyway, yes, <laughs> what's because someone like George Taylor Morris, you know, he was pretty much there when the Beatles landed. He's oh. seen it all, so it's like, come on, yeah. come on, relax, dude, lighten up, Francis. <laughs> the who we've all seen him a million times. I'm crying over here. This isn't, and then it's like, I, it's, this isn't kidding. <laughs> this is no fake. Yeah, this is no fake. Wait. Like, it would have been a funny bit to come over and make like you were crying. <laughs> Spoken like a true adult journalist. This is no fake. This is no fake. No faking, is it? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Quick break. When we get back, we got a brand new primetime gossip. Who oh. is Sam Roberts going after today? And we got Archie Bunker talking about the black president. Yes. Opie and Anthony. Dirty deeds and they're done your cheap. I'm liking this. Let me kill it, I'm a liar! Sorry. <laughs> 
<laughs> Something about ACDC, right? You just want to yeah, sing you along. Just jump right in. Because everyone sounds good singing ACDC, if you think about it. Yeah, you just got to. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let this one play out. Let's listen to the vocals in this one, Ant. Here it comes. Right. Ready? And. No. Comes around one more time. Here it comes. All right, now we're going to rock. Oh, oh, man. Come on. How good is that beat? It's not fair, though. These, the, you know, these guys uh, are considered the first like uh, hip hop artists. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm Listen closely. Man. Listen to the beast, and he's right. Fast Freddy, leave me alone. Ooh. I think I misrepresent uh, my Islander thing. I, I got half a season. Oh really? He thinks I got the Bruins tickets tonight, and I just don't. I would actually give them to you because I'm not going out to the Coliseum anytime soon. I'll start giving away my uh, my tickets, no problem. If you see a game coming up on the calendar, let me know, and I'll uh, and I'll mail them out to some fans. I'm done for no a while. To see them, done. All right. Uh, Stunt Brain has given me the list of performers that will be there when Obama becomes our president. There it is. Look, President Elect. Barack Obama. Nice. They have the big logo, the big inauguration coming up. It looks good, right? No. Yep. It's it's it, like I said, all the liberals made a big to do over George Bush's uh, uh, forty million dollar price tag on his inauguration. Mm -hmm. I believe this is costing two hundred million dollars or something like that for Obamas. And uh, where where are the liberals that were all uh, up in arms about the money being spent? on uh, Bush's inauguration when this is uh, like $200 million in a time where, you know, maybe $200 million could come in handy. Maybe uh, you cut it Maybe you cut it down a little bit. Maybe you're a little more humble. Yeah, but it's time for the conservatives to bitch and complain about that. Yeah, it's just how it works. Well, how about you... Uh, no, no side's you, better than the other side in the end. How about you do what you said? With their trickery. You know... The, There's a lot of trickery. What, what, what about a nice, humble... <laughs> Inauguration, uh, instead of this pomp, circumstance, Super Bowl halftime show bullcrap that they're going to parade out uh, for, for uh, Obama. Because the country's begging for this, Ant. Eh? No, the country's not begging yeah. for it. Yeah, that certainly uh, is. Yeah, I'll tell you who's begging for it. It certainly is. Yeah. You want to see the performers? Yeah. Who's Which performer? doesn't prove your point, by the way. Is it, it doesn't? Okay, I didn't. It doesn't. Look, I didn't say anything. All I said was, I don't know who's performing. I would have rattled them off if I knew. Doesn't uh, prove your point whatsoever. So I don't know. So let me hear. All right, you, you're convinced that the deck is going to be stacked, right? I'm thinking the deck is a little stacked. All right, we got. Uh, it, uh, we are one. Who's that? Uh, that's uh, the song Springsteen's going to. What is We Are What's One? What's the name of the concert? Oh, okay. They got a We Are One concert. Wait, wait. It, 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 it's named. Yes. yes. It's not just called the inauguration. No, well, this is the concert that is part of the inauguration. It's a whole weekend. It's all about marketing, my friend. Mm. Something we should maybe start doing. Uh -huh. All right, so the concert's called We Are One. And look, I mean, everyone... Are we? By the way, are we? We're trying to be. So once you get on Good board. Good luck. On board. <laughs> <laughs> Another joke. We're at least trying. Can we at least try? I've been trying. Have you? Yeah. <laughs> Jimmy, doesn't, you doesn't Jimmy, you work. think he's been trying? If I, I, I can only hope <laughs> that this... Is not the uh, the fruit of his trying labor. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that he has not tried, and it is coming to fruition by what we see on a daily basis. <laughs> Dare I say you're a buzzkill with all this hope and excitement buzz in the kill. air? Yes. Stop We're it. We're all being swept away by what's happening in this I'm country. I'm a realist. Here's the uh, lineup for the We Are One concert. You're a black spot on the X-ray of hope. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you got Springsteen. Uh -huh. How bad could it be? You got the boss could down be there. Bad. Part of the We Are One <laughs> concert. Good then you got Beyonce. Of Kawhi, not, hey! not Beyonce. So coming. far, we got the one. Yeah, uh, we're equal here. One for one. That's right. Then Mary J. Blige. Uh huh. All right, that's two to one. All right. Then Usher. Usher. Three to <laughs> one. Yeah. Then uh, Shakira. Uh huh. You know the hips don't lie, broad. She's Cuban. She's yeah, she's yeah, uh, like Hispanic. She's cute. All right. And she's, you know, she, oh, pretty pretty girl. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Mm. John Legend. Who's that? 
He's a, he's a, black, bo- he's a black guy. Soul, soul, soul singer. Stevie Wonder. Okay. Mm. Mm. Uh, Mellencamp. As in John Cougar? I think he just wants <laughs> to be known as Mellencamp. <laughs> oh, boy. Do me a favor. <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 no. Oh, sorry. No. Wow. Looks like Shakira's hips oh. are starting to lie. Look at that picture. What? Look at that. Those <laughs> hips are, are they lying. a little big? <laughs> you know, very uh, big. Let me let me read that. I'm here, too. Let me see. <laughs> where, where somebody might have went to camp when they were young. <laughs> Let me, let me see. I'll show you on the break. Oh, I don't trust you. You don't oh, trust God. me? How oh, dare you no. say that? <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that's clever, clever, wow. clever, Jimmy. All right, oh. uh, Melly Camp. <laughs> uh, yeah, Cheryl Crow. Mm-hmm. Why are you making a comeback here for you? Yes. All right, uh, Garth Brooks. Wow, he's wow. gonna be out of place. Sure is. Wow. Uh, and uh, and Bono. <laughs> well, I got friends, and none of them are here. <laughs> <laughs> and Bono. Wow. And Bono, of course. But Bono transcends race. Hey, hey, I'm a U2 fan. Bono is as much the hey, Messiah hey, hey. as Obama oh, is. Hey, hey, Obano. Bono gets a lot of things done in this world, my friend. Does he? Yes. He what does. does he do? He like does things. He wanders the globe, bitches about stuff, and then goes and, and writes another kind of cool song. That's it. He's a philanthropist. What has he done? He fights for, uh, for starvation and stuff. He yeah. fights for starvation. Yes, the people eating too much. He <laughs> kicks the food out of their African hands and says, "Stop being greedy. Pay me." <laughs> no, he's the guy who does a lot of. He's the guy who cares about people. You, you know, yeah. I don't even like you two. And I think, yeah, he's I a know, nice I'm, guy. I'm actually kidding that when it comes Irish to that. Irish bum. He's taking care. Of, he's taking care of the fly problem in Africa. He's very charitable. Yeah. Bingo. yeah. What's wrong with that? There's some charitable people. All right. Um, no, I saw it real, real quickly. I saw um. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. I saw Dirty Harry himself on um, Letterman last night. Wow. Uh, yeah. And um, he's got the new movie out, which looks very good. Gran Torino. Gran Torino. I saw some clips on YouTube. I don't think I have to see the movie. I saw a montage of every funny, good clip in the movie. You kind of know the movie, right? <laughs> it's like every every racist part of the movie uh, was in uh, all, the, all these clips. And... Um, so then he's talking, and apparently his next film is going to be... But this was supposed to be his last... Didn't he say he was retiring? His last film he's acting in. Oh, okay. Now he's just going to direct and stuff. Is going to be like some kind of epic on uh, Nelson Mandela, which I think is to make up for this movie. All right. Which he didn't, and you're right. Watching the clips, he didn't go the distance. He did not go the distance. He was making some very derogatory Asian... Um, uh, like, uh, he went all in with the Asian slurs, yeah, yeah, but yeah. not all in with the black slurs. But uh, which is, not not was duly slurs. noted on this show. Yeah, he 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 absolutely uh, that character would have dropped the n bomb in certain situations he was in. Absolutely, would and have. people are saying, well, because he's an older guy, that's how he would talk. No, those nah, those people would've. would update their racism. Yeah. He would have used that. He would have dropped that. Older guys wouldn't drop the n bomb like that's a so, new thing of the eighties. Yeah. When we were discussing this, they're like, well, no, it's he would have. He funny. would have said what? What he says, colored, and he says a few others, yeah. spade or something. Probably so, one right. of their safer. And they're like, no, he was one usually reserved for ghosts. For ghosts. Oh boy, that's a bad one. Oh, that's frightening. <laughs> yeah. Why you don't like ghosts? Oh, then? ghosts are very frightening. <laughs> <laughs> can I get a, uh, my list uh, continues here? Ooh. Oh, I thought you were going to say, can I get a what, what? What, what? Uh, then you got people doing readings. Readings. Ah, the readings. Okay, this ought to be a nice diverse list of uh, people because we are one. That's the whole uh, name of the concert. So it'll be a lot of white people and black people getting up there and speaking. Sure. And then, right? uh, because you know a little bit about everything, I uh, try. I, I saw that uh, Maya Angelou will not be doing her stupid poems. She's dead! No, she's not. They had her on TV saying she's not going to do the Obama thing. I thought she was dead. And I wanted to ask oh, you, wait, why... Wait, are you kidding me? Maya Angelou is not dead? No, she's, no. Had, she's had a bestseller come out. Guess who's, guess who's ass she kicked on the list? <laughs> Tee-hee. 
Oopsie. Yeah, but she's got to start writing poems. Know, I think she's doing like you know, well, Tupac, putting out books when she's already. Well, my quite, they were talking about this on one of the new shows. She's downs. alive. Yes. Why isn't still she, alive? <laughs> why isn't she doing um, anything for this inauguration? I don't maybe know. Maybe sick. she feels slighted. Yeah. What was that one about the bird and? Ugh. I know oh, why the cage and, bird sings. Enough of uh, her goddamn poetry. Anyone, That's a good poem. Sorry, if no. you like poems. Did anyone ever get into poems? Poetry stinks. I did try. I'm like, all right, let me let me read some of these poems and see if it, it gets a feeling out of me. I was like, this is nonsense. Didn't even Always. rhyme. Yeah, especially ones that don't <laughs> rhyme. That's just ridiculous. Wow, I'd have bet she was dead. Who died? And I thought it was her. Hmm. They all look alike, right? No, I didn't say that. Question mark. I'm just question saying, mark. Question mark. That's not. Uh, I didn't say you did. Proper. It's not. Uh, These are all questions. It's a, an awful stereotype, and I wasn't saying that. Uh, people doing readings at this thing. You got Latifa, as in the queen herself. Queen. I, self, I think she's, self-dubbed queen. I think she's dropped the queen. What is she now, queen this, of? I don't know. The barber shop. Yeah. What the hell is? <laughs> where, how, how pompous are you that you put queen in front of your name? She's queen at the ghetto prom, right? <laughs> yeah. Are we doing ghetto prom day? Uh, Ghetto prom hair. Day. I want to see Danny with the helicopter <laughs> hair, though. <laughs> I wish that I could have helicopter hair. Oh, yeah. I don't know if it could happen, though. Yeah. I'll try. All right. You got uh, Latifa. You got Denzel. Washington. Jamie Foxx. Jamie Foxx. Oh, is he going to talk about his grandmother who talks to him? You're going to go see the soloist? What? Wow, you don't go to movie theaters, do you? What's the soloist? I've not heard of that either. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, I go to the okay. movies as the soloist by myself <laughs> in my house. <laughs> He's playing like a guy that's like a little crazy, a little schizo that's just a brilliant yeah. soloist. And and uh, what's his name who's in everything now? I'd rather see him do the I Want to Rock Your World character like he did on uh, Living Color. He l- kind of looks like that character. Good. Wanda. And, yeah, uh, Ooh, very good. Who's the guy who's black in uh, Trap of... Franklin Ajay? He's in everything lately. Iron Man, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Terrence Howard? No, the other dude. Oh, uh, Don Cheadle? No, the other dude. Robert Downey Jr.? Thank you, yeah. That, it's a little vehicle for Robert Downey Jr. <laughs> because he befriends Mr. Fox as this homeless, brilliant soloist. Steve, what, Steve, what happened? Steve from Bayshore. <laughs> what no, happened? I'm not even, I'm not even All right. saying who he says is going to be speaking yeah. there. It's about time you guys stop hiding. Someone, I'll read it. Someone in the medical profession, a doctor, a certain doctor. <laughs> no, don't, don't I will read it. read it. No, no, I'm, I will dump out of it. I'm, I'm sick of I you guys hiding. Job. I'm sick of you I guys hiding. Job. I'm acknowledging I, it's I'm, hysterical. I, I'm, I'm sick that you guys are hiding. Oh, no. So what? It's about time we, performing. we bring this out in the... No. I want to ask before. Uh, yes, who else is sure? Reading? Well, that does it for the... Re- oh, and MLK3 will do uh, readings. I think the third. It's not like MLK3. Yeah, exactly. Like the new model. I was <laughs> thinking movies, like Rocky III. Oh, oh, like a sequel? Yeah. Yeah. Halloween 3. We all know yeah. how the third one is. Yeah. <laughs> you know they're making another Friday the 13th? What happens? <laughs> Sorry. Jason kills him. Jason wins the election. <laughs> He's political. He chops the heads off all the foreign heads of state. <laughs> and at the actual swearing-in ceremony. Yes. Aretha Franklin. Oh, you gotta yeah. like the Aretha. Come on, Ant. All right. Come now, on. Now Aretha I, rocks. Now can I ask you something? Oh, sure. Why would I sit and watch this? It's Aretha. Why would the soul. majority of white people who, by nature, and I'm not talking about the younger generation, who I like to call the wigger, um, would sit there and enjoy some of this stuff, although I think it's out of their demo, some of it. Um, why would I want to sit and watch this? People love Aretha Franklin. I don't like her. No, no, no. I'm not even talking about just Aretha. Well, your Aretha, taste is Aretha, different. Aretha. Why do I want to hear Denzel Washington give a speech? Well, why do I want to hear Beyonce? All right, but... Why do I want to hear... Uh, Anybody else you A lot of white people would love to hear Springsteen or Bono or Mellencamp. Is Bono singing? Or uh, Sheryl Crow. Is U2 performing? It just says says plus, so I don't know. Bono would have to, I'm thinking. I I don't know. I just see it as uh, something that is not all for one. I think this is for uh, black people. Right. I see this as, you know, whatever. Just call it what it is. 
This is an inauguration of a black president, so it's for black people. Just be honest and say it. My this is not going to be an entertainment thing where white America mm -hmm. is going to sit down in front of their televisions, watch this, and be entertained. White America will sit down, watch this, and feel alienated. Um, you know, other inaugurations haven't been Super Bowl uh, halftime shows. They've been bar fests of just the president being inaugurated. That's what it's about. Because it was a white guy. But Who that's cares? what it's about. You just got, you don't even, I didn't even uh, let's spice it up a I didn't bit. even watch those. Let's spice it up. Maybe then spice it up with some diversity. I think white people will like this. Like Where's have, Metallica? They don't have Terminator Metallica. X. Let Metallica play. What's wrong with that? All right, we'll make a call. Jeez. Yeah, what the F, bro? I'm tired of it. I know I'm you. tired of it. I Bono, know. Springsteen. Uh, Bono's going to perform one with Mary J. Blige because they did a very good version of that song. Mm. For my music lovers out mm. there. An old U2 song, and then uh, Mary J. Blige did a little something with it with Bono, and honestly, it was well-received, my friend. Maybe we should play that as we leave to bring everybody together. Let's not. Hey, uh, uh, we started the, we're we running out of time. Okay. Uh, we got to do a little speed round here. Uh, we started with Sam's uh, weird gay stuff, and I think we have a primetime gossip about that very subject. Oh. To see, we started with this, we end with this kind There's of There's a conflict of interest here. <laughs> and then we got the Archie Bunker thing that I'm going to squeeze in before we leave for Please the other joint. squeeze it in. We're back, and primetime gossip has quite a scoop coming out of the Opie and Anthony show. ONA super producer, primetime Sam Roberts, has been partaking <laughs> in several man-on-man-themed <laughs> bits on the air as of late. And after a dinner conversation at his parents' house, Sam's girlfriend found out everything that was going on. I got in the door, and my mom said hello. And she goes, when you were given E-Rock that hickey today, it was just disgusting. So she sold you out. <laughs> and Jess goes, what? What? <laughs> but, as Opie pointed out, that wasn't Sam's first questionable act. It's like, uh, forget creepy gay kid that was sweeping the nation for about a day. Yeah, well, I shouldn't have done that either. <laughs> <laughs> Sam was vehement in his defense of his heterosexuality, explaining that these so-called gay acts were a result of peer pressure. But what could be causing all this pressure? We at PTG have been informed that down low ONA producer E-Rock has been behind the scenes ordering Sam to perform sexual acts, telling him the quote, nose won't get you anywhere in this business. Sam was so scared of E-Rock's wrath, he wouldn't even sell him out to Opie. You could have said no any anytime you wanted. Just stop asking me to do things. However, in a surprising turn of events, after some questioning, E-Rock's wall of lies came tumbling down like a house of cards. And, due to his big mouth, his supposed fiancé found out that he is indeed an undercover gay man. Well, somebody just found out. <laughs> what? Uh, Wait, your fiancé didn't know? I haven't told her anything. <laughs> She just found out. What could be next for the show? Will E-Rock finally embrace his homosexuality? Will Sam be able to live his life as a normal, if not overly active, heterosexual? Stay tuned as PTG keeps you in the know. Very nice. Good job. Yes. By Sam. Talking about Sam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A little weird. He Sam. calls himself a super producer. <laughs> yeah, I love how he... Kind of threw a few little things in there to make himself look better. Apparently, Metallica will be uh, performing. Yeah. Playing Fade to Black. When I got gonna whap. Here's Archie Bunker. I was watching TV uh, yesterday. They were, Sorry, Angry Kirby, your joke bombed. They were doing uh, stuff on the, uh, the sitcom, and they played this clip from All in the Family, and it's Archie talking about the black president mm -hmm. or the lack of a black president. You ain't got a black president, Jefferson, because God ain't ready for that yet. <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> what? That's right. God's got to try it out first by making a black pope, which he ain't done yet. Is that what you can talk about? Whether a black man or a white man should be president? Well, what do you want to talk about, little girl? How about a woman president? Oh, holy cow. <laughs> A woman president. Mr. Jefferson, this may come as a big surprise to you, but women are much more oppressed than blacks. I don't see no ghetto for women. What do you call a kitchen? <laughs> Ooh, wow. Leave the funny to Archie, my God. <laughs> How great is that? Kitchen? If they brought this back, I'd be I'd be watching sitcoms every freaking night of the week. But addressing that that real strife, like 
with affirmative action even now, and you look at how blacks are angry, they say it benefits white women more. There's like a weird thing with uh, when it comes to women and, and, and blacks in a way like we're oppressed. You're, you know what I mean? Glad like, I'm out of that one. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> Why? Wow, you don't like either. Um, <laughs> kidding. That was just a dumb Anthony's gay joke. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we might have reached our core on the gay thing today. Uh, so but that's what, what, what great uh, social commentary. Yes. And now what do you get with a sitcom? Friends. Nice sets, though. Mm. They're not overly dressed. Very believable homes. Yeah. Like they would afford that fine apartment in New York City. Sure they could. He's always All that room, a yeah. Apartment you can live in a 727. And Travolta yeah. could actually kiss another man yeah. before boarding a plane in the yeah. back in that apartment. Yeah. Boo. A yeah. sitcom that's not 15 years old? <laughs> huh? Could we bring up a sitcom that's not 15 years old? Sure I can. Uh, How I Met Your Mother is a friend's ripoff. Ah. Oh, is it? Very much so. A bunch of friends, and they go out with each other, and they got all these little cute friend problems. Instead of discussing uh, real issues through through humor, like Mr. Uh, Bunker did. That's right. How I Met Your Mother. How I Met Your Mother. Try 25 years, and No, I was talking about friends, you dummy. Yeah, friends. And friends is less than 10 years, right? The Seinfeld's last episode was, what, 10 years ago already? Was it really? No, I, re I remember uh, talking about friends when we were um, on in Boston. Well, they had a good so run. It was like 10 years, I guess. Wait, Seinfeld yeah. didn't end in 98, 99, 98? Sure did, Jimmy. It yeah, sure it did. did. Yeah. There goes your life. May, May 14th, 1998 was the last There episode. you go. Over 10 years, heading toward wow. a Wow. Mm -hmm. That Hell started that. in 88. Wow. Where'd that go? Mm. Yeah, you can tell when you see some of the earlier Seinfeld, you really can like, wow. Kind of a mullet. 80s doubt. <laughs> yeah. He's wearing like a, a giant turquoise button-down shirt. Yeah, all tucked <laughs> in with his tight jeans. You know, wow. I'll, <laughs> I'll tell you this much. I'm so effing done with um, with freaking uh, Cosby. <laughs> Is he even, what, what did he do now? I forgot. Jay from Florida, thank you. Uh, oh, did you see later in that same show when Cosby said all in the family had no redeeming qualities, wasn't a true representation of the American male, and didn't do any real social commentary? He couldn't have said that. Because Cosby did. I mean, uh, the black lawyer living with the black doctor. I mean, that's obviously a representation oh, yeah. of every Successful experience we have. Kids yeah. and yeah. that never got into any real, real trouble. Yes, Travis. Yeah, and he also said that it never uh, taught anyone anything or sought to teach anyone anything. And this is why Cosby is an ass. And, and, I, and, I, and, and A, he's overrated, and he's an ass. If he really said that, the parody of how ridiculous racism was, uh, was absolutely what that was. And Norman Lear's a flaming liberal. That was the message of that show, is how ridiculous being bigoted is. Mm -hmm. And if, if stupid <laughs> yeah, Jimmy, could go. never speak through his Take act, Cosby, yeah. who had to do that, a Camille made a cake! Yuck. And then all of a sudden step out of character and say what he wanted to say. How about talking on stage, stupid? Mm -hmm. How about that? Wow, his audience doesn't want to hear that. And stop, oh, he they want to hear me. the funny he bugs me. step and fetch it, Cosby. And stop keeping the little rascals to yourself. <laughs> that's that's an urban legend. <laughs> Is it? Yeah. Can you get the little rascals? Of course you can. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, what a realistic boom, 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 show this was. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah. All right, let's get the hell out of here. The Huxtables of the Geek. You have a pudding. A Y with a bunch of uck after it. <laughs> <laughs> All in the family never did social commentary. Compared to that fluff crap you put out. Did you like Good Times? Was that social I, commentary? I doubt it. Do yourselves a favor, get the second season of All in the Family. You'll, Absolutely. You'll enjoy it immensely. Hey, uh, let's get out of here. Uh, music marathon time here in New York City. Uh, for all you Jeff Beck fans, very good news. An entire hour of Jeff Beck music is about to begin. <laughs> don't make people. Oh tune. my God! Don't make people tune away. They're gonna Stop play it. Traffic Jam and Bolero. No, they're not. And uh, that other one he did that no, no. one picked up or bought. We're rocking here. Maybe in New we'll York. play the Rod Stewart thing where he played a little guitar in the background. Nine. Maybe some yard beds. What, Jimmy? I forgot to mention because of Martin Luther King's birthday. We were talking about Martin Luther King III. Yes. Yeah. And uh, his birthday is being honored at the Borgata by uh -huh. me on Sunday night. Yes. The only show that's not sold out, although there are a few tickets left for Friday. Mm. Those are uh, release comps that I'm not going to be using. I will be, though, because I'm showing up with Jimmy Norton. Good.
and uh, I'm going to go see Jimmy's show at the Borgata. We're staying in the same room. Yes. It's going to be a real homo weekend. Yeah. A, a real hoot. <laughs> and then so, next Wednesday, I'm in uh, Miami, so Jeez, go if Jimmy. you want. Very busy. Yeah. All right, we're going to go yeah. uh, deal with this snow here in New York City. We'll see you guys soon. Bye. Opie and Anthony. Mm -hmm. Headline. It's cold. Yeah, it was a little nippy on the way uh, it's cold. The way over. I'm not talking about us, Anthony. I'm sorry. What are you talking this about? This is easy. What do we got today? 20, 22? That's easy. We can do that. It's a lot colder elsewhere. But it's going our, down to five. In our listening audience. Yeah, tomorrow might be uh, a rough one. Tonight. Today's easy, though. We can walk through this one. No problem. Tonight it's going down to five. We That's bitch cold. and complain, but here in New York City, we get maybe 10 days where we really got a deal. Maybe yeah, 10. It's all, it's all relative, you know? Yeah, I hear you, I guess. Whatever. If you live up in fucking Buffalo, that's your problem, and uh, you're going to be colder. But, uh, you know, you come down here, and then you're like, yeah, it's warm. Yesterday we were sitting here. Take someone from Ecuador, they're going to be fucking freezing, you know, that's since good. 50. The best thing I ever did was live in Buffalo for a while. You want to talk about all relative. To me, this is this is a joke. Nah, it's fucking cold. <laughs> I don't really feel it's the coldness. Fucking cold. I bundle up like uh, like a lunatic. Yeah. I don't even see like I, I, I make a little like um, RoboCop slit <laughs> that I can look through between my hood and my collar, and I put my head down, and every so often I do this so I can look up. I go like, "Where is she?" Yeah. And then make sure I'm not running into anybody, and then the head goes back down, hands in the pocket, and uh, I'm trying not to feel any. Any of the outside weather on me. You want cold? Here we go. Uh, and we don't like talking wind chill on this show. We go with the temperature, my yeah. friend. Yeah. Ryan, Don't what... give me real feel and uh, yeah, uh, wind chill. What is the temperature, Ryan? Good evening. It is, uh, my car says minus 24 in mm. uh, south of Madison, Wisconsin. Wow. That's cold, boys. Minus That's not a wind chill? Four. No, I mean, I'm driving it at 23 miles an hour, but right. I don't think my car's thermometer. It's supposed to get down with wind chill to minus 40. See, uh, we sound a little wimpy. We got about 20, 22 in New York. Zero in, in Buffalo, temperatures dropping. Uh, Queensbury, the home of Matt LaFar, he's uh, checking in at minus 12. You got a minus 27 coming in from Minnesota from a trucker. You got a minus 24 coming in from Jason in South Dakota. Look at the states they're talking about. That's like, wow, we got a minus 800 coming in from the North Pole. But this of is America. Course. We're talking about uh, American places. Yeah, there's some Wisconsin. places get real cold. You're, just, you're there, Ryan. Sorry. We're in Wisconsin, colder than a witch's hit in a brass cup. <laughs> <laughs> All I'm saying is, you know, we we that weather is moving this way. We are gonna get like, yeah, that really fucking cold shit. Can I ask Rock when we're gonna replay the Paul McCartney interview? Because there's a lot of people very bummed out that they missed uh, it. They missed it yesterday, and that's that's the drag of doing this radio show. Yesterday was like holy shit, all hell broke loose, excitement everywhere. Got to talk to uh, just the. A legend, pro probably the biggest name ever on our show. And today we got Starker Patty on the uh, bleachers. So, you know, that's, yeah, that's our life fantastic. and what we live. I'm sure they could go to audible.com, but I'm I'm sure we'll replay it maybe this weekend or something, right? Mm. Oh, yeah. Uh, speaking of E-Rock, he spent at least an hour cutting up the Jeremy Piven audio. Thank God we got the Jeremy yeah. Piven audio. Is that what he was doing? I I think uh, to go inside the show a little bit could be fun, because Sam was laughing and everybody else. Where's Sam? Where's that sarcastic motherfucker? Because <laughs> Jeremy Piven was on Good Morning America talking about his, what, metal poisoning or mercury poisoning? Mercury poisoning. It's, it's somehow he got mercury poisoning? What the fuck? From and then Freddie. And then E-Rock had to cut it up for an hour? <laughs> yeah. Take us inside this a little bit, Sam. What, what happened? Well... Jeremy Piven, I don't know, it might be good, so I might be, you know, off the out of the loop on this one, but yeah. Jeremy Piven, I guess there's the big story a couple weeks ago that he wasn't doing this play that he's in anymore because he said he got sick from eating fish. He got right. mercury poisoning. Right, right. So he was on GMA to give this big exclusive interview where he would talk about getting mercury poisoning, 
which I would assume he's just going to say he got sick. He's not going to come on and say he was lying. Yeah. So why doesn't he talk about the positive uh, stuff that happens to of you? Of mercury with... poisoning? Yeah, you see the fucking head of hair he's got now? Yeah, maybe that did it. <laughs> I think it was the mercury. And no follicles. He, had he doesn't have to get follicles. Next thing you know, he's got a, a, a fine you know, hairline and a lot it's of mercury. hair. It's the mercury. So basically, Steve came in and said... You know, this is important. We got to do this. Yeah. Jeremy F Piven's going to be on GMA. Yeah. And he put E Rock on it. Yeah. So E Rock and Just Steve head. then crowded around the TV. Yeah. And, uh, and they're watching it on the big screen live because the source we used to get audio, there's a little delay. So you watch it live and then you remember the audio and go back and cut it up. Sure. So the first <laughs> incident was <laughs> while Eric was watching the live screen. Yeah. Steve went back into his office, and then he came out and said, Hey, Eric, could you get this audio? And Eric goes, Yes, Steve, that's why I'm watching it. <laughs> and then Steve goes, Okay, just reminding you. And then Eric kicked a chair across the room. <laughs> oh, you rock out a little feisty. Yeah, it gets heated around here. Yeah, it sure does. And what was the other thing and about then <laughs> Jeremy <laughs> Piven part coming up. starts talking about how sick he was. <laughs> yeah. And Steve goes over to the TV, and he goes, this guy says he's sick. I don't believe a word of it. <laughs> Uh-oh. Which given and why is that funny, uh, Sam? Because given the fact that... <laughs> he's talking a pot kettle conversation yeah. here? Clear, non-nasally voiced Steve was out with a cold for one day this week. <laughs> Where is Steve? Non-nasally voice. I love the non-nasally voice. Oh, and, no. and maybe that person walked out of the office right as a garbage can was being kicked right at him. Yeah. Steve, a Steve, lot of, I, a lot I don't of staff like very suspicious that you did not have a cold. <laughs> I don't like when you called it sick yeah. a couple days ago. I don't wow. like. Get to yourself. I love how Sam fabricates uh, sentence fragments just to get him, <laughs> just to instigate. Ooh, what did I uh, fabricate? That was ex I never fabricated. Said, that. I said never, what? I didn't say Piven didn't sound sick. You didn't look at the TV and say, I don't believe him for a second. Yeah, you kind of blocked me from watching and <laughs> making keeping notes of, of this interview that I had to cut up because you what? stood right in front of it and turned the remote down just so you could hear it because the show was playing behind you. Did you believe he was sick and not believe he ate fish? I was watching the show, but I don't know. Whatever. Um... <laughs> Anyway. He was um, asking you a question. You can't just say whatever. You just have fabricated something. Ah, whatever. I have limited space to allocate this stupid but shit. But you didn't... Um, <laughs> what? He you asked you a question. He said I didn't like. make any sense. Steve, what? comment? I don't even know. What? Steve, uh, we're on. Yeah. <laughs> um, I thought the Piven audio was worth Bless playing, you. so I had Eric cut it out. Right. So I don't think Anthony's getting a cold. <laughs> He's I don't a liar. Him. <laughs> but then you said I lied when you but said I didn't say that though. You didn't look at the TV and say I don't believe a word that he's saying. No, verbatim. I said, no, I didn't say that. You I didn't know. But you I, I'm I'm saying that Sam is telling the truth. He, he heard well, you, you say you it. You kind of just came in and said Sam fabricated uh, fabricated all the stuff. Fabricated. Yeah, but it, and I didn't now say you're it. and you're saying. He, you didn't say it. And Sam said this to you, and you're saying he's lying when he said it right to you. No, he didn't. Steve, I was in the <laughs> office. Oh, Jesus. You stood oh, in front of Jesus. me while I was watching and taking notes on it so you could listen to him talk about yeah, being I, sick. I, I said I believe he's a, uh, I probably said he's like disingenuous or something like that. But I didn't You say said I verbatim, I do not believe a word of what he's saying. Oh, I know maybe, that maybe I did. I don't remember saying it. I as really soon don't. as you said that, I, I am Danny and was like, Steve just said this, LOL. And then okay. Danny LOL'd back. Mm -hmm. But I wouldn't have <laughs> made it. LOL'd back. <laughs> if we were <laughs> LOLing about it. If someone intercepted that conversation, they'd probably go, what are these two fat girls talking about? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. It's <laughs> like the fucking coffee clutch that exists behind the scenes in this place. It's Ooh. so silly. Oh, Ooh, um, shit, What Sam. coffee clutch? You, oh, Danny, damn. Sam, Aaron. You mean the, you, you mean, <laughs> you mean the entire support staff yes. minus you? <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> okay. The trials and tribulations of being the fucking kindergarten teacher of romper room behind the scenes Ooh. here. Oh, my God. Wow. You guys we are were immature. Ooh, oh, we I were. This. It's we, not, it, I, I don't. I, got, I don't mind. It's just, but that's the reality of it. I have to be the fucking nanny of this fucking. We were talking. laughing at you. Be, we were laughing because you were talking to a television. I talked. Yeah. To, so what? And, and then you turned around like you had just addressed the room. <laughs> <laughs> like I oh. sure showed that Piven. <laughs> <laughs> what? Like you've never talked to a TV and discussed before? Yeah, but when I do it, it's not the the irony isn't so in my face. <laughs> Of me saying, 
you're faking sick when there was suspicion. Oh, you thought I was faking sick the other day. No, I just said suspicion. I did I, not make no. that claim. No, we don't know oh. for sure. but do okay. not know that. You did say you were going to, like, battle a cold. <laughs> yes. No. I was doing battle. It was it was me and a, and a saber and uh, flu germs. Wait, did you have a cold? This week, yeah, my dude, my chick's been been home sick with a cold the entire week. No, not, and not your chick, you. Yes, yeah, because Monday you were sweating a lot, and then I Tuesday probably, you I probably, I you're probably, sweating right now. Yeah, and it's 17 degrees out. Dude, I and sweat it's, and it's all not the time. That warm <clears throat> in here. I sweat all the time. It's I still fucking... got my uh, my hoodie on and stuff. I'm still a little chilled. It is what it is. I sweat. I sweat um, a lot. Man. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and I'm not on any supplements. I'm not on anything. All right. Mm -hmm. And yeah. you you fought a one day cold. That's yep. what Sam's getting at, right, Sam? He said, you got going, email. going to stay here and try to get rid of this cold. Right. Yeah. Which, I mean, we just <laughs> thought was funny because that was the first sentence, but the, this cold hadn't been set up. Like, nobody knew what this <laughs> cold was because he didn't have a cold on Monday. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> okay. That's, <laughs> that's just I, I, I had one of those 24 oh. hour things that was, you know, they happen. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's all. Get rid of. I got rid of it. But Sam, what are you getting at? Like colds usually last more than. All right. Well, they're like a. What's the average cold? Seven I'd say to seven days? to ten days of lingering. Yeah. Plus, Sam, I'm going to make an effort to breathe on you all week, <laughs> the rest of the week. All right. Well, maybe I'll just catch it at three in the morning and then <laughs> be done with it by you know <laughs> noon <laughs> and then <laughs> and then I'll be good. I hope so. <laughs> Thank you, Sam. <laughs> See what's happening here is they don't believe you call them sick. So I don't give a rat's ass what they believe. Ooh, yeah, people are thinking you were fibbing. Um, this is the face of someone who doesn't give a shit what they think. Ooh, oh, that's oh. great. Right. Wow. It's not productive. The face of someone who doesn't give a shit. That helps that's the show. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it does, actually, because if I allow everything that you guys say to stress me out, which I used to, but I can't, I would probably blow my head off clean across the fucking room, but I can't do that. So, so what that help? That what's the, the big it help? <laughs> what's the big change where you don't care anymore? Um, therapy. Therapy. Nice. Are you in therapy? Yeah. It does help, right? Yeah, it does. It allows you to vent. Man or woman? Man. I can't open up to a man. Uh -huh. Six oh, cock. Just Steve can't. can't. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one, Steve. You got to give it to Danny. I will. I'll give it. That up. was a damn good one. <laughs> I, I didn't, the fact that you delivered it like I, I've never seen a more eager delivery <laughs> in my no life, kidding, but man. it was a good one. I always have to have a woman. Yeah. All right. All right. So we got to the bottom of the one day cold. Thank right. God. Yeah. I was wrong. Huh? I was wrong. Thank you, Sam. Steve had a cold for six he hours. He didn't apologize. <laughs> <laughs> I was wrong. So, so is the Jeremy Piven audio worth playing? E-Rock. It, it's okay. He's just a whiny douchebag. Yeah. Oh, don't talk about Steve like that. Yeah, Jesus. He asked right, you Should you leave the studio for a second? What? what? Could you leave the studio for a second? So oh. Talk about but really? I'll hear it out there. Yeah, why do you want yeah. him to leave the studio? Yeah. Yeah, stay in front of his face. Right there. Stay right in front yeah. of that, the wettest face in the fucking East Coast. Oh, my God. I know, dude. That's bad. Steve, you're dripping on your shirt. I know. I don't know why. Eric, you implying that Steve wouldn't hear when he leaves the studio would mean that he doesn't listen yes, to the show when he's texting here. to do. Oh, jeez. That was what you were implying. Today, you rock. Yeah, Eric's very upset. No, I, yeah. Well, I, very I, emotional. He's very upset. I don't understand yeah. why. Well, look, there was a couple of things today, Steve. Um, is this why not you want necessarily to leave the studio? Your, not necessarily your fault, but the way you handled it could have been uh, done better. This morning, guys were talking about we should have had the con clip for uh, uh, for Ricardo Montalban's death. I spent the good portion of that morning trying to find a computer that would play the DVD because we brought in Rathacon, and oh. three different computers had problems reading it or recording it. So I go, Steve, what am I supposed to do? We can't pull this. Oh, send me an email and we'll take care of it. How does that get it on the air? <laughs> because I had to go. I pulled the clip off the f off fucking YouTube. No, I had you, to find all it. All right, but you pulled the one drop where you yelled "con." Yeah, I understand that. And we, also we referenced um, the the funeral. I understand that would have been good to have. And uh, the, the part about putting uh, the I insects can't fix in the those computers, dude. I, I can't. What would you like me to do? Find one that worked. I don't think any of them fucking work. That's okay, the but sending an email and not getting the audio for that. I, well, particular would segment you like me doesn't to help. magically extract the audio from the CD, from from the DVD. I can't do it. it you can use a computer. You don't use magic. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> very constructive. If we don't have a computer that works, I have to get it documented, and I have to do. I have to send it off Could to somebody. You hold hold your thought, because uh, uh, Sean in Jersey wants in. Sean, yes. Yes. If if Steve's girl's been sick for a while, 
and he got the cold from his girl. How from the same strain is his a 24-hour cold? <laughs> oh, and she's been sick for a while. That's a good one. I'm very resilient immune system. Steve, you just got to... No one gives a shit if people take a day here and there, but you can't use a, the, the cold excuse and then come in the next day without a sniffle. I have... Because then you're playing right into the, these oh, guys' I hands. Well, I play right into everybody's hands every day. It's simply a matter of which way the fucking wind is most blowing. Most of us don't know much about medical crap, but we do know a cold <laughs> is a good seven to ten days easy. Yeah. Or at least two. Almost, almost every single time. Two, or at least two. <laughs> or at least two. Uh, back to you, Rocky Rock. Right, so there was that issue, and, and the Jeremy Piven audio. Stump Brain had come in and said, hey, they're going to have Jeremy Piven coming up on Good Morning America. Can you watch it and you know see if we can use it? Yeah, okay. because Mike and I have been on, talking hold. about it up to that point. Okay, but Mike came and approached me about this. <clears throat> so they go through commercials. It comes on. The, I'm watching the interview. I'm taking notes. You show up out of nowhere and go, hey, uh, we should get this audio as I'm standing by the television <laughs> watching and listening to it. And then I go, I I'm doing that right now, Steve. And you looked at me and then just kind of rolled back into the <laughs> office. Then you came back out towards the end of the interview, stood in front of me, got real close to the television, and was watching in awe as he was talking about how he was sick. What's the problem with that? I was doing something. <laughs> what the fuck were you doing? Taking notes for the interview. <laughs> And me standing in front of you prevents that? Your ears shut off when I stand in front you of you? You took the remote, you stood over there, and was adjusting the volume while I was sitting I at the desk. The remote. Steve, you did. No, I didn't. The volume went down on the television as you went closer to it. Seems and crazy. all I'm hearing so is the show instead it. of the interview. Uh, yeah. He's like, I didn't do that. That's I didn't a brilliant do that. strategy just to he deny would, everything. He was turning down the volume so he could win his argument with Jeremy Piven. <laughs> <laughs> Piven and I were engaged in a, in, a, in, a, in a heated debate, and I, and I had to get my point across. Okay, but you you could have waited till I was done taking the notes. Mr. And the Pittman interview is was a busy over. man, and I had to win the argument. Okay, but there was a show going on, and I needed to cut the. But interview he was on a tight schedule. It's on TV, Steve. It was a one-way no, conversation. You can't have a no, two-way conversation real. with a television. It was real. Everybody knows that. No, it was real. Even if you're sick, it was real. It was just frustration, <laughs> Steve. It was real. So, do we play any of these uh, Jeremy Piven clips? <laughs> if you, he just sounds like a. I think now we right? have to kind of play at least one or two. Really? Just so we know what the whole. To yeah. do is about. <laughs> yeah. What are the best ones? I don't know. Let's uh we'll start with this. Mercury point too much fish? Yeah. Sushi defense here? What yes. is it? Is it true? It, it is true and I felt the same way. I, I had no reference for it whatsoever. The first week of rehearsal I started feeling a certain kind of fatigue I had no reference for. Mm. I went to the doctor, he tested everything. He said, there's nothing wrong with you, we're going to get your heavy metals in. They came back, they were six times what the average person has. It's heavy metals. Yeah, he's got some, uh, he just, you know, was wanted out of Broadway. You think? Yes. Should have said he had a cold for a day. <laughs> <laughs> Would have gotten him out of one performance, though. Uh, mercury true. gets you out of uh, a lot. A lot of. I have stuff, mercury right? poisoning. <laughs> you, should, you should buy a BlackBerry. <laughs> Why is that, Sam? Because <laughs> I really don't understand what you're getting at. What would that be, Sam? <laughs> I don't know. I know people. I'm not going to mention any names. But <laughs> okay. <laughs> there yeah. are people who use their BlackBerry to get out of like the responsibilities of their job. Yeah. Yeah, how, like, how would know. they do that? That sounds crazy. Well, they could I, scroll I through understand. it. They could look for pretend emails and <laughs> stuff like that. Some people, I don't know. Pretend. <laughs> oh my dear sweet Jesus. Mm -hmm. Some people, I don't know. Right. Yeah. More Jeremy Piven. So it's just fatigue. Other thing. I mean, at one point, well, you were talking about not being able to remember the lines. What other things? So the, at the beginning, that's what it was, and it progressed to the point where that final Sunday, um, I had problems spatially. I was losing my balance and my memory. The lights were too bright. I couldn't get enough oxygen. I ended up kind of passing out uh, <clears throat> in my in my place when I got home. Was I ended up in the hospital for three days? Hmm. Is this a real thing? Let's get Dr. Steve on the phone. Yeah. The Does he thing. know anything I've about the mercury, mercury poisoning? He's never be, been there. You gotta be careful. How much sushi do you have to eat to Oof. get this mercury thing? <laughs> Don't worry, I heard it. Was it good? I didn't know oh, he was talking about me and my trip to Bomb Town. <laughs> <laughs> Bomb Town. <laughs> Bomb Town. You guys want Steve to leave now? Because he's not going to leave unless you guys are done beating him up. I wasn't beating up Steve. Just saying. Are you rocking the girl's dad? 
No, I was just pointing out the obvious. Well, how come <laughs> I feel like you were <laughs> a little mean to Steve? Yeah, why so mean to Steve? Just a yeah, frustrating Eric. morning. Mm-hmm. Stuff wasn't working. Uh huh. People standing in the way of doing what you were supposed to be doing, and then tell you you should be doing what you were supposed to be doing. Don't right. call Steve stuff. Oh, stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well. All right, Steve, go mop up. Mop up. <laughs> Thank you. What is that about? Come on. <laughs> oh, Jesus. You're among friends. You can talk. What are you doing? You're really, among you know what? friends. What are you was, doing? For I real. Was, if I was on the supplements, I'd say it, but I'm not. But, you know, so. this, this is fun little, like, let's make fun of Steve, but that is a real thing going on. I no sweat. one sweats like that. Your yeah. hair is wet. Yeah. Roland used to. That's true. Yeah, you Roland know what? Used Roland, Roland used did used to sweat. Yeah. yeah, but this is a new thing with him. Roland always sweated. Roland always looked like he was in a customs line with something shoved in his ass. <laughs> 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 What do you want? <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. This is, if I had to guess, a byproduct of that surgery I have. I, it's just, my body just that doesn't process. Ago. I know, but it doesn't go away. My it's stomach is still fine. I've never <laughs> seen you sweat like this, ever. Uh, I, I honestly Even in the wish summer, I could tell you. my friend. Even yeah. in the summer. I wish I could tell you. I wish I could tell you. But the honest, the God truth is, I'm not on any pills or supplements or anything, and I just, all the time. Do you have a cold? Yes, I do. <laughs> Thank you for asking. It's a fever. It might be a cold. Yes, I'm very feverish. Thank you, Sam. It's oh, wait, it's again. gone. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's ready to drip yeah, again. I know. And it happens all the time, and I don't know why. You, look like, for, you yeah. look like Gary Glitter at his sentencing. <laughs> <laughs> Did he do something wrong? <laughs> Not in my eyes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Are we attempting to make something out of this Jeremy Piven thing? How much fish were you eating? Well, I mean, it's an extraordinary case because the reality is the only protein I got for 20 years was from fish. I, I kind of thought I was doing the right thing. And uh, as a result, is I... Is this sushi? Is this raw fish? I mean, you know, this is... Uh, unfortunately, it was any kind of fish. I thought I was being healthy, you know, because I figured, you know, out of all, all the meats, fish would be the best. And these unregulated Chinese supplements, were you doing a lot of this? No, no not, not a lot of Chinese herbs. I, I, I'm just, I'm a very clean person. I kind of grew up macropsychotic, macrobiotic, I call it, macropsychotic. So I don't really do <laughs> Western medicine in terms of, I haven't had much aspirin in my life. So when I would get a cold, I would take a few Chinese herbs. I don't think that's a variable. All right, this douche is pulling me in. Now I want to hear more. Yeah, this guy yeah. is like, but twenty years, not just sushi, right? Like every kind of fish, right? Where's he getting his fucking fish? Probably from the hospital, <laughs> yeah. like all right off Three Mile Island, <laughs> right. the East River. Yeah, what the fuck? How much mercury is? It? Have you eaten so much sushi? Uh, they can say so you can. I think then salmon. Half a Holly- but he's saying everything cooked fish. Half every- a Hollywood would be fucked up. That's For all these people eat. Twenty years, he got time. all his protein off of fish. Right. Right. And now he's a fucking full of mercury. The rap on you is that you were at a clubs at night, <laughs> that you were bored with the show, yeah. partying, well, let's, all let's, this. Let's be happened. really clear. David Mamet is one of the greatest. Well, I really do feel like I'm listening to Steve, though. <laughs> Anyone here like the similarities? There's a little Steveism. It's not crazy that the guy had mercury poison, though. To be honest, I mean, it does happen. Yeah. I've heard of the mercury poison. My friend poison got it. Thing. And what, what happened? He's just—he was sick. His name is Therm, and uh, he got sick for a while. <laughs> oh, what's his last name? I don't want to say. <laughs> no, you now you to. have to. <laughs> you have to. We all want to oh, know. you have to say it now. We want to know what Thurm's <laughs> last <laughs> name is. Munson? <laughs> no. <laughs> and if you say Homer, I'm No, 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 no. Of course his, it is. His, 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 no, no. His last name was Metter, and his middle name was Oscar. <laughs> so, Thurm all Mitter. Here's a friend of mine. Get ill. <laughs> I was hoping Thurm might get something and I could walk away. No, only half I wanted to ass. hear. The, I wanted to hear the other half. I didn't want to say it. I wanted let the horse to slam yeah. it all home. Erock's back. Yes, Erock. Uh, oh. That line comes up a, a little later in this interview. What? <laughs> what line? The thermometer line. Oh, thermometer. Really? For yeah. real? Yeah. Well, that's all we know Jimmy? about fucking mercury is, you know. That you were at a big club stretch. Night, yeah. That you were bored with the show, yeah. partying, well, let's, all let's, this. Let's be really happened. clear. David Mamet is one of the greatest American playwrights. It is my dream to be on Broadway. I was living my dream. We had brilliant reviews. We were sold out every night. Yes. This was the greatest time of my life, Diane. 
I would have loved to go out. I couldn't do it. My body was fighting this mercury toxicity to the point where if I had a glass of red wine, it was too, it was too much. I think it makes for a great story, to be honest with you. Yeah, do you? Wait, wait. If you had a glass of red wine because of the mercury? Start blacking out. What the fuck? Yeah, stop. I've never heard of this. I have not either. Uh, I know I'm an entourage fan, but uh, every time I see this guy... Yeah. yeah. Mm. I'm trying to pump someone's uh, lineup a little bit. Uh, Steve also had uh, mercury poisoning. Freddie mercury poisoning. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Stig, Stig from Wagbag. <laughs> yeah, but what about your fellow <laughs> castmates there? Uh -huh. And David Mamet yes. saying that you're leaving to become a thermometer? He's a brilliant playwright and it's a great line. You know, it really is. It's a, it's a, it's a very funny line. Uh, I couldn't make it through the show. The third, the third day in the hospital, Dr. Robert Stark... He goes to the school of Steve. Yeah. Yes. Very vague, very... Oh, well. What happened to 9,000? Yeah. What happened to 9,000? Uh, it's uh, gone. What are we down? We might uh, go under eight today. Yeah. We were bragging, like, look at this, we're healthy, uh, we're going to hit 9,000, stay yeah. over 9 Gs for a while. Because just when people start getting uh, the slightest bit of confidence to go back in, yeah. some expert has to blurt out something horrid right. and make everyone sell. I think the unemployment numbers, though, come out and they're bad. And of course they were. Okay. This just in, Steve Jobs just lost two more pounds. <laughs> who's, a, who's a cardiologist of, of 27 years at Yale, said, you have a resting heart rate at 47. Your body is desperate, desperately trying to catch up. What I'm going to say to you, Jeremy, is enforced rest. You don't want to have a heart attack. And, and when a cardiologist says this to you, it, it, it's, it, you don't quite know what to do. You're sitting in a hospital bed. You can either go against doctor's orders or you can listen to the three different doctors that we're in the hospital with. Mm. That's an odd cut. Mm. Well, that's probably when Iraq e was distracted by Steve, right, Iraq? E <laughs> yeah. You guys hold back. Mm. A little bit. Yeah. Uh, should we continue with this? He, he just obviously he's constantly covering his ass with this. Well, obviously, this. He, he would lose a lot of money if he just said, "I I just don't feel like doing your stupid play anymore." So he's got to come up with something that they can't argue and and sue him over, right? Yeah, yeah. like he has a call for. Wait, <laughs> 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 well, who's always covering his ass, Iraq? E oh, and <laughs> Jeremy Piven too was doing. Did that. you meet Steve? Yeah. Oh, oh man. Why'd you tell him that was a really enjoyable sound? Was that you? I thought somebody was opening fruit roll-ups. <laughs> I was chewing gum. And it was the worst gum chew. It sounded like the Joker yawning. Yeah. <laughs> Pivot calls the show. It's uh, profitability. Do we play that? Do we play went went through controversial chelating, something like that treatment? Chelating. Col uh, col collation or something like that. It's where it's detoxing the blood. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Collation. Yeah. I'm kidding. Right. Uh, <laughs> you have no idea. No. Explains his background, oversells his condition again, and finally, Jeremy pleads for you to get your medals checked. Yeah. All right, yeah. Oh, thanks. Let's go to this. All right. Jeremy Piven has spoken this morning. And get your heavy metals tested, please. I beg you guys. Go to bluevoice.org. You'll learn more information about all this. Ew. And it's much bigger than me. It really is. We're polluting our food source, and it's not a great thing that's going on. Thank you. What a, why do you have to make it a public service now? I would encourage people to eat more fish. <laughs> yeah. The overdramatics is definitely Steve C. isms. <laughs> yes. Heavy metals. Yes. And if he's better now, can he just go back to the play? Isn't the play still around? They replaced him. With who? Uh, somebody. He rocked his microphone there for a reason. <laughs> somebody. Not a bigger name. It's just, I guess his understudy replaced him in the, right. in the performance. Wouldn't they there. put him back in, or was the understudy just setting the world on fire? <laughs> no, they're, they're actually uh, suing him, I think, trying to uh, yeah. and that's no, pick up some of the money from it. Yeah, okay. There you go. That was exciting. We're going to take a quick break. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you rock. What are we uh, replaying the Paul McCartney interview for the people that missed it yesterday? I'm going to replay three times over the weekend. All right, very good. Ooh. Just 8 o'clock right before the Saturday Night Virus, we're going to put it on there. Okay, very good. Opie and, and Anthony, stay there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Opie and Anthony. Hi. Uh, well, someone has to officially say it. Snow day. 
Snow day. <laughs> We're in the middle of a snow day. Yeah. Unfortunately, the snow started before we came to work today, so we're, we might go half day today. You know how some of the schools go half day? Uh, yes, we'll announce our uh, the radio closings for the day. Radio show closings? Radio can, show closings. I, we, can, <laughs> I can tell you this much, Ron and Fez yeah. are closed today. Closed radio, today. Yeah, radio show closings. Ron and Fez are closed today. What What other shows are closed today? What other shows we got that are closed today? Uh, Rush Limbaugh. Uh, Hannity. What? Hannity. Ron and Fez were very funny yesterday, and no, of course they'll be here today. Um, they're uh, making fun of our Paul McCartney interview at first. I was a little pissed off, but then uh, they really had a fine little uh, take on that whole thing. Yeah. Yeah, because they were kind of jealous that we got Paul McCartney, and they didn't because, you know, there's a lot of Beatles uh, fan Beatle fans on that show. <laughs> they um, had Eastside Dave uh, making believe he was Paul McCartney. And every time uh, Sir Paul entered the studio, they would uh, hit the jet song <laughs> that Mr. McCartney did with Wings. Yes, very funny bit. So they took a they took a, a negative because they were frustrated we got the booking, and they they made it into some good radio yeah. yesterday. A lot of jealousy though. Yeah, a little jealous. It's all right though. I uh, I didn't get to listen to him. I had a wow. I did some battling on the way home yesterday. Mm -hmm. um, with a van, a white van. Nice. Uh, some construction van. I don't know what it was, but he's in the left lane, obviously on a cell phone. So he wasn't uh. moving very fast. And uh, I finally have to work my way around him. I get around him, and i got to cut in front of him because uh, I'm coming up pretty fast on a car in the middle lane. Yeah. So now, if you're in the left lane, I'm, I'm going to cut right in front of you. Yeah, you're you're the, the one that shouldn't be there. On the phone? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I cut in front of him. And I speed off. Oh, shit. And I flip in the finger, too, nice. you know, as I'm going by. Uh, and I speed off, come over a hill, and just dead stop traffic. <laughs> so I now I'm one. like, yeah. Yeah. God damn, you're right. So I come over the hill, dead stop traffic. And uh, now the motherfucker pulls next to me and starts uh, cursing me out. Starts battling. Yeah, we, we start battling. And then he's... Putting, he's taking his van and pulling it closer to me. So I take the Escalade and I wham my wheel over and get within like an inch or two of him. And he wings out of the way. Now we're like, we're taunting each other with our trucks. And uh, I, the uh, traffic opens up, so I take off. Now he's trying to keep up with me, which is futile. Futile. I get slowed down by traffic again. Oh, okay. He comes up next to me. I roll the window down. He rolls his down, and he's yelling, fuck you, fuck you. And I go, listen, you savage, you fucking savage. You probably got a bomb in there, don't you? Oh, was I being just, uh, uh, I was being American. Yeah, Yourself. being myself. <laughs> I was being me. But I was so pissed off at this guy. And then he came way over on me where I had to really jerk the wheel to get out of the way of him. Yeah. And then I came back over on him. And he's, so we're weaving back and forth. This is on the Long Island Expressway, by the way. What would it take for you to do a little tapping, a little NASCAR? I, you gotta do a little I was, tap. dude, I what was it called? Trade very a close. Paint. Trade a little paint. Yeah, we're trade a little paint. Trade a little paint. Nah, I'm with Ant. Sue you. They, yeah. Sue me. You know what I was going to do? I was going to just look at the stupid name of his fucking uh, company that this rag is working and, for. And buy the company. Call it right? up. Buy the company. Buy the company. And, and then fire the And guy. fire him. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or call him up and report him as a fucking uh, a horrid driver. Did you do that? Who was throwing shit. No. You know why? Because I'd been in that boat. I was being a nice guy. See how nice I was? You're but nice. I could have, I could have fucking just rammed him off the road. I wanted to hit him. Yeah. I wanted to ram my truck into his, and 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 have him a Fuck flaming you. pile. Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! I just went into savage mode. I went really savage. You fucking savage! I go, I go. I, I was saying, leave the country. I was just being what brutal if he to him. Gun on you, okay. Pull, yeah. pull, pull a bigger one, motherfucker. You have one? That's yeah. what I say. You got a trap, don't no, you? No, but if you follow me home and I tell him to wait, I'll get it. Yeah, what are you going to do? Go up and unlock the gun closets? He's not going to pull a gun on me you and be able to shoot me before I can fucking wail my vehicle into him. You got a secret trap in your Escalade? No, no trap. Come on. I got nothing like that. I got go. my wits about me. You got to go And yeah. I, have, um, uh -oh. I have where I, I, I prepare for these things. Mm -hmm. So I knew if he pulled out any kind of weapon... 
Uh, he ain't getting a shot off before he's got a headlight in his mouth. Listen to the way you're talking. Oh, shit. Yes. You have a great job. Yeah. You live in a mansion. You so get the fuck out of my way. Bang hot chicks. Yeah, and you're well, going, I knew if he yeah. was going to shoot me, I'd hit him with my Escalade. I'd ram right into him. But why don't you just drive home nice? Because there are people in my way. <laughs> if so they'd only get out of the way, they don't understand. That left lane and, and taxi cabs and those black livery uh, uh, cars are amongst the worst offenders ever. Mm -hmm. They will sit in that left lane. You could be right on their fucking ass, three inches off with bright lights right in their mirrors and they will not fucking move. And they know you're back there. They know why you're doing this. Because I know it's happened to them a thousand times already. There's there's a stretch that looks like the fucking runway at JFK in front of them. No cars. And they're, they're matching the speed. Or the asshole that's got to go from the middle lane, right when I'm coming, I'm ready to pass, into the left lane, and go no faster than he was going in the middle lane behind somebody. And I, and I look like, why did you change lanes? Why would you fucking change lanes and then not go for any faster than you were going when you were in the middle lane? So what happened? You were... Oh, he wound up getting off on the fucking uh, uh, BQE. So he had to get off on his exit, but I pulled way over as he got on the off-ramp. I was like, bye, savage. Bye, you fucking savage, you beast. Uh, of course that's his uh, exit, right, Anthony? Yeah, of course. Of course, right? Yeah, right. BQE. Yeah. I bet he you wasn't going to the there, Q right? either. Yeah. I bet he was going to the B part of the BQE. <laughs> <You're> <laughs> fucking nuts! I love it. You, I can't you take it. me in in nuttery. I can't. Well, driving. I've I've always had a problem with driving. <laughs> hey, uh, people just don't get out of my way. I need a fourth right. lane. We got a call for you, uh, Dano right. from Kentucky. Dano. Hey, fellas. Hey. Hey, I heard the voice you're using. Anthony, man, what is the matter with you? You cannot run the fucking Iron Sheik off the road, dude. <laughs> you, fuck you. I, <laughs> greatest driver in the world, drive on the Long Island Expressway, Greco-Roman driving. <laughs> yeah, well. Uh, you don't play GTA. This is a GTA Oh, thing. I do. Oh, here we go. Why don't you talk to this guy, Mike. All right. Long Island. Mike. Hey, Mike. Hey, Harry Hostile, how are you? How you doing there, Mike? I'm looking to stick up for limousine drivers. Let me ask you a question. I got passengers in my car, right? All right. I'm in the left lane doing 65, 70 miles an hour. Just because you got escalated, you want to bla you want to break me and get me out of the way? Hey, hey, my friend, did I say anything about speed? 65, 70 miles an hour. I'm behind you. I got no fucking problem. I'm talking motherfuckers doing 45. Well, I've okay. been there. Look, Die! Oh my God! When I fucking read the news that they're slumped over the wheel, shot in the head by a robber, <laughs> I laugh. <laughs> Livery cab fuckers, fuck them all! <laughs> fuck them all! <laughs> Put those videos on YouTube. The fucking cameras on their windshield. And I'm referring to those those tools that, that fucking sit behind me in my limousine where I got people in the car and they're flashing their brush like a pack of fucking monkeys. What and are you I'm doing in that? Hey, 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 fucker! What are you doing in the left lane? Yep. I I'm taking my passengers on the safest way I can. Right? Get in the middle lane. Get in the middle lane. Why well, should I? I got a right to right. 70 no, you don't got a right. Get the fuck out of the way. Get out of the way. Get out of there. I'm pushing you out. I got to get home. You're get right. out of the fucking way. All right, hold right. on. We got Peter in Massachusetts. You're right. Peter. Aunt, you're right. Peter? Hello. Hey. Yes, good morning. Good morning. Hi. Anthony, don't you realize many people depend on you to make a living? If you get fucking killed acting like an idiot, little Jimmy's going to have to do fucking stand-up every night. Idiot. Nobody's going to have to talk to his mother every day. That's right. How is acting like an idiot? How is it acting like an idiot when I just want to fucking drive uh, 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 about, eh, maybe uh, 10 miles an hour over the speed limit even? I'm not talking about fucking flying. In the morning, I drive fast because no one's on the road. On the way home, I don't have a choice. I can't fucking drive that fast. But if people got the fuck out of the left lane and, and they, they're the same, the fucking same, the usual suspects, all of them in the left lane when you pass them. I look when I have to go around them, uh, around the right side of them. I look in that window and I see the same fucking faces. There's about three of them. And I know exactly what they are. And I see it every fucking time. Never whitey, right? Nah, occasionally. All right, let's go. Occasionally. To... Talon the trucker wants in. Talon. 
Fat <laughs> white <laughs> bitches <laughs> can't drive. Another word in a minivan. They're fucking horrible. Yep. Punch the white people. They're in one the face of them. Too. The other one is the completely everyone knows stereotypical horrible driver. Mm -hmm. That one I'll look over and go, oh well, that figures. God forbid. Yeah. Dental floss. And the other one, uh, usually um, used to uh, jobs. Maybe taking calls for customer service. Oh, shit. No, you didn't. Oh, I did. Uh, Talon, what are you hauling there in that truck of yours? Shit holders today. A load of diapers. What? Diapers. A load of diapers? No. Yeah. What the right. fuck? But uh, I agree with Anthony. These fucking highway heroes think it's their job to slow everybody down and they don't want to get out of the way. Highway heroes. Yeah. I yeah. Like that. That's yeah. Thank nice. you. Get the fuck out of the lane. I don't care if you want to do 10 on the expressway. Do it in the right lane. There's no fucking reason to to be in the left lane and not be doing at least the, the speed limit or a little over. You know, people don't un understand the basics. Travis laid it out for us in Kansas. Uh, the middle lane is for driving. The left is for passing. The right is for entering and exiting. Yeah. That's how it's supposed to work. Simple. Here's worst worst scenario ever. It's ever. When they close the fucking right lane uh, yeah. and, and everyone's got to merge over into the middle and left lanes and then when you get past the blockage and the right lane opens up again the idiots forget to get out of the left lane and continue doing the speed they were doing like in the right lane they don't know the rules these people don't know the rules you don't fucking stay in that left lane when there is a parade behind you of people looking to go faster if the road is clear in front of you and there's a fuckload of traffic behind you. You're a problem. And that causes more accidents, I would have to No imagine. shit, because you got to really weave around them. Those really slow people that are uh, not getting out of the way. you got to start weaving way, around, around them. You gotta, now you're changing lanes when you shouldn't have to. And, and you can't time when you're going to cut into the the next lane because you're yeah. going too slow now because of this asshole. Yeah, you got to look and go, all right, is there going to be enough room by right. the time I get there? To get in between the guy in the middle and right lane and get around this guy. We got a man call. All right. Meaning, you know, you got a blank man. All right. Mikey. Mike. Help me out, Mikey. Mike. Mike in Philly. <laughs> it says, Aunt, you got to stay cool, man. Stay cool. Are you there, bro? I guess not, huh? By the way, you know who, I, bad, I who are cool. bad drivers? I, gotta, I hate to say it. What? Mm. Black females. Yeah, hard. Not fast. Horrid. Not speedy. What are you talking about? Horrid Black drivers. Are not fast drivers. The worst? No. White men, uh, uh, God damn it, it's just something we do well. Yeah. It's uh, it, it's it's a it's a challenge when I'm out there. Mm -hmm. I look at least eight vehicles ahead of me to see what's going on. Is it slowing down? When I see brake lights and the lanes are are are, are slowing down, I'll look and see beyond where it's first stopped. Which lane's moving? And then get into that lane. So even if you got to slow down, you're moving. It, there's like, you got to drive like, people drive like they're just fucking. We got, we got Brother Joe on the line. Uh, uh, Joe, this is no time for a 2U plug, please. No, 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 it's ah. not a 2U plug. Oh, oh, oh. Me, me and Anthony have had this discussion before. <laughs> I just took a uh, driver's education a course to uh, knock four points off my life. <laughs> I, was maxed, I was maxed out to like nine points. Yeah. Wow. And, uh, and and I was sitting there with uh, with ju just the, the, the usual suspects, the same assholes that are in the left fucking lane yep. that won't move over. That I mean, and, and I actually discussed it with him. But you know what? You know what the thing is to do, Ant? You can't get yourself in trouble. You really can't. You lean on the horn. You get behind them. It's pretty safe following distance. And stay on your horn till they fucking move <laughs> over. That's it. All you do is just do not stop leaning on the horn. Oh, that's a good one. Move. Eventually, they get. They, eventually, they're like, this guy's not going to quit. And, and they have to move. There's no fucking way they can handle having a horn blast them behind them. Well, you know, the problem is, Joe, they'll understand that he's too legit to do so. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, that, that's uh, when you're when you're when you're a radio gangster. And, you and, and to, uh, <laughs> the hey, let me let me give you road. let me give you a little vengeance too. A little vengeance once you do uh, look at them, give them the finger, give them the look, whatever, and then get in front of them. Take yeah. your uh, your uh, uh, driver's side tires. And zip into those. You know the uh, uh, the you're falling asleep grooves yeah. on the left side, right before the median wall. Mm -hmm. Get your tires in there, in front of the guy that you just passed. It will kick rocks, oh, shit. Yeah, fucking yeah, hubcaps, dirt, yeah, 
Everything will fly into this guy's windshield. Mexican and he will back. Everything will just and, and, yeah. go a flying. Oh, he well, won't. He won't try to follow you then. Yeah. Having the guy behind you with the brights on at night, and yeah. they just don't. They don't know better than to shut their fucking brights off. I adjust my my side view mirror to blow it right back into their fucking eyes. Oh, that's <laughs> a good one. Hey, that is good. Hey, that is a good. Oh, I gotta remember that one. Yeah. That works all the time. There are people that don't. They they just don't understand. And and I know if I'm in the left lane. And I'm. There are people that don't look in their mirrors. I guess, mm -hmm. like I'm constantly looking in my mirrors for police, but a, a peripheral thing, or a, a is that I also notice other people. Mm -hmm. uh, so if somebody's coming up on me and I'm noticing I'm in the left lane and someone is at speed and they're going to pass me, I move the fuck over and I give them plenty of time where I move over and they pass me and then I get back in. I'm fine. What? I'm not going to be the dick. Right. All right. Fucking asshole. Oh, Atta boy. So, by the way, I'll be driving that way on the way to the uh, <laughs> Performing Arts Center on February 13th. Nice. Uh, to do the uh, video screen show for the uh, the new Two Youth Theater uh, yeah. presentation. Oh yeah, that's so pretty we'll cool. Be doing that on yeah. the day before uh, on the day before Valentine's Day, and uh, it's an amazing show. If you multimedia that, now, Joe's gone with a huge screen that's where awesome. it's synchronized to actual U2. Uh, video. Nice. Yeah, all, uh, all the uh, production yeah. videos that he did from years ago too. I mean, like the really old stuff. It's like YouTube mania. Yeah, it's yeah. cool, man. Why not? <laughs> Go cool. with it. Yeah, it definitely works. All right, fellas, I'll talk to you soon, man. Uh, Joe. Bye, bye, Joe. Bye, Joe. From uh, from my years. mother's womb. I know, but I'm trying to remember his website. Oh. Not to you. No, what? Not, to you. I think it's to you. Dot com. Not you too. Not you too. Dot com. Yes. Yeah, not you too. Dot com. I don't know. Hey, uh, I'm just look up. Just put to you tribute. Oh, Gregorio, <laughs> I get so frustrated. I want to try some today. <clears throat> um, success. Yes, you burped. <laughs> Stalker Patty is on the bleachers now. Yay. Last time she was here, she was screaming bloody murder for her life, and it's now part of the intro to this fine radio show for yeah. the next couple of weeks. That was a good one. Now hear me out. I want to like maybe do some nice. Nice radio with Patty today. I listen to Ron and Fez. She's singing nice Christmas songs. Everyone gets along. Did you Why notice don't we she sang that? From the Ron and Fez book, and see if Patty can maybe do something where we're actually like, "Wow, Patty, who knew?" Did you notice that uh, that she sang um, "Santa Baby" yeah. to Fezzy, Fezzy baby. Uh, for for Christmas? Yeah. And um, the next day. Eartha Kitt, who made the song famous, died. <laughs> you killed Eartha Kitt with your lousy rendition. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Patty, what could you do for us today, for real? Where we leave you alone, we don't throw liquid shit on you, or try yeah. to cut your hair. Or... What does Ron and Fez do like that? Yeah. Makes we want that, That's races? fun, yet entertaining for the listeners. Right. Once in a while, they'll just ask my opinion or on something and whatever. But who cares about that? I know. And, so, and I, we should try that. to do something a little different. There. All right, we can do that. I kind of want some of our guys back. We you know want something. All our guys to Ron and Fez because you know, stupid me, they they treat them like human beings over there. You know something? Fucking Big A has theme songs now. And, oh, I know. And, and scheduled bits. I'm like, they started on our show. Remember that? I want yeah. Some the, of our guys the, back. The big Philly motorcycle run was right. his first appearance, and now. Uh, now he's uh, on the uh, RNF team. Right. Uh, Patty, yeah. if she wants to talk about something, I, I, I something relevant that we've been talking about, the election, the inauguration, mm -hmm. uh, the energy, the excitement, all mm -hmm. that, maybe she's got an opinion. It's a big topic today on the show. That's, that's uh, a good idea. That she would uh, like to add in. Patty, yeah. have you been keeping tabs on this? And how do you feel about the upcoming inauguration, the, the feeling? Uh, do you think it's good? Uh, what, what, what's your opinion? Well... I think that he seems like he's going to be more of a people's president. He seems to have uh, feelings along that line about the uh, people that he's, you know. Looks like? He looks like he's going to be the people's <laughs> president. He really does. I think he wants to have some kind of a stimulus like package the rock. that he's going to send down to New York to help us keep the subway lines and stuff, you know. Patty, what, what? Is, what is a stimulus package? Yeah. Yeah, he's going to give money to the MTA. You know, and uh, the MTA doesn't need money. Who said that? Yeah, they do, and they're going to up everybody's uh, fucking uh, fares well, by like well, three bucks. Actually, right. I, I well, it didn't happen yet, out. but I think that's what he wants to do. You but, know, give some money to New York. 
How do you money. think that's not giving money to New York? That's giving money to a company that doesn't know how to run its own fucking business. It's not giving oh, money I know to that. The difference. You, they make announcements. You can't even understand them, so you have no idea what's going <laughs> yeah. on when the trains are held up. Yeah, she's kind of like, uh, who's that, uh, Joe the Plumber? She's like yeah, a regular Yeah, regular, regular Joe. Yeah. Can you imitate Patty the, the toilet clogger? I want her to <laughs> imitate the <laughs> announcement she hears on the subway, because they can't fix the speakers, right, Patty? Um, I can't understand them because it's but all how does static. It sound? How does it sound? How do you, I can't imitate static. Static. Yes. Static. Static. Yeah. Guys, we're Patty trying today. We're yeah. trying is that a... to be an equal to Patty today. <laughs> Thumbs up by Patty. That it, Patty? Yeah, it's yeah. exactly what it sounds like. So we're like, what happened? <laughs> So, Pat, do the impression. Yeah. How about, well, it doesn't like even touching his stuff. I understand. How about no, you do the impression yeah. into the mic? It just sounds like... <laughs> like that. That's what it sounds like. They don't have a good set PA system. I think it's outdated. You think that's the most important thing on the trains? Sometimes, yeah. When oh. you're wondering why it's taking so long for the train to move, and you know too? you got somewhere to be, I would like yeah. to know yes. why we're being held in the station. Right, and they come on, they tell you, and with a clear PA, you understand it. Yeah, I'd like to know what the situation is. Because it's going to change it, right? Yeah. When the train stops in a like in the tunnel and you're stuck there, what's the difference if you know or you don't know? Oh, good point. Maybe I have somewhere I have to be and it makes me more nervous about having to be somewhere where I have to be. And then a lot of times it's not gonna change gets... it though. Yeah, what if you go into the electric chair, he'd be happy to delay. <laughs> No, I think it's even <laughs> funny when you get to Whitehall Street to get off at the ferry that they stop in the middle of the tunnel and it's five minutes before the boat and then by the time they pull in, it's two minutes after the boat Patty, left. You know where you know where the information, you can get it, and this is a secret, so, you know, keep it to yourself. Step out of the train. There's two rails that the wheels are on, but there's a third one. <laughs> oh, that thank if you put you. That's if you put your the ear on it. No, you put your ear on it, and they tell you, someone whispers in your ear, it's going to be five <laughs> minutes. So just do that, and make sure your feet are in water when you do it. Is <laughs> your literal patty? <laughs> literal patty. Oh, that's where the power goes through. Of course, I know the third rail. Yeah, there you <laughs> Not well yeah. enough. Exactly. <laughs> We'll have to push her into it. Hey, hey, I, hey, oh. hey, we're trying some different things. Oh, shit, that's right. Oh, boy, do I go right for the throat. She reminds me of Robert Shaw, although I wish she reminded me of him in the Take Your Pelham 1, 2, 3. <laughs> Great movie. Sure was. Patty, can you sing a song for us today? I was a little jealous hearing you sing on Ron and Fez. She did a great job with that uh, Fezzy Baby uh, song. She sure did. She actually has a, a, a very angelic voice. Really? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Patty, no. what song did you sing to be for nice. us today? <clears throat> I don't know. It's just that I'm not prepared. Not prepared. Not prepared. I had to go online to YouTube for the Santa Baby you gotta one and do prepare. it a couple times <laughs> with the music there. Boo. And then I did it with David in the studio and he recorded it. Yeah. 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 Then what happened? I'm, you can make that one out for us. I'm hearing a buzzing in my ears. I'm hearing. Uh, I don't even know what it I'm is. Subway announcements. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'd rather hear. <laughs> All right, Patty, we're trying, but uh, uh, I want Patty to sing. I bet if she sings something, I'll change our tune a little bit. Yeah, I, 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 fit, I, I learned that we've known you for twelve some odd years, and I, we don't know anything about you because we're too busy like trying to horrify you. Yeah, goof on you, whatever. Give you a heart attack, you know. Yeah. Hey, Patty, maybe Never Seth takes. Rogen could bring the mic in here, and you could talk in here. <laughs> <laughs> Come here, Patty. Hey, Patty. Here comes Patty, everybody. It's Patty. Hi, Patty. It's cool. You look good, standing straight, walking tall. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, why I want to make soup out of her. <laughs> <laughs> Patty, why don't you stand straight anymore? What? You don't stand straight, really. No well, I'm being treated for arthritis and stuff, and I have some spinal degeneration due to it, so I'm in physical therapy once Holy a week shit. for it. Because uh, I'm in pain. The worst improver ever. Yeah. What? Patty improv rules. Do you, you know, realize, and, how old are you now? 52? I'll be 54 in June. Oh. What the fuck? 50 was just yesterday. Yeah. Four more years where you're not using that snatch of yours. Relatively speaking. That's not that old to the point where you should start falling apart like this. Right. Your 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 what your calcium's all fucked up. 
Well, I'm low in vitamin D. I'm on 600 units a day. I have to take <laughs> Actinol once a month. Vitamin I do the third, you know, the vitamin once a month dick. pill. If you had vitamin yeah, she dick. needs vi she's low in vitamin D. I have to dick. start on B12 supplements soon, and I'm going to be on a multivitamin that's very powerful. <laughs> multivitamin that's very powerful. For some reason, my that. vitamins are not being absorbed, but because I eat you just well. Because shitting the pills out whole, Patty. You know, yeah. I don't eat <laughs> junk plate, either. Okay. I'm vegetable. Oh, Bulls, fish, and uh, yes. you know, yogurt. What, you don't eat beef? I don't like meat, no. I saw a video, smart. you know, a PETA video. Yeah, even, those are funny, right? Yeah, well, I saw a guy <laughs> stepping on a cow's face, and the nose was bleeding, and I was like, that's it, I can't eat meat anymore, because I couldn't deal with the video. You see the one where they take the skin off and it's still breathing? <laughs> oh, I saw scream. all of it. I don't agree with their tactics, but they did find it. <laughs> they did found their company on... Good principles, uh, right, but wait, wait, not wait, good tactics. Wait, what? Oh, wait, you no, will I, tell us when that cow stops screaming, wait, won't you? You don't agree with their what? Tactics. I don't like the fact that they walk into people's stores and mess them up. I, I, These I people trying to run a business to try to get a message across. So you're saying that you, you can lobby for laws. Do you have any tattoos? And stuff, you know. But not go into people's hey, property hey. and uh, destroy it just because they want to make their point. That's hey, not the so, right so approach. So what are you saying? You don't, you don't agree with what? I don't agree with their approaches. Yeah. What do you mean by approaches, though? Like they're, You don't you know, walk up to somebody wearing a fur and throw paint on them. You don't go into somebody's Yves Laurent shop and destroy it. Wait. But that is... Would, what are those considered? You, what? Yves you don't agree with what? Yeah, they're... They're what? They're tactics. T a c t i c s. Yeah, Maybe Lorraine. I don't say they're it right. You said right. They're tactics. He's, he's what tactics. did you say? Eva what? E who? What's the designer? Eve Saint Laurent. Yeah, that's right, actually. Eve Saint Laurent. They went into yeah. a Paris oh, shop and destroyed the whole place. Yeah, but does they can't. They can't. Why do you agree with that? I don't agree with that. That's the Why, tactics but... I don't agree with. <laughs> yeah, Destroying course. people's property. There's no reason to do well, that. But no, you could go down to your government and lobby for, for laws, people, you know, more. to be amended or changed. I'd, I'd rather turn on the radio and hear Stactic uh, than hear this crap. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but, Patty, if you don't agree what we do to animals, then you should be supporting the people that throw the paint and stuff like no, this. No, and... I don't support that. No. Why are you wearing fur boots? You fucking animal hater. It's yeah. imitation fur from Payless Shoe Stores. Payless. <laughs> yeah, but they get that fur from cats. People no, don't. they don't. Yeah. Yeah. This That's... is imitation. Hmm. It's all imitation. So because... Perfect imitation of awful radio. <laughs> <But> because, <laughs> because you're not eating meat. Yeah, that's you're a problem. You're falling apart. That's a problem. You need a little bit of protein from, like, right. beef, maybe. And, you know, maybe that's like a little propaganda. Maybe they actually treat the cows nice, but they found one asshole to do the right video to scare everybody. Yeah, and one thing I didn't understand was that the guy was filming a cow going through that. Why didn't he throw the camera down and beat the shit out of him? I would have. How would you hurt the cow? No, oh. beat the shit out of There's the guy hurting guy the, cow. the cow. That's what I would have done. I would have kicked his ass. Hey, oh. you know? Is this the video you were looking at? <laughs> look at no, this. Uh, I didn't see that particular look at it, it's one. Funny. Hey, look, it's just uh, you know. they're all having fun. These animals are living high on the hog. That's yeah. right. Life of Riley. Look, see? Oh, that's Ow, what I, that's I saw hurt. something like that with the look, cow. I, uh -oh. Instead of taking pictures, I would have beat the shit out of the guy well, doing the, the video. stomping. Yeah, look, look at the this. video. Oh, wow. They just chopped that head off. Oh. Well, you got to club him. Keeps oh. the meat tender. Oh. I don't understand why people would do that. that. It's still blinking. There's a human. If you're gonna That's raise a, a sting. That's if, a if you're gonna raise an like animal for consumption, without the makeup. <laughs> you know, makeup. put it down in a humane way. <laughs> yeah. You know how videos? long they that did. would take? They, they kind of like uh, slam dunk the animal right on the dirt. Ah, here's leather for the people that don't yeah. just eat meat but wear leather. Here's the cows. Those cows always wear it. See, they're being yeah. treated well right like now. show off. No, no problem. Yeah, this looks like America, too, doesn't it? Yeah, look. Look at see? this. You're looking at a third world fucking savage nation. Why well, are they we showing this? We, can we well, support it by buying Well, we're this? doing well, that in we? slaughter. Yeah. They're doing we'll that in slaughterhouses here. No, they're not. They lull them to sleep with music. No, they don't. Yes, they do. Then again, I saw another video called Farms had Ow, nothing to do hurt, with Peter or any animal protection agency, and they were raising them humanely on the farm. 
The you, best way they found to put a cow down is to just put a bullet between the eyes and the cow just goes down. It doesn't feel anything. Oh, yeah. And they raise it well and feed it well and take care of it until they're ready to down it. Oh, they use that They use that thing like they use on it. Wow, they're skinning it. Oh, my God. Wow. That reminds me when I went to Chinatown and I saw them carrying <laughs> real pigs off the truck and I had to close my eyes because I felt yeah. sorry for the pigs. Oh, <laughs> Oh, look, they're showing this fucking, this, this, uh, snipping the dicks. Yeah, they're just snipping oh. the dick off. Please. I love PETA. I'm gonna Aww. fucking, so I'm gonna fucking join this organization, because they fucking throw paint on people. Yeah. Good. Fuck. Yeah, look. Yeah, they don't kill Peter animals. They, fuck they, the just, animals. they just kill the people that kill the yeah. animals. They should. These <coughs> fucking people should be fucking killed. Look yeah. at them all with their bloody heinies. <laughs> 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 <I know>. Stupid <laughs> lambs. <laughs> What did they do? Spay them? Is that what they look like, Spade? Shut up! They're all auditioning for the part of Robert Reed's wig in the final season. And they still won't run. They don't, like, try to get together and figure something out. because they're dumb. Because they have no experience to their cock and balls being cut off. All they do is go, Right, itch a little. They're like, ah. Look at this fucking... Oh, wow. Wow, bloody nose. That room looks like fucking... I can't watch that. But, all right, Patty, let's turn off the... The video. No, These Patty. fucking people need to be killed. Aww. These people to... need to be fucking killed. I almost killed. cried when I saw that Peter one. Almost. I was in tears. Look at these fucking sacks of shit. They should be fucking killed. Yeah, now we're getting upset. Let's, uh... This is some kind of savage nation. It doesn't matter. It's the fact we support it. Look at them cutting this fucking thing's arms off while it's alive. Yeah. That's the disgusting. more fucking PETA fucking throws paint on people, the happier Compassionate alternatives? Mm-hmm. What is that? I don't know. I can't imagine PETA has a compassion at all. Oh, they're, they're showing like people walking their dogs. Yeah, the compassion of a rock. How about compassionate? That was pretty good. Comedy. Yeah, good, good really improv. They should just show animals attacking people. <laughs> <laughs> like that fucking horse fucking the guy he hasn't seen. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Oh, I wish the animals uh, would attack those people up there. The guy, yeah. the, right. you know what it was? That was a human cruelty video because the horse just wanted like a, a, a fucking a colon hat. So he had to go into the man's hiney and get it. A colon hat. <laughs> that was actually from an against humans <laughs> video. But Patty, it sounds like that you don't have, you know, uh, bad medical stuff happening. If you just need a few vitamins, that's easy. Yeah, Patty. Well, I'm starting my vitamin therapy on Monday, that's and I'm uh, three months into my actinol, and I'm who, like two months into the vitamin uh, D. Who so. turned you on to the vitamin therapy? Um. Well, my doctor was suggesting, because I tested low in certain you things. I tested low in B12, low in... Well, D IQ? was really low. Of course the D is really low. <laughs> it's supposed to be 30 or 40, and I was only at 14. You oh, had yeah. 14 Ds? Nice. Yeah, 14. What? Like, uh, the met the number on the medical chart. Yeah. Which 14 I what, though? I don't know what it is. D, D, was something like in the bloodstream? Don't you get D from just walking around outside? Well, I don't go out very much other than just to go to work and just, you know, I, I, it's right. too cold to go out. Patty, your life really? just... Uh, a little Sucks. odd. Yeah. A little odd, Patty. You like spice sure. it up, Patty. Come what on. What floor do you live on? I live on the second. Uh, sure. Move higher. Yeah. <laughs> Move up higher. Yeah. Do your windows open? <laughs> yeah. so the urge hits you. And what's and going I'm, on with your spine? Put a trampoline right by it. Yeah. Well, there's a slight... A boinga boinga. <laughs> there's a slight curvature, so in therapy, Can I have see to do back curve? exercises. Yes. Which way does it curve? Like, yeah, let's see the curve. I don't curve. know. Is it in, out, or to the side? No. Well, I can't here. see shit. We can't see, we can't see anything. Can't see Patty. Lift your shirt Patty. up. Hey, back. Your pants up. We can't see. Move oh. that big comma. Oh, that's your back. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that thing is kind of going over to the right. Yeah, it's it kicks over, over to the right when it starts hitting the top of your ass. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I you need to do cock exercise. to straighten that out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You need a cock in your ass. That'll straighten your spine right out. <laughs> and not a white one. <laughs> no. That wouldn't be longer. Hard enough. No. It's like a rod emplaced in there. And yeah, cock with melanin to put that mm. spine back where it belongs. That'd be a good tactic for you to take, uh, <laughs> for getting your spine straightened out. Well, well, You're a tactile tail. Well, in therapy, they have me do <laughs> leg addicts. kicks. I do, like, uh, like, lift, like, lay down, and I have to go, like, do, like, almost like the bicycle, like, laying down. I have to ride a Good bike. Good description. I, yeah. I, I have no idea what she's therapy. talking about. No. They give me the paraffin treatment for my hand hands. Therapy. I have you should to jerk take... off a lot of guys. They'll take care of your hands. Yeah. <laughs> Double fucking yeah. dong it. Yeah. Wait, paraffin? They have to dip your hands in wax? Yeah, yeah. It really helps soothe the pain. No, it doesn't. 
You know, plus I'm in the bathtub and I have to get Ew, like, like hot as I can stand to touch yes. showers. Are you naked? Do you kiss Jack Nicholson? Of course. <laughs> Everybody's naked in the shower. <laughs> yeah, I know, Fatty. You're right. I thought you were at therapy in the bathtub. No. <laughs> oh. Uh, no. I have to squeeze clay. I have to do Who's tricks clay? with rubber <laughs> bands. At home. Naked or cashish. <laughs> you know, where I put the rubber bands around my hands and or, I got to stretch them like 30 times a hand. <laughs> clay version. <laughs> clay version. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, what have we here? A virgin with a spider body. <laughs> She's squeezing me. <laughs> you're a very handsome man, Mr. Garrison. <laughs> oh, sorry, you're Patty. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Patty. We'll oh, you, know, you have the fuckability right. of David Ferry's wig. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I got, uh, I got curvature in spine. I've had it for years. For years. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, Patty. Poor Patty. I'm all right. I mean, I even no, have not. it in my feet, but I do my exercises faithfully. Your I go to therapy lame. every Tuesday she night. She with rubber bands, clay, and wax. What do you do with your feet? What's wrong with your feet? Well, they also hurt, too, so I have to step on, like, a rolly thing, you know, like a thing that rolls. I get up on top, and I just go, like, this uh, with uh, the what, feet. The rolly thing? And you yeah, feel it's like, like a cylinder you? you stand on, and then you just go back and forth with your feet on the cylinder. I think in a cylinder, I think you should balance between your feet. <laughs> and the then I have to walk <laughs> from mouth. heel to toe, you know, when I walk. I have, instead of dragging my feet you, a little bit, like i got to walk heel to toe. You sound like you're doing, like, uh, playtime in kindergarten. <laughs> like you, they bring out the little toys and you fucking play. How, what is this doing for your arthritis? Yeah, you're exhausting. You're, there's too much going on. Too many exercises. Well, I have to do it. I don't want to be in a walker in ten years. Ten. Jeez, ten. How about two? No. <laughs> you're walking by four. No. And yeah. I take very good care of my body. No, you don't. <laughs> I I don't smoke. I don't take drugs. I don't eat junk Maybe food. Maybe you should. You know, I don't do any of those things. I eat. Vegetables, and look at you, you're yogurt. a mess, you're falling apart. Yeah. No, they said it's hereditary. <laughs> Your hair it's, has the bounce and But I don't know anything iron. about my parents or their health history, so now no. I want to go to the closed records of the New York Foundling and see if they'll release those things to me. <laughs> the Foundlings. This is better than scary. The the they have the information I don't know. Yeah. Why don't you dig up your parents and take a look at their bodies? Your fucking, what was your mother, a graham cracker? <laughs> <laughs> I also want to see if there's Nasty. a history of heart problems, because my, I have my Treval prolapse and my heart's a little enlarged and I'm on Holy medication shit. for it. i got to see if they have a mess. history of that. I don't know what hypopsidae means, but that's what it said on my father's certificate. A hypopsidae? <laughs> I don't know what it means. I have no idea what the word means. Yeah. So well, I have to look find it up it. on the internet. Yeah, I gotta wait till tomorrow to do that. Why? Why? Well, because I. Well, uh, 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 I, I don't want to talk. Come about on, guys! Come, 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 come on, go, go! go. I don't discuss yeah. any issues Patty, that I have. Patty, really. Patty, 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 talk about it. Come on, come on! Come on. Why do you have to wait till tomorrow? Well, you every could... once in a while, I might be late with my internet bill. They oh, turn boy. me off, and then within a week, I'm back on again when I have bill? money to pay it. How much is your bill? Well, now I got to give them one twenty-seven, so but, I'll do but, that tomorrow. Cause I got, I took my personal day. I added that oh with God. the seven hours vacation Jesus I'm Christ. entitled to. Those hours, in addition to my regular hours, seven so hours now I'll have vacation. a paycheck <laughs> that's big enough that Did I can be say, able to yeah, afford one hundred twenty-seven dollars. Are you taking a trip to Newark? <laughs> <laughs> no, for every hour I work, you get a certain amount of minutes in what, vacation. A second, so, and then you can accumulate, and then you. Use the hours seven if hour you need vacation. them. Seven hours, Jesus. though, of vacation? How long have you worked there? Wow. Jesus. Two years. It'll be three Jesus. years in, Jesus. in uh, March. You think a cruise is a Staten Island ferry? <laughs> <laughs> oh, back and forth. Yeah. Right. Yeah, um, so I'll pay it tomorrow, and then I'll open the phone. Do you have to pay, have to pay a, a fee? Let's Don't you have it. to pay a yeah. fee? No, to have no, no. It they only back. want 127 Don't, I owe about 200 I but thought only if they 127 shut, shut Oh, God. I thought if they shut it off and have to turn it back on, you got to pay like a fee. No, you don't. Because no. right, so I've done uh, it before. Patty's a soldier, man. You know, she works her balls oh. off, and they give her a seven-hour vacation. Seven hours vacation. More well, than she deserves. Well, you only accumulate 15 minutes or something for every so many hours that you work, and then you you can accumulate. You're a lot of hours, aren't you? You usually get like a even a week a year. 
Like one week every year for no, vacation. No, it doesn't work that way. You get seven hours it's vacation. vacation. And, you know, some <laughs> people have go? accumulated 30 Jesus. or 40 hours Quinta by not Quinta using any of the hours. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Terrible. You know. Jesus Christ, seven hours. Barrett, you know. uh, Barrett from Pittsburgh, does a seven-hour vacation go along with a 24-hour cold? <laughs> <laughs> I still have 17 hours to be sick after the fun of the sun. <laughs> uh, wow. Damn. They fucking suck. Seven wow, hours of Starbucks vacation? Well, yeah, but it could, it'll go up again now because uh, when I work, wow. for every hour you get a few minutes, you know, added on and then it accumulates yeah. over a period of time. If you go over, they hobble you. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, what I'm going to do is have a like pal talk fest yeah, all day tomorrow bit. and then a TV fest all evening tomorrow. What? So. What is this? Yeah, well, that way I get my internet turned on, my TV turned on, and I'm going to go to town. Because <laughs> I miss it. After a week, you go crazy watching what? just videos on your computer. What kind of programs are you missing? Oh, uh, I always look forward to intervention. I also like the dead hour or whatever after that, where they uh, go into houses and exercise spirits. I like watching that show. I don't remember the name of it. Yeah, whatever. They, at 3 o'clock is the dead hour from 3 to 7 when yeah. they... Uh, you watch three hours of that crap? Oh, sure, I could. I, and I love vacation. intervention. <laughs> I like the Lifetime movie channel. I like the Turner Classic movie channel. I like Holy the shit. Disney channel. Does she watch a bunch of shit? It's horrendous. Oh, yeah, imagine, but I look forward to it. Imagine sitting watching it. TV with Patty. Oh, she's the worst. Oh. <laughs> The show sound you know. awful. I'm packing yeah. for my vacation. I'm taking a flight to Nassau. And I'm into all these jail <laughs> programs. Women in prison. Oh, yeah, like ah, Lock ah, up. Prison I'm prison into bitches. all of that. You like that? I love watching those shows. You watch First 48? <laughs> yeah, I love yeah. those shows. Are you a fan of the black men? You know, I just like oh, the shows. Oh, I like oh, watching boy. the people in telling. prison and the yeah. women, Patty, especially. Are you racist? Are you racist? No, I'm not. We were talking about tipping. Who tips uh, the best when they're getting their coffee? Do black people tip you? Do they ever throw anything in the tip cup there? Everybody tips the same, and we have regulars in all nationalities, and uh, I mean, we do better the in same. our no, store don't. than in other stores. <laughs> Everyone doesn't tip the same? Well... Well, no. They if they get eighty cents change, they throw it in. If they get the pennies, everyone does they throw that. No one in. ever pockets That's their money. Everything. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! I keep tabs on everything, you know, because uh, you know, I keep tabs on everything because I do the tips every week. It almost so got I watch me when she said it. On. She goes, you know, because I got seven hours vacation <laughs> time and I use that. It's like seven hours. What kind of fucking. Actually, that's my Slave grocery driver money. Is over there. <laughs> yeah. That's not, my food money, my grocery a day money. Off. <laughs> Vacation. <laughs> yeah, well, that's what I accumulated, oh, so I used five of them oh, for tomorrow's you, paycheck. You used five hours of vacation? Yeah, <laughs> and it's at your regular rate, so, so you know. So she has two hours of vacation you left. got two hours you left. Barely yeah, well, no, no, out. because well, that's going to go up. Because <laughs> the more you work, the more you accumulate them. I want to take 11 minutes in June. <laughs> <laughs> no, the more you work, the more you accumulate. That's going to go up. We get it. <laughs> Say it again. Again, uh, 20 Jesus. fucking times the more you work Patty, the more you accumulate you could easily be our longest listener and you don't get this fucking show i don't know what you're hearing when you listen to this show well how do they actually how do they actually you don't determine understand jokes sarcasm <laughs> timing you don't understand shit. yeah i'd love to know how, how they, they determine they... what kind of vacation you get yeah it's just every hour you work, it gets so many minutes. Yeah, but how many minutes? I don't know. I'm not exactly sure. I thought it was like 15 minutes or something. Per what? Way. Per what? Hour? I guess. I don't no. know. If you got 15 minutes vacation time every hour. That would rock. Then you'd fucking get... Uh, yeah, but the average hours, shift is ten only hours, five hours Ten long. hours a week? Well, she only works ten-minute days. <laughs> no, no, no. The average yeah, shift is like five everything. hours long. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's 15 <laughs> minutes for every so many hours. Oh, I'm not sure. seconds every hour. I, I to, never did find I that. I have to build up some vacation time. I need to go and buy a stamp. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've accumulated oh. nine minutes. I'm going to use six of those minutes. And I'll have three for the holiday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm 
taking five minutes between Christmas and New Year. It's <laughs> <laughs> the worst vacation I've ever heard. Oh, just step out of the store, take a breath, back in. That was one vacation. <laughs> Patty, you look refreshed and tan. <laughs> Your vacation stinks, Patty. Oh, my God. It's the worst vacation I've ever Holy heard. Holy shit. Oh, my God. A bunch of slave drivers over there. That's terrible. Tim from Columbus, right? <laughs> Seven-hour vacation. I've sat on the shitter longer than her entire vacation allowance. <laughs> uh, God damn, Patty. That is fucking terrible. And, Patty, yeah, you are, you're racist, by the way. I can tell. No, I'm not. Yeah, you are. It's all right. I'm not. I understand. Do you have any benefits, health benefits? Well, yeah, I pay almost a hundred dollars a month for my share Wait, for, from Starbucks. The company doesn't supply you with benefits. Well, yeah, they uh, cover some of it, but my I'm twenty one something a week. You know, what? it could be like three hundred, four hundred dollars a month. So I think the health care benefits are comparatively good to other companies. Patty, I wouldn't Godiva blame you. didn't give oh, me anything. Oh my God. <laughs> Patty, I wouldn't blame you if you start shitting in the coffee how they treat you. <laughs> no. I think I'm treated Patty's very well roast. where I am. Yeah. That's yeah. why I'll never leave where I am. I'm treated well there. Batman from Marblehead. Uh, as Patty. Hello, Starbucks. I need to take three minutes vacation to cook an egg. <laughs> Yeah. It's oh, the is... dumbest thing I ever heard. <laughs> oh, I'm grateful because I didn't, I've never really had health benefits from anyone else. So right. to me, you know. And it's $100 a month? Yeah, for you? the most expensive plan you know only because of right, my medical all right, all right, needs. All right, Patty, listen. Cunning from Pal Talk. The lines are too good. we got to get some of these on the air. Uh, Patty also gets up to 25 minutes in sick time. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Steve needs. Right. Well, then Steve asked for Bayshore. Patty's vacation would be just long enough for Steve C to recover from a cold. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! She gets uh, seven hours vacation. I did not hear that today. Fuck, Patty. Jesus. Your world is tiring. <laughs> it's tiring. amazing that uh, they they treat you like now, that. The only thing you guys didn't pick up on that. You didn't really pick up that we could explore it a little bit. Her exercise regime is ridiculous, and it, it's all-encompassing. Yeah. I don't know how she has time to do anything else. Run through all the exercises you have to do again. Well, I got to lay on my side and do leg lifts, and then turn to the other side and do leg lifts again. And then I got to lay on my back and then go like this like about 30 times and stretch my back. Then I got to go do wall exercises and... Go down like She's this, and, started, you know. Listen. Then I gotta ride a bike for ten minutes. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and then I gotta do the clay for ten minutes. Yeah. And then I get the paraffin. Uh, and what's and what do you do with that? The, that's it. The hour's up, and then yeah. I leave. She puts her hands. Oh, on what wax. about the rubber bands? Mm. Well, I do that at home as an exercise. I put a rubber band around my fingers, and I force myself to do hand the stretches with the rubber band. <laughs> 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 and then I have a nerve yes. ball well, that I squeeze too, to get to more mobility in my hands, so the arthritis doesn't. Misshapen. He has no clue when other people. What do you mean? So the arthritis doesn't misshapen well, you? Well, yeah, fingers can bend and everything. It can go like up. that. So I just, yeah. can, you know, that looks good. Practice, even if it hurts, I still have to do it. Sure, no pain, no gain, they, right? You know, I don't take any Advil okay. or anything because yeah. it only masks hey, Patty, the symptoms. What if you had to take maternity leave from Starbucks? <laughs> <laughs> what would they do that? <laughs> she had to have a procedure. That's kid. fine. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. That's that's a lot of people do. A manager took one and came back after the baby was born. They she only, was fine. She they only just allow the gestation to, period just, of a rat. You know, she's running another store. You know, there's no event. Once you're ready to come Patty, back, you're back. Patty, I never wanted the answer, and after many years listening to this show, you should have understood that was just oh, a setup to I'm have sorry. a little fun. Yes, of course, Patty. My God. I really it's, understand how that. How long that. Rat line is for? brilliant. Uh, like a month? I think like two weeks. <laughs> uh, less than a month, maybe? Okay. Yeah, it's crazy. Jesus Christ. Right. They could pump them out, those rats. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wow, Patty, that's 
<laughs> Some fucking life you're leading over there. Very fast paced. Yeah, there's a lot of shit going on yeah. in your life. Sit, stand, squat, work, vacation, <laughs> yeah. everything in one day. Do you take vacation hour to do your exercises? <laughs> no, I just take them if I need the extra money yeah, well, to pay why, extra bills. Why, why, what you do you know? do now? Now I understand you, you're working out. You're trying to keep from fucking having your bones snap on you. You you got a fucking spine like a t-square yeah what do you do for fun yeah what do you do now you talk about work you talk about that what do you do those tv shows eh? Come to on. have a little fun well uh somebody gave me a gift card for christmas so i have one more movie to go see so i'm gonna see private life of benjamin button and then i like the to go to the library i get dvds i bring them home that must be and i watch them on my computer the private i read life, the private life of benjamin button that's, yeah i want to see that about the man that's born old and then cool. gets younger and uh, has an, like a uh, love interest in a girl. What do you think of the new Sean Penn movie, Yogurt? <laughs> <laughs> no, the last movie I saw was Seven Pounds, and that was good. That made me cry at the end because this pounds? guy sacrificed his life. He well, he gave his organs to seven, seven people. <laughs> But if, he, yeah, if that's what, a good movie guy. to go she, she see. see. It's a movie about Steve. Seven hours. <laughs> <laughs> and I also want to see The Unborn. Uh, someone's <laughs> Ready to go. Me too. I spent yeah. my life trying to get my face in where they just... <laughs> boom, I fell apart on someone's, that one. Someone did yeah. some quick math and said if she stays with Starbucks, she'll accumulate about... Four days of vacation over her career. <laughs> Four days. Um, I think I'm grateful for what I get. After two years, she's <laughs> really? got seven hours. Of That's more than I ever got from Godiva. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you, know you work full time there, Patty? Because I'm looking at their benefit schedule, and it looks like you should be getting a little more than seven hours of vacation. Well, no, they cut our hours, oh. so, so um, you're not, you're not I was that scheduled quarterly. for 15. But a lot of times I'll get up mm. to 20 because I take people's shifts if they don't want them, or I try to be yeah, on pro- call. The I reason that sleep she's... with the phone by my bed in case I'm called. I go in. <laughs> she's a perfect, all right. She really is a perfect employee. She's like though. a fucking uh, a Starbucks cop. She's always on duty. Yeah. According according to their their employee benefits package if you're if you don't work more than 240 hours per quarter you're not right. eligible for their benefits well oh. that's why i uh make sure i take the extra shifts so they don't catch me in that because i can't afford to lose my benefits so i am doing that but making only... myself available in the other stores around me five stores have my phone number you know, Patty, do you understand i covered that... a ship on saturday night tell us about that Oh God! <laughs> you know, I you make know. myself available. What happened with that shift on Saturday? Let's get, give us the skinny here. How no, was it? No, I just work from eleven fifteen to three a.m. But those are bad hours. But I took them because I needed the three and a half hours. What do you do all those hours? You wait mm-hmm. on people. Who's people do in? come in at that time. Well, they are a busy store. Which store? On Union Square. What? what? No, no, in Times Square, one of the twenty-four hour ones. I didn't know there was more than one. What? Yeah, there's like seven or eight stores in Times Square, and oh, uh, wow, m- five God. of them have my phone number. Do they oh, call you? you fucking yeah. whore. <laughs> <laughs> they don't call you? Sure, I, that's why I was there the other night, yeah. you know. Patty, you realize that they're they're purposely not they're not letting you reach your 240-hour <laughs> quota so that they can save yeah, money, Yeah. Right? They're not going to do that to me. <laughs> Well, they, they are. Have been. Well, if you I'm only have make seven sure hours of, of vacation. <laughs> yeah. Trust me, I will, because the owner said that they wanted to take care of his employees on a national TV show about four years ago. So he ain't going to go back on that promise. Oh, really? You, That's you know, right. the economy was a little different four years ago, especially for Starbucks. I don't care. I have health issues. <laughs> <laughs> I need my money. Hold on. <laughs> I don't care. Uh, yeah. I don't care. <laughs> I will her? just I make know. myself available. Even you if understand? I wanted to do something, like take the day off or something, I will still work if it means that. You know, but I have to. Don't you understand what the CEO or whoever says four years ago doesn't even matter today? In this economy with Starbucks, because Starbucks has been dropping their their the people, not as many people come in because they can't afford. Uh, they they then make changes. Right. So what the guy does is not give you as many hours. They cut back on employees. They they do things based on the economy. They don't give a flying fuck about you or your benefits or your health problems or anything else. Holla. Well. 
I don't know. Um, I'm just going to watch my back. That's like, the wall. Do you understand? Like, watch if it's in like, a funhouse yeah. mirror. If, if you're you a see it's just standing straight in a couple of weeks. <laughs> it's wrapping around you. If you're a manager for Starbucks. <laughs> Anaconda back. <laughs> they, they're going to want to try to save money. And if they have to pay you for vacation, to, if they have to pay you for time that you're not working, then that's something that they're going to look to eliminate because yeah. they're trying to they're trying to cut costs by, by every well, stretch of the imagination. It was on and that's C one of them. It was on CNN last week when I was How watching. Television. Yeah. television i saw that they're not matching the 401ks anymore but i'm still going to request two percent out of my salary even though i'll miss the money because i'm 54 this year i'm not getting any younger and what am i going to do for right, when i can't right, work all right two percent of your paycheck how much is private it? life uh, not much <laughs> how much if i make like Patty buttons <laughs> well you want to cry listen to this two percent of your salary for a 401 right how much is that well, okay, that's gross. If I gross maybe uh, 200 then uh, $40 will be taken out of my check. No, that's not true. 2%. Oh, no, that's 20%. I mean, well, $8 will be taken out. Oh, wait a minute. 2%. Uh, 10% is oh, 20 What are you uh, want to 20. retire when you're 1300 $4 will be taken out of my check towards it. That's what it will be. That's what I'm getting at. Yeah, $4, like, $4 will be taken $4. out of my check for every $4 hours. comes out of your check. That she desperately needs yeah. that she's going to put But it won't be matched. That would be the only problem. So it won't be matched. No, it won't they be. So can't even match four dollars. They won't write a check that small. <laughs> so why, why don't you just take <laughs> the four bucks call yourself call and put it in the bank? Yeah. Because I'll be tempted to use it if I need transportation, if I need to buy food, if I want to get a new pair of pants for myself that I had to buy sneakers for work. You know. So you're taking four dollars. I don't want to be tempted, so I'd rather just let it go you're away. You're fifty-four. <laughs> you take four dollars every week. <laughs> How well, depending on how many hours I work a week. If I work 15 hours, it's less. It's a dollar uh, and a half. So, so a <laughs> buck and a half. But, but, so $4 a week is the max that you'll put into your retirement account. Yeah, if I you know, work that many hours. And you're 54 years old. Yeah. <laughs> I hope Bernie Madoff lost but all her fortune. But people my age are working longer, too. There's people still working, working in their longer. 70s. They're not working for, like Jimmy said, 1,500 years. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. How much, you, how much did, have you got in the 401? You have the worst financial plan it's horrendous. ever. Well, I didn't start well, it yet. She hasn't even started yet. Oh my no, God. I'm, gonna, I'm trying to get it's in so contact sad. with uh, people now. Who? You know, the phone Who? number Who's that I have take to your call. call for, for, oh, yeah. You, you know, I'll just request, advisor. even if it's only 2%, you know, mm. uh, it'll be something. Do you have anything in 401k right now? No. Um, no, she doesn't. She it's hasn't not open. Yet. But she's going to start putting $4 a week. In, you're starting a yeah. retirement plan well, at 54 like by putting $4 years. in for 15 years. Well, you know yeah, what it is? She wants, to, she wants to enjoy her golden half hour. <laughs> <laughs> she wants to retire you know, before the sun collapses. <laughs> I know one thing. I don't know if we're going to have Social Security when we're, I'm old enough to collect well, At least you'll it. be prepared. What? To collect your $7.20? <laughs> yeah, what? Fucking one check and they're done with you. Yes. You know, and it's only the last seven years <clears throat> of your work life. That's why my Social Security has oh. been going down every year when I get it in March, you know. What do you usually get in Social Security in March? Well, uh, it said if you stopped working now, this was like five years oh ago, gosh. you'd collect $900. <laughs> and then last year what, I read it, year? if you stop working now, you will collect uh, 640 And I'm like, what happened to that, you know? Because the last seven years, you know. They'll give you 640 a month? Well, yeah, if you stop working now. Mm -hmm. But, you know, that's hypothetical. Is that a month or a year? A month. It's hypothetical, really. Isn't that more than it's you're making change now? every year. So why don't you stop working? No, I can't afford to. Well, but, someone is, uh, you know, speaking the truth out there. Boomer from Jersey. Wait, Patty is the smart one here. How much has has she lost this year in their four? Uh, well, he wrote. A, how much has she lost in her four hundred one k? I bet oh, it was a right. lot less than the rest of us. Because <laughs> I had nothing in it to begin yeah, with. Yeah, that's how we get that, Patty. Exactly. <laughs> Four dollars. That is fantastic. Planet Wyoming has a great idea. You should sell your virginity. Oh no! There's a hot piece of ass doing that in Nevada. Uh, but still, I think for the goof factor, we could probably get ten, twenty G's for your virginity. Yeah. 
I can't do that. Why not? That's Why kind not? Of, I don't know. Ten grand would be pretty nice, right? Know. Yeah. How about Give up cash? your asshole for uh, ten how grand? About, how about no one's looking cash, my friend? You know, there's a hundred and seven year old shit. woman out there looking for that right now. <laughs> and she probably has a better chance than me. <laughs> well, she does, Patty, because she gave up her snatch years ago. You, it's, it's incredible. Patty, life is passing you by. You haven't learned shit from us. It's the same story. This could have been like the first week we were at NEW. Why don't you have, you're 54 years old. Why don't you have or have ever had a 40-hour-a-week job with benefits and and. You know, you go and you work 40 hours. Why, why do you? Yeah, we make fun of you, but. Well, I'm not well, hold qualified on, hold on. for office work. Yeah, but, I can't do it because I don't you have understand a degree? the computers you, and stuff. We've made fun of you, but you have a degree, and you do come across uh, being pretty intelligent. What? It's how you u use your intelligence that's a bit strange, to say the yes. least. <laughs> well... In the past, I have applied to office positions, <laughs> but I cannot type. Right. Uh, 75 words a minute. Right. You know, and I don't know a lot. I can't even cut and paste on the computer. You know, I don't you know how to do basic it. You things can do like it. that. You yeah. cut and you paste. Oh, you right click. And I love that we have mathematicians that listen to the show. We got yes. Jason in Indiana. Yes, Jason. Good evening. Hey. Um... Well, in order for Patty to get $100,000 saved in her 401k at four bucks a week, <laughs> it would take her 409 years. <laughs> to save that. So, Patty, you're going to work at Starbucks for 409 more years so you can retire? I don't know. It's uh, just that, you know. Jesus. Well, the answer would be no. No one lives to yeah. that ripe old age. I know oh, one mommy. thing. Right. James, uh, you don't know. Jameson from Jersey, what's up? She's trying to save up for that nice little nest nest tumor. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, Jameson, or whatever, Jameson. Hey, hey boys. Hey. Yo, Patty's, Patty, Patty's company treats her worse than those stupid cows in the PETA video. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. They treat her worse than the cows, yeah. Patty. Let's go to Vinny oh, in New York. Vinny? Patty. What's up, boys? Hey. Hey, uh, Patty, Patty can't sell her virginity. She ain't a virgin no more. She's been getting fucked by Starbucks for three years. <laughs> Yeah, they uh, they got a good employee there, and they know that that they can take advantage of a little bit. They are uh, taking advantage of you, Patty. Let's go to Richie in the Bronx, Richie. Yeah, what's up, boys? Hey, uh, Patty, does your pace up look like? Uh, does it come with rollover minutes? <laughs> <laughs> like a little cell phone bill. Yeah. Wow, oh, Patty, you got a cell phone, Patty? Yes, I do. How do you afford that? Um, I well, you know, I. Make that one of my priorities because I need the communication, and I don't have a home phone, and there's no reason to have one because I have the cell phone. Well, I pay smart. forty-four oh three for my basic plan, and then I add about fifteen to thirty dollars on it if I need more minutes. Do you want a home phone? Not really. I have a cell phone. It's more reliable than a home what phone anyway. What do you call on your cell phone? Oh, I. I don't know. I check my bank balances on it, and you know, and she's doing I, her uh, banking. The world of friends, high finance, you know, and friends call she's me. It's good for balance. work. If I, they need you me to cover a couple hours, I'm there. in your account. <laughs> you know. You check your bank balance on your phone? Why? Yeah, and my friends call me. I call them. Well, she enters her like her account number, and then the voice goes. Fuck you. <laughs> I'm sorry, you're not worth our time. <laughs> yeah, really, the the call you're making is more than the money you got in the bank. Yeah, you've got money in the bank, you put money in there. Yeah, but I use it quickly. I had to write a $50 check to the New York Public Library because they said I lost a book and weren't going to let me take out the DVDs, so I was forced to write it. So that's $50 what, what, going tomorrow. What book did you steal? I didn't steal any book. They say I have one out, and I don't. Why didn't you fight it and tell them, go fuck yourself? I don't have the book. Yeah. Well, have at them the look moment, 
I had to do it because I wanted the DVDs, and uh, DVDs? so I just Mandingo. did it. <laughs> the movies that I watch, you know. You get them from the library? Yeah, so it's because it's free. And then sometimes if I have about oh, five man, bucks, Patty, I go to Blockbuster. I have a card. All right, Patty, I'm trying to... I'm trying to Patty, like... Netflix is $10. <laughs> you could have had five months of Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> Patty, I'm trying to direct you in some you know, directions here. Like, what movies do you get from the library? Well, let me see. The last I like all the Queen ones about the Queen King of England. I watched Elizabeth and Bertie, which was good. I watched the Queen about when Princess Di died. You know, I watched that. Morbid. And I also have the complete season of you know on DVD of I Love Lucy. So I was watching all of those. I got ones from Alfred Hitchcock. I saw To Kill a Mockingbird. You know, things like that. I enjoy those movies. All right. And what was the book <laughs> they said you had? I don't know. I don't even remember the name of it, but I what, told what them the I don't subject? have it. Joyous. You know what I do? I have a tendency to throw things in the book drop, and I think they miss things in there. So I you take... should have told them to go fuck the 50 bucks. What book is $50? Right. Well, I had to buy it, they said. Yeah, what? what book is fucking 50 bucks that you were? I don't know. They said you I had. have no Probably idea. You wrote a check something. for $50, and you have no idea what book it was. No, I don't. But you just wrote a check. Yeah, I know. It's a lot of money for you. I know. Way, it was probably a stupid thing to do, but I wouldn't have been allowed to take out the DVDs. And, if the DVDs uh, would have cost you oh 50 bucks God. if you bought yeah. them on your own. You know, I'm oh sure there's God. a higher authority there I could go to. Yeah. You know, whoever runs the libraries. Brooks. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Brooks. You know? Easy peasy Japanese. <laughs> English from Escape from Alcatraz. <laughs> 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 He's paying for some National Geographic and condensed books. <laughs> you know, you know what my oh. biggest suspicion is. I, I probably like wrote a apartment. <laughs> that my biggest. Patty was here. Oh, Patty Brooks. <laughs> <laughs> I probably wrote a check a while ago that probably bounced, and maybe that's the truth. But they didn't see it in the computer. They just said you owe fifty dollars. You write so. a lot of checks that bounce. Occasionally they do. Comes with an NBA logo you know, on it. because I think the money's gonna be there, and then two items come at once. They pay the bigger one before the smaller one, so all the money gets taken for that. I've had that experience. Have you before. noticed the world's gotten itself in a big damn hurry? <laughs> you know, but to me that's not unusual, and that's only occasionally. It's not occasionally, that often. the phones are lit. Yeah. Know? When I have like two dollars left on. in the bank, oh, I'm oh. happy. When you have what? When I have like on a Thursday before I get paid, when I have like a couple dollars in the bank, like two or three dollars, I'm happy. I'm two dollars in the I'm bank. Over. Yeah. What do you have? A little passbook, and they stamp it. <laughs> no, ATM card. You know. Oh, okay. They don't even That's check this. She'll walk you in, and they're like, "We'll take your word for it." <laughs> yeah, okay. you okay. But I'm happy <laughs> when I have that because I'm not overdrawn. You know, and that's more than. Patty. When I'm overdrawn. Are you working tomorrow? Me tomorrow? No. Like I said, uh, I. Tomorrow. Guess, tomorrow what? you come in, and one of my one of our guys remind me. It, tomorrow's change day. What's that mean? I'm bringing my change in. I'm gonna throw it at you, and you, you, <laughs> there's got to be a hundred dollars easy. And whoever comes by the show tomorrow, bring your change for Patty. Change day with Patty tomorrow. <laughs> this is killing me. Patty, do you understand something? That you're in a very precarious position. Right. Uh, you're 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 not a young woman. You are in a position where if something catastrophic happens, you're uh you're fucked. Well, if I ever had to go to the hospital, they it's required by law that I'm taken <laughs> care of, yeah. you know. Yeah, until they need the bed. Right. They'll ship your ass right there, but they'll patch you up and but, ship your oh, ass right get, the fuck out. They'll yeah. get to you right away. Patty. Yeah. So why do, that's why I don't do errors of living. I watch what she I eat. better care at the 4077th. <laughs> you know? Yeah. One thing that goes for me is I don't smoke. That's the biggest thing for a health company because it costs more right. for them to yep. take care of a smoker. Yep. I'm not, I don't smoke. You so do that's smoke. Awesome. You're lying. Yeah. <laughs> right. What? <laughs> Wow, you're a mess.
No, I'm not. <laughs> your priorities are all fucked up. Over a hundred dollars for internet and cable. And yeah, and, and pal talk and whatever else. Yeah, you can't. Well, afford pal to talk, do I got on sale. I got it for like a very like half price well, practically well, you're, because you're I thrifty. waited until that period to renew. <laughs> Because I watch for the sales, and I also shop with coupons. That's all too. she's ever done is waited for her period to renew. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Patty, do you have like an ATM card? And, and if and if you do, how the fuck do they give you the money you want? I've never seen <laughs> it's an ATM a, it's machine debit. that gives out change. Yeah, they, it's not a credit; it's debit. Yeah, yeah but, but the like, money isn't there; it doesn't go through. When you go to an ATM, you need like twenty bucks in there to get like twenty bucks something out, right? Well, no, you know what? Life savings. You know what yeah. I do? If I have to go shopping, I just use the card to go shopping, yeah. and that's ah, it. Ah. You know. Right. I try not to carry cash if I can help it. Well, yeah, that would be a bundle on you. Mm. Well, Patty, I would love to spend more time with you, but my multi-million uh, dollar home is waiting for me. So, uh... <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> yeah. That makes yeah. Me, it makes me angry about people like Madoff, who's allowed to stay in his plush digs when he should be giving it all up for the people whose lives he's ruining. Wow. I think I have it bad. Those people have it worse. Patty, Patty, when you talk, it gives me a rod. <laughs> <laughs> you know. No, I don't. Patty, we're gonna. I'm bringing my change in tomorrow, and I suggest everyone else wants in on the change. Fuck car. Bring their change in tomorrow if you're coming to buy to see the show. You want to make 20 bucks right now? Oh, shit. For what? If you just come by and squeeze my penis through my pants, I'll give you 20 bucks. That's bad. <laughs> what? Through my pants. $20. What? 20 bucks. $20. Are that's you like. Are kidding? Nope. You don't. <laughs> It's like a month's work, Patty. Come on, real quick. That's five fucking retirement payments. <laughs> just come here. Just come here. Yes. Patty, just come, come here. Squeeze it. <laughs> five weeks of retirement payments. Hurry, Hurry up before it goes down when I realize what I'm doing. God. Hurry up. Hurry up. If it goes down, the money goes down, yep. Patty. Come on. come on, Patty. Give it a squeeze. Come on. Come on, Wolf. <laughs> and don't just touch it and let Give go. It oh, Give it a good God. squeeze. Come on. Squeeze a little shake. Squeeze it. Give it a shit. A squeeze. Squeeze it. Come on, you're right there. Do it. Jesus, why are you tenting? Get your stupid hand on. Are you sure, Jimmy? Jimmy? Just do it. I've never done that. Oh, God. What are you doing? Ow. She hurt you. I guess stupid. I must have did something. She just squeezed yeah. it like, a, like one of those stress balls. Yeah. Like she oh, my God. I'm ready to like pass out. She grabbed the fucking head the way Stallone tried to hold on to that girl oh at the beginning God. of Cliffhanger. I feel like I'm ready to pass out. I just went yeah, like that. How about uh, you grab it, but like yeah, like yeah. softly. N n believe me, it's not hard anymore. <laughs> not, not, not hard. I almost passed out. Grab it like Jimmy's a Jimmy's getting flesh. lightheaded, too. <laughs> I almost did. Grab I feel softly. lightheaded. Just grab it softly. Not what you learn in self-defense class. Jesus, Patty. Yeah. All right, so get. Shaky. All right, hold. That's better. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Wow, you're well a prostitute. Patty's a prostitute. You're a, you're a whore now. <laughs> oh my God. Do well, I you, look lightheaded? Because I start. Well, you look dumbheaded. Empty-headed. You look light in the wallet. <laughs> she grabbed my fucking helmet, like between her palm and fingers. I don't fingers. even know what I squeezed. Yeah, it was yeah. just fucking. Why don't you terrible. sit down, Patty? There I you go. I think I should. I feel like I'm shaking. Patty, you're so ready for some hardcore fucking man she'd fucking pass out at the uh, just the sight of a hard dick she'd pass out so would so would the guy whose dick she that was fucking horrible <laughs> horrendous she has no yes. idea how to touch so anyone i had mako sharks grab my cock <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's so uh, embarrassed why nice, a 20 pound he hooks a little you had to hook a little make some money so much. pay for your cable or some shit exactly <laughs> Nice. Yeah, All put right. that away. It's fucking five weeks for 401k. Yeah. Right there. One helmet grab. <laughs> what are you going to do with the $20, Patty? It's always good to ask what you're going to do with the money. I'm going to... Uh, oh, God. Well, I'm going to put some money on my Metro card. <laughs> and I'm going to go grocery shopping. <laughs> I need more milk, and I need coffee filters. What do you, what do you, what do you so a bag of rice? <laughs> coffee filters. 
How about you steal them from work, you fucking idiot? <laughs> they're, they're huge. They're huge, like he high balance size things. That's, that won't go into my little tiny coffee maker. I gotta go to Dwayne Reed. That's the perks that's of all. the job. Holy every, shit. every job has perks. In your case, it's coffee. Well, I get dumpers. free coffee every week when I need it. She's doing like fucking Tim Robbins did in his cell. She's actually stealing coffee one ground at a time. <laughs> or grind. <laughs> the fuck is. She's gonna have a full pot someday. We're with you. Uh, oh, God, I'm still of, well, shaking. Patty's, uh, what, what do we call what we just did with Patty? Patty's, uh, Painful. Patty's, uh, <laughs> mood killer? <laughs> penis grip. Yeah, Patty's yeah. penis squeeze was brought yes. to you by DirecTV. Call 888-961-DIRECTV. Her what hands DirecTV music. should be doing is giving fucking Patty some DirecTV, and then we go, Hey, stalker Patty got DirecTV. Mm. And you call 888-961-DIRECTV, and you could have, uh... TV as well. Oh my God! Too fucking funny. Yeah. Patty, well, you want some coffee? How do you retreat? Oh, I got two pounds at home. <laughs> I'm fine. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Nothing to make them in though. Just strain through your panties. <laughs> <laughs> Put a rotten fucking, a rotten fucking red and brown panties in the coffee maker. <laughs> Filter them through that. I oh, should. <laughs> All right. See, Patty, we did something different with you today. No screaming, no running out of here right. in fear. You didn't have to smell like shit, nothing. Right. And tomorrow, if someone reminds me, I'll give you my change, which is a lot. Yep. I'd give you money now, but I swear to God, I have nothing. <laughs> for real. I might have enough for a cab ride home. Well, that was good. He just hung up. What was it? Said, I don't remember who it was, but it said Patty's bank is capital none. <laughs> <laughs> a trip to the airport is all Patty could take for vacation. That came in. You sort of did that line, right? All right, Patty. <laughs> all right. Let's, uh, you know, if you let's cut get your, the fuck out of here. It's snowing hair, out. It'll take the, forever to get home. They could, you know, you could give your uh, hair to some kind of organization. Yeah. Help some, like, uh, cancer yeah. kids or something. Yeah, fuck that ain't happening. Yeah, fuck Have the, some sympathy. Fuck the cancer right. kids, right? Please. Yeah. What cancer kid would want that? A mess. Mm. He walk over to the fucking, walk over to the Parker Meridian and go look. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite bit no one gets. Can I wear that fucking straw fruit ball on my head? <laughs> Can I play with your hair this afternoon? Or are you gonna keep it for yourself? Uh, All right, yeah, we gotta go. Yeah, so, let's get uh, out of here. blah blah blah, Patty. Thank you. Thank you, Patty. It's very entertaining getting to know uh, Patty a little better. That's very very nice. We could have done that break ten years ago, my friend. Mm -hmm. Same shit. Same Different fucking decade. shit. She'd have been in the same position, destitute. Absolutely. This? Bad. Okay.